Hello, chat. How are we doing today? I can see y'all, but y'all can't see me. I see you guys in here. I see some guy. I see Deco. I see Dark. I see... I swear I saw someone else, but I might have missed it. But that's A-O-K. Let's go ahead and see here. Hey there, Corn. Hey, Clips. Let's do this. We're going to... I'm not even going to hesitate. We're not going to go to the full cam. We're just going to go straight to full overlay. Uh, let's see if I did this right. Hey, okay. So. Oh, no. Oh, that's not how that's supposed to be. Hold on. Hold on. See, this is this is why I should have tested a couple things beforehand. Uh, let's move you guys down. We've got a full different over... Oh, why are there double? Why are there double? That's why. Hey, hey. There we go. Awesome. So, 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 there we go. Awesome. Perfect. So, I'm going to move myself... I'm going to move myself into the Discord. Uh, da, 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 for any of the croissants that end up wanting to join me. I'll put the Discord audio on. We have Discord audio on. Let me get the music going for us because we need some good Pokemon music. And let's see here. I can hear you, but you can't hear me. You're not wrong. Making concept art right now. Hey, oh. All right. All right. So this is big. I'm excited for this. I hope you guys are super excited as well. So this is what's going to happen, right? This is how this is. I uh, uh, bit my tongue already. So you can already see I'm right here. Perfect. Fantastic. Below me, immediately below are the shelves for if anybody from the croissants end up wanting to join me just for the chat. So I might have guests. It's up to them. I don't force anybody. They're not paid. So they just join because they're my friends if they want to join. Below that, we have our goals. These goals are going to get updated as we go along or as like every stream happens. That way we have a continuous cycle of goals that we're getting through. Um, I'm going to have Placid Plastic Duck playing on stream. Um, whenever I don't have anything to show just yet and while I'm doing the research and talking to you guys, um, we're going to have our Pokemon music playing um, or any other music as long as it's copyright free. Uh, I don't care if you guys want Subway Surfers on screen. I don't care what you guys want. If you got Minecraft Parkour on the screen, well, I, I literally do not care. As long as you guys have something visual um, while I'm doing this research, while I'm talking to you guys. You guys can see that the chat box is much larger now. I want that there because it is more of an interactive, meaty you guys type stream after all. Um, and if I ever need to show you guys anything, um, Fakemon and Fakemon vary and regional variants. So I will explain that in a moment. Clips. I will get right to that. I will get right to that. Um, so if I need to show you guys anything, like let's say you guys want to see some of the research I am looking up right now, uh, I do this. Boom. You can see I have the window set and ready. I have it in private because last thing I want is for me to accidentally dox myself. Um, so there is that. If I ever, ever need to show you guys. Oh, well, ignore that. Ignore that. Uh, I was cheating to to get to get what I wanted. So there we go. If I ever need to show, if I ever need to show you guys what I'm drawing um, or anything like that, I can do this and I could be like, hey, you guys, uh, I want I want a silly little guy that looks I have my drawing pen and everything, although I'm not used to it anymore because I'm used to. Oh, it's not mapped properly. We're going to have to map that later. It's on the wrong screen. Oh, no, it's not mapped. Uh, we'll worry about that later. Um, nevertheless, nevertheless, that's basically all the basics for our visuals today. I'm going to put the game back on screen. Um, and take sketchbook off. I'm going to also make it so I can actually see you guys again, because I can't see you guys right now with how I have this set up. Um, I'd like to request Django Unchained on screen. <laughs> Freaking corn. Um, so, so to follow for, for even forward with this, um... So kind of like an interactive podcast, basically. Uh, making the base of the Pokemon right now. Show the base. Pick the. Uh, you'll. Pick, I pick the colors. Okay. I mean that's fine. I so. Um, we're doing stuff like gyms as well, or just Pokemon. We are doing so. The plan is I am me. I'm gonna make it real nice and easy for you guys. I am going to act as if I am making my own entire Pokemon game. I am 151 new Pokemon. Legendaries, Mythicals, Gyms, Leaders, Lead 4, Champion, uh, Rival, Evil Organization, the entire region, the climate, uh, everything. I want an entirely new game. That is what I want. I am basically doing what Black and White did to Pokemon. Okay? That is my plan. Uh, Joe is asking what part of the world would this region be based off of? Uh, I'm gonna, so, so that's a big part of this, okay? So, I've decided, um, I, I want, so you, you've seen, okay, let's look at this. 
Jodo and Kanto, and then Jodo, Kanto, Sino, I think as well, was all based off of the islands of Japan, right? Then you get into, I think Sino was at least. Then you get into like all the other ones as you go along. You get, you get like, uh, I don't remember what Diamond and Pearls was based off of actually now I think about it. But then we have like Unova. Unova was U New York. Then we have Britain or the UK specific, what, <laughs> Africa. Um, uh, then you have the, uh, UK, which is what, um, uh, ba -ba 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 Paldea was, right? Um, then you, we now have, I, I, X and Y was based off of France. Then we have, we had Hawaii for Sun and Moon. Now we're sitting with Scarlet and Violet, which is Spain, specifically. Uh, what was Alolan based off of? Instead of names filled with tree associations, you should do rocks. Very original idea. Do not tempt me. I'm a rock nerd, Corn. I'm a rock nerd. Also, I didn't feel like having a big white freaking light on me right now. So, um, I didn't... I, I, I will turn on the light later, probably. I just didn't feel like having a big old light on me. Um, so... Like, we'll have the professor. I want to, like, have their personalities. I want to have... I can't really draw people all that well. I mean, I could do it decently enough. Um, and I'll try to stop, find a hookup so that that way I can actually draw properly on screen instead of using the the bad sketch that I have. Because I have a nice, like, a really nice drawing tablet. I just don't know how to hook it up. So that's a problem right now. Um, so clear quartz is your favorite. I, I... There's a couple of different ones that I like. I actually have... I actually have a couple of different rocks. Uh, one of my favorites is uh, Honeycomb Coral, which it's I have a couple of those, and they're replaced by quartz. They're fantastic. Um, so this is so so. There's there's one really important thing. There's one really important thing. This is my disclaimer for this series, okay? Because this is going to take me a very very long time um, for me to complete this project, right? And I want people to be here. Because I think this is going to be fun. This is going to be exciting. Um, my disclaimer. So that also, this is also that the Pokemon company doesn't come and, you know, and shank me. Uh, if a game is ever made from this, this is to be, like, cause I'm not making the game itself. I'm not. I do not have those capabilities. But if the game is ever made by a fan, by somebody else, even if I run it, it is to be free. It has to be free. Uh, it, it, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, because this is Pokemon inspired. Uh, I can, by all means, I can make all these designs, make all this stuff, and I'll be fine. I believe I can even sell merch of it if we end up liking some of the designs a lot, right? But what I can't do is sit here and make a game... And not have Pokemon breathing down my neck. Also, I would like to be a Pokemon partner one day. So, I would rather not have their lawyers look at me and be like, what are you doing? Bow down. And like, they're not like they would do that. But at the same time, they have to take action when they have to take action. Is the map open world like Gen 9 or route based? Um, you know what? I kind of want it. I, I want I want routes to be properly. You know what? Hold on. You know what? We're, we're already talking. Let me just let me just get you guys into Infinity Cool real quick. I don't have so many ducks. Let's just send this send this away so there's a visual um <clears throat> anywho um if i do this does it it doesn't fantastic um so so what i would like is i would like more routes to be proper but for it to be open world um given the choice like i would want way more specific routes to be set uh even if it was afraid they'd hit you with the end credit all places and characters are fictional any Real life connections, purely coincidental. I would love to. I would love to. It gets so complicated uh, because our, it's it's way, it's way easier for me to have been able to sit here and say yes, I am doing this because, or I'm doing this and it's Pokemon inspired and everything is gonna be original. It is just very very much inspired. Rubber Ducky goes quack. Rubber Ducky do go quack. Watch this. Uh, I'm not gonna have them quacking all the time because I literally can't because I need to be clicking on stuff. So. Let's get on track. Let's get on track. Um, and actually, before we get on track, 
I'm going to hit you guys with a hydration check. I do have tea with me. As a reminder, hydration checks are for uh, making sure you guys stay hydrated, so make sure you have a snack as well. And my hydration checks also ensure that I have ads because I self-place ads because I don't want you guys to be missing out on anything. Uh, this could be one of those streams where I just have uh, ads automatically. But, eh. So, uh, hydration check. Take this ad. I'll see you guys in like 20 seconds as I'm pulling stuff up. And for the other half of you that didn't get an ad, welcome to being here. And uh, let's keep going. So, um, first up on the docket, we need to come up, or well, I, I say we, but this is like, I am running this. If you I'm hydrated now. If you guys throw stuff my way, I am not guaranteed to take it. Um, I think the, I, I think you guys throwing stuff my way is cool. I think you guys like tossing Tossing ideas in my direction keeps it interesting. Um, hey there, Jordan. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be a lot. Oh, gosh. I just realized. How am I going to view? Oh, wait. I don't have my stuff up on my phone. Duh. I'm sitting here like, how am I going to view chat easier? Well, duh. Just put it on your phone like you always do, acrylic. As I look at my phone at 57%. Also, how'd you guys like the, the thumbnail? I spent like two hours on that. I just like slapped it. I was like, you know what? I'm doing the the Charlie the Charlie Day. Uh, is it Charlie Day? Whatever. <clears throat> uh, if you don't take my suggestions, I'll just cry to you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, you got some iced tea? Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Let's see how this goes with a half screen for myself as I try to look at chat as it pops up and as it pops on screen. Um, can I make this larger? Can I pop out chat overlay? Oh, can I do chat overlay? Oh, is this? No, I wanted it easier for myself, bro. Charlie Day is correct. Awesome. Thumbnail looks awesome. Hey, great thumbnail. Thanks. Apparently today's milestone day for YouTube. Oh, hey. Nice. Can I over, can I, okay. Compact mode, analytics, filtering. I don't care about any of that. What's the, uh, what's the milestone? What makes it the milestone? Why can't I pop this out? <laughs> nice. No pun intended. Hey, that's what nice wanted. Uh, okay. So, so we're going to learn a lot about Pokemon during these streams, right? You were, I love this music. Do, 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 do. Anywho, I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. I, I mean, you probably do. I mean, you guys have also wanted streams like this. Um, you guys have also wanted streams like this for so long. Um, and I just haven't been able to deliver it. Not getting some of the messages in chat, Gecko. I am not sure why that is the case. Um, but I am reading them out loud, so you are perfectly fine. The only ones I won't read out loud is if you guys just have a conversation between each other. So, let's, let's look at things. So, like, what does Kanto mean? Kanto... Kanto is a region of Japan on the island of Honshu. Wait, what? Kanto is the first region to introduce the Pokemon universe into popular series, games, and anime, blah, blah, blah. Um, and let's say in Pokemon, I'm fine that, hey, you don't know what the milestone is? That's weird. Can't wait to make Gen 10. Uh, Kanto, region of Japan. Oh, is Kanto is actually a real place? Am I just, no. Am I stupid? If you close your up a chat, it should fix. Uh, Corn has it happen sometimes where it stops updating chat. There we go. Uh, okay, let's do this. How are Pokemon regions named? We're naming our region first. Um, regions and Pokemon. Da, 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 da. Regions are areas of Pokemon universe and main location in various games. Blah, blah, blah. We have our professor, star Pokemon trainer, gym leaders, and the four Pokemon champions. Haha. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot. So, okay. So, not only do we have... Kanto, the Sevi Islands under Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Hisui, Unova, Kalos, Alola, Galar, Paldea, Kitakami, which is under Paldea, technically. Um, technically, not really. It's actually separate because they're part of Unova, if I remember correctly. Um, we also have the side series where Ore, Fiore, Almia, Oblivia, Ranse, and then the kingdoms under Ranse, Ranse which are... Which are the... I wasn't ready to see the Duolingo doc. Uh, if you check the top of the chat and you're in top chat, sometimes it filters some of the messages. You can click and check and make it change. Hey, nice. Okay. Uh, thank you. Arc? Oh, hi, Arc. Um, 
and you would be an interesting country to base it region off of i agree i the hardest part right now is as much as i want to do certain other regions i know wisconsin and i know the culture here i know i have to be careful because there's a strong native american culture here and i don't want to do anything uh that is wrongfully portraying um alola mentioned back to lurking <laughs> Curling base is that nice keep the region name short and simple yes uh gonna base the legendary or the legendary dog or on like legendary dogs birds um that's that's a hard question so so let's 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 start with what we're doing let's let's keep our let's keep our run on the name um because uh, then we can stay focused 50 out of 151 pokemon based off of cheese <laughs> i think i could draw a thingy like that uh let's see all right all right let's see um Dot dot Pasio Lental. There's a lot of different names and stuff that we just do not see. Uh, what colors are the Pokemon you sent in fan art? Uh, what? Let me go see. <clears throat> uh, that looks like it. Honestly, that's that's dark. That's dark and in bug, right? I would just you would just you. I mean, you could just make that. Oh no no no! It's bug dragon. It's bug dragon. Uh. You know what? Uh, slap on the Zygarde colors. Make it, make it like a, make it the black and green. There you go. That's 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 the way you go. Um, let's see here. Then we have all the cities. Ooh, okay. So Kanto, Dark Dragon, and Bug triple threat out here. Um, yeah, yeah, like a black and like a yellowish green. Black and yellowish green would be good for that, I think. But, I mean, again, you do you. That is yours. That is yours. I cannot use that. I cannot use that. Um, let's see. Um, like, that's not even me saying I, I will or won't. That is saying I cannot use that. Um, there is a very, very strong... Like, again, there's, there's things that are very particular about this project and a lot of other stuff. Um, let's see here. So, even if we look at... Okay, I'm trying to find the tr English translation for Kanto, Johto, so on and so forth. Because biological grandpa ran away to Wisconsin after finding out he got your grandma pregnant. J. Edgar Hoover offered your grandma to drag him back. Whoa, Joe, that is sick. Um, so, as I'm looking... Uh, also, if the music or anything is too loud at any point, you guys let me know. Or if there's music we want to change to, let me know. Um, I'll keep it at a consensus, so I'm not just going to change it at, like, any random person saying anything. Like, if everyone wants the music changed, then I'll change it. Um, right now, I'm happy with the music that we're at. Um, so, let's see here. We are... If we look at even ja Japanese kanji... What is the Japanese... I swear I saw something... What are the name origins for the Pokemon regions? For the po Here we go. Pokemon database. Based on named after the real Kanto region, which means east of the barrier. Johto. Jinuichi Masuda has stated in his director's column that the kanji that inspired the name Castle Palace, which is what Johto means, or lattice-shaped palace, rather. Uh, his exact words is, this meaning is connected to the city of Nara, which was basis for Violet City. Violet City. Oh, that's a real-life city. I imagine. Uh, should we start with the starters? Nope, we have a list that we're going through. Um, because you don't... The reason why... Okay, so let me explain to you the process. So, the, so I've done d and I've done a lot of d and I've done, I've done a lot of world making, um, a lot of city making, so on and so forth, right? And what you want to do is you want to establish world. Like, and our world is just our region, right? You want to start... Sometimes you want to start smaller, and sometimes you just want to go to those small things if you have those ideas. Um, but first off, branding, branding, because I want to name, I want to name this the the blank region or Pokemon blank, you know, for these streams after this stream. Once we get a name for the stream, which we're gonna get, we are gonna get that today. That is the goal, um, because we're gonna name the region, and along with naming the region, we're gonna get the name of the quote unquote game that it would be. So like, you know, you have your Pokemon Red, Pokemon Violet, Pokemon blah, 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 you know, whatever, so on and so forth. Um, you're listening to me at two times speed, and it's so funny. I speak so fast as is, Jordan. How are you managing that? Um, you are getting a 10-star aneurysm. Um, 
But by establishing that we are making our region based off of Wisconsin, um, you are then setting it so that you are limited. Limitation is the breeder of innovation. It allows you to, within your constraints, be way, way, way more creative. Um, like, I will tell you right now, there is not going to be alcohol. There is not going to be gambling because a real Pokemon game would not have those things. We will find a way to reference the cultures of things without directly saying these things because that is what Pokemon would do. Okay? Do you understand that? First, perfect. So, let's keep looking at how they name these. Hoenn, uh, Junior Team Asuda has stated that Hoenn's name comes from, insert kanji here, Hoenn, meaning abundant relations. As a common theme in this region is the relationships forged between Pokemon and people. Sinnoh, um, Junior Team Asuda has stated that Sinnoh's name is based on the term kanji, which translates to mysterious. The geography of Sinnoh is based on the geography of the Japanese island of Hokkaido, and, why did I say it like that? Hokkaido, whatever, I said it the same again. And, it's the right way to say it. By all means. Uh, and southern part of the Russian island Sakhalin. Really? Sakhalin, probably. As well as Kunashir, which is claimed by Japan, but administered by Russia. Sinnoh has been said to be an island like Hoenn, rather than a peninsula. Oh. What's well, been away from a jackpot? Gold, silver, quarter, my joke to you. Who has <laughs> never had gambling? Never ever wink. Hey, Bunnel. You dropped by an interesting stream? Yeah, thank you, Bunnel. I, I mean, and hey there, Mental. Just make sure Natu is in the region to be happy. Elemental, I apologize. Natu cannot be in this region. If Natu is in this region, Mr. Masuda and, and the Pokemon Company will make this channel not exist. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't, you do not want that. Girl, don't forget about that last spin. Just one more spin, man. Just one more spin, man. You gotta get that one more spin. Um, uh... So, uh, so yeah, we can't do that, unfortunately. So, 151 original Pokemon. Um, no, no, nothing from anything else. We're gonna make some cool stuff, though. So, um, let's see. Uh, Unova's Japanese name, Ishu, is derived from Ishurui, meaning one variety. Unova, okay. According to the game director, Masuda, this is to express that although the region is diverse in species and race, they are all the same as living creatures when seen from a distance. The region's English name likely comes from the Latin words unum, meaning one, and nova, meaning new. It was derived from the United, considering its basis on the largest city in the United States. It also sounds like parts of the phrase United States of America. Unova, United States of of America. What's the plan? Looking at the plan right below, we have our goals. Um, let's see here. Kalos. According to Junichi, Mas Ju Junichi Masuda, the name Kalos comes from the Greek word, I am not reading that out loud, meaning beauty. As for how they pick a name, I suppose they pick terms, words, phrases based off of the name of the region. Kalos being an appealing theme comes from the word that means beauty. Okay. Uh, and it looks like they had a bunch of sources as well. Uh, also, the Alola region is based off the Hawaiian word Aloha. <laughs> I wonder, man, took a, took a, a five head big brain to figure that out the next einstein right here i'm so happy i'm so freaking happy sherlock got reincarnated uh you can use it if you need reference don't mind need to put it in there just for, okay 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 uh shocker <laughs> that's great okay um okay never would have guessed so uh let's see so this is the part where I tell you guys, this is the part where I tell you guys just learned about that uh, block list here. So I'm like, I had three people unblocked to change the movement bar by one pixel. Wow. Okay. So, 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 so. Mm. This is the part where I tell you guys the concept for this region. I've been thinking about this for two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. I have, I have sat and decided on on what this is going to be, right? And my idea is this. So, so uh, I have... So you guys, I don't know if who, who all saw the short, but I'm going to explain it right here, right now. I have a degree in forensic investigations. I could have been a, I could have been a crime scene investigator, in other words. Um, 
I have good researching skills. I have good speaking skills. I know good inter in interview and interrogation skills. Blah, 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 blah. I could go down the list, so on and so forth. So I have a lot of stuff I could talk about that. I've never talked about that on stream before in detail. I've always just mentioned it, right? I will not show you my degree on screen because if I do, you will find out where I live. <laughs> or where I got my degree, at least. Um, so I'm not going to, we're not going to do that, right? <clears throat> but, but maybe I'll do a picture in like the Discord or something one day just to prove it, prove it. I don't know. Either way, either way, either way. The other thing is that I I was doing some show the degree coward oh gosh look at not black flag HD so here here's the other part to it all I have a absolute ton of books I have over a hundred books actually I should count them two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight thirty thirty two thirty over a hundred books it's over a hundred books I guarantee it's over a hundred books <clears throat> Because we definitely don't believe you. Um, so, 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 what was I saying? Um, and a lot of these books are based off of environmental stuff, right? So I'm, I'm just, I'm just giving you some background. Okay, nerd. Hit it with the nerd. Uh, so, I was, like, I was, you know, going through college and everything for, for all of my environmental stuff, right? That is, that is what I was going for. Um, and... Ultimately, I have a lot of background knowledge and a lot of ability to talk about all this. So that's our background. That's my background. On top of looking at all of this, all of this Pokemon stuff and all these ratings and, and ruining all this research that I've been doing for all of rating people's favorite Pokemon. Right? Tyranitar comes out today, by the way. And um, that's, my, that's my backup to my research, right? Now, now, to follow all of that up, I know Wisconsin. And Wisconsin is a state where... They're one of like the three or four states in the United States that really, really care about nature. Okay. And because of that, I already want to base additional, like I want to have a high basis, regional variant of Saucebuck. Actually, I'm going to have to make a white-tailed deer Pokemon. There's no way I can't. That's the state, that's the state animal. Um, I'm going to be making the state animals into them, of course. Um, but nevertheless, nevertheless, um, the idea here is that, uh, I want my region and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the ev evil faction as well. Cause I've been thinking about the evil faction too. Okay. So we're kind of jumping the shark a little bit and then we're going to move our way back. All right. Um, grass starter related to a tree. Whoa. I can't believe it. That'd be revolutionary gecko. Um, so Fossils, right? Right. Um, Wisconsin has a lot to it. A lot. Wisconsin has a lot of nature to it. Wisconsin. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna show you guys the the uh Wisconsin Wisconsin glacier movement. Uh, let me see if I can find an image of this. Uh, there it is. And we're going to open image in new tab. And we're going to pop, 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 pop. And I'm now going to show you. Let's see here. We're going to get rid of the game capture. Actually, I don't need to. I can just do boom. So, so you can, you can see all this. This is, this is Wisconsin. Well, rather, yeah, yeah, you got, you got Wisconsin up here, right? And make 50 regions for each state. Um, so with a regional Pikachu, I mean, technically it, it should by all means. So if you look at, if you look at this map and I know it's blurry, just, just, just bear with me here. Um, this is Wisconsin. This, this whole state right here is Wisconsin. I was tempted to do like the great lakes, but I was going to be way too much effort. Um, and the glaciers moved down from up here from like Canada area. What, what, what before Canada was Canada made its way through. And they did this thing where they, they grew or they expanded out, then they came back. They expanded out, they came back. Expanded out and came back. And they did that about like, thir I don't know, 13, 14, 15 times. Um, use my voice as ASMR. Thank you, Kog. Also, hi. Hope you sleep well. And they, like I said, they did that 13, 14, 15, 16, whatever, a ton of times. But as it did so, these glaciers pushed and pulled and pushed and pulled and pushed and pulled. All these rocks and, and fossils and all these different things, whether it was rocks... As big as a car or just a bunch of grit that it just ground up along the way, right? And 
that that is that is interesting to me. I, I did classes on that. I found it interesting. Might be tough making 2,500 regions if he does 50 regions per state. Um, but then uh, one region for each state. Um, and so Wisconsin has all these fossils, has all these rocks. We have bedrock that is um, a, like really close to this, like in some areas on the entire east coast and then in the southern area a little bit the bedrock is higher blah 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 so i'm um, no, we're going to talk more about that later because that's going to become more important as we highly develop what we're doing here today also i got you dark i'll check that later um uh i'm in my rant i'm in my rant mode so 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 what i have decided by knowing that wisconsin loves their nature freaking absolutely loves their nature we have had these glacial periods where things got deposited and all these lakes that exist exist because these these pieces of ice have broken off and created what's called like just kind of melted into the ground. There's also kettle moraines where the land went over the ice and then it and then the ice melted. So now we have a dip, but we have solid land around it. So you have a you have a kettle and then you have a you have a moraine kettle, moraine kettle, moraine kettle. It's how those work. Make a fossil extinct and or nearly extinct tree. So, so there's there. So we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, either grace. Um, so, so what's going to end up happening then is because of all this and all this information, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put ducks back on screen. Um, uh, so Wisconsin state fossil is something that's very close to a modern day horseshoe crab. Ooh, yeah. Trilobite, 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 trilobites. So here's the plan for this region. Are you be so this is what this is gonna be. It this is not the gimmick for this region yet. This is not the this is not the Gidgen. Gidgen. Gimmick for the region. But I want our region to have more focus on fossils. I want I want the I want Pokemon blank, whatever we name it, whatever it gets named here. To be focused more on fossils. Previous generations, you get one or two fossils. Um, gimmick of the region is how few Pokemon you can catch. Um, that actually, that would be very interesting. Actually, done. Don't catch them all. Um, so, the idea here then is that in this land. There has already been a well-established group of people who are actively bringing back Pokemon that were fossils. And instead of it being like one or two fossils, like you've seen in the most re in like all the other games, these are going to be Pokemon that are being released. Like they, they, like you are. Think of think of it this way. I might, there's a chance I might just make our starters fossil Pokemon that are, are reestablished back into our environment. Uh, do the car bing. Does anyone know if Absol are uh, going to be here as soon as Absol, uh, has been able to, has it been able, be able to be unlocked though? Wait, what's going on here? Uh, just liking the stream and subscribing. Hey, plague hit that. All our favorite people in chat, not quite back to sleep. <laughs> so, so that's our gimmick. Not our gimmick. Sorry. That's the focus of this region. We are focusing fossils. Our starters very well might be fossils. Um, or again, reestablished Pokemon that used to be fossils, but are now brought back. Um, Oh, Nuzlocke is what you meant. Oh, gosh. Oh, uh, language, language. Where is it? 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 Has to be Nuzlocke, though. Um, so, that's that's one. I need... You know what I need? I need my other tab open. I need my other tab open just so that that... Oh, well, God, I have so many tabs open right now. I need to have my other tab open just so that that way I can actually type these things out and i'm gonna have to make a whole other folder just for myself um so with the starter being fossils does this mean that they will start be part rock type as well uh i want to get away from that i in my opinion we shouldn't have to have 
Um, we shouldn't have to have them all be rock or ground or whatever it is. I will say I do have one, one fossil or one Pokemon in mind. Um, let me create a new folder for myself. We're going to call this Pokemon blank, blank, blank. Because I do not have a name for this yet. I wanted to come up with everything on stream. Um, I wanted to dedicate myself to it. Uh, I can make a few examples. That That is all on you. Again, I am not using anybody else's work. I will do, at some point, I will be drawing my own stuff. Um, because, um, should you come up with names for stars? I would say, like, this is what we'll do. The point of this... Will the grass starter start and stand on two feet? No! No! If we are making a cat, it is staying on all fours! Um, anywho. <clears throat> uh, would it be similar to the Paradox Pokemon of Paldea? Like, it's a category. That is tempting. Um, that is, that is tempting. Um, that is tempting. But it, I, that Paradox also... Like some some level of primitive to it. Also, it's really weird. Like thinking about thinking about that in general. Um, you have to follow the tradition. Like bipedal cat. No, did you see the thumbnail? The thumbnail said keep the cat on all fours. Damn it, we're keeping the cat on all fours. Anywho, <laughs> it's just fun. I like this stream already. This is I'm already having so much fun. Um, I'm gonna drink some tea and I'm gonna hit you guys with uh, a fat little ad break. So hydration check, ad break. I'm gonna have to have more tea made. Um, that's fine. I have my tea thing right behind me. Rise, kitty cats, rise! It's a cat, no, not a friend. Hear me out. How about no cat starter? <laughs> um. Uh. Okay. So, 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 so. Here's, here's. Here's what I'm doing here. Here's, I'm going to throw some more. All right, let me, uh, ideas, 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 ideas. Okay. So I'm going to make a document. You don't care about it. You got a holiday ad? Um, so let's look at region. I'm going to have to make multiple folders. One's for the region. One for... One of them for just Pokemon ideas. Um, we'll just start there, right? We'll just start there. Cast starter Wisconsin doesn't make sense with all the nature focus on Wisco has, so making cast starter doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Uh, false Pokemon could be a sc Scolder. I so I'm gonna throw this out there also. Tony Tony Chopper style evolution. Actually though, so you got a pizza ad that was all redundant. Um, so I'm gonna say this also. I'm gonna say this also. And I'm going to make this very, very abundantly clear. Um, I, I am going to, I plan to come up with everything myself. Reason being is I have done 76. I have read and researched 76 Pokemon. And some of them, like, if I ask for ideas, then I will. But, like, some of these Pokemon, Arceus. Are, have complicated name backgrounds. Then you have other Pokemon that are like Metagross, which is just based off of like or Metang, which is literally the sound that metal makes. Like ding! Like a ding! Boing! You know, whatever. Um, Non-standard starter trio typing. Yeah! I like that. Throw out ideas. I would say if it's names, if it's art, I mean, like, you guys can always throw out ideas. Just, I just don't want anybody to get offended if I say no. But I do like the idea of people being like, hey, what if we made this type starter poke or this type of Pokemon? Like, you know, because, again, all these names and all these Pokemon are going to be based off of things that should exist in the state of Wisconsin. As such, I can't just, you know, make a Pokemon called, uh, 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 I don't, oh, God, I almost said something incredibly inappropriate. Um... Uh, screw it. Platypus Mater 77. Like, I'm not gonna call... I'm not gonna call a Pokemon Platypus Mater 77. There's... Platypuses don't exist in Wisconsin. Um, what about a fossil type? Send you some art <laughs> afterwards, KK, baby. Um, um, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> slander. Um, let's see here. So... This is hard. I realize how hard this is while talking to chat and actually keeping up with 
uh, actually making progress. So this is gonna be very, this is gonna be very interesting. Wonder how many, how they came up with the names Clink Clang and Clink. <laughs> if you tell me a Pokemon based on like, anyway, you can come up with a name if you want. Uh, I, I might, I might throw some stuff to chat. I might throw some stuff to chat. That might, I, I we'll, we'll put it that way. We'll put it that way. Um, let's see. Um, so starters as fossils? Question mark. Um, our region we know is based on Wisconsin. Um, so we know that the region is going to have, have a rich history. Uh, variants of existing Pokemon may be risky. Yes, I can't do that either. If I do that, Mr. Pokemon will come, uh, kicking down my door, put a lawsuit in my face, and say, uh, you're not allowed to do this project anymore. So, I cannot do variants either. Um... Uh, all starters will have a second type, right? Now, like Blastoise? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably make them secondary typings. Give me a fire starter, what it's based on. That'll be your job. Full awful. Hi there, bloody. Hey, it's Bendemile. How you doing? Also remember that English Pokemon names are chosen differently from Pokemon. Japanese Pokemon names. Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee are different uh, pro fighters for each culture. Correct. 100% correct. Um, uh, so the other thing to remember is that Japanese names for Pokemon end up being puns a lot of the time. When it gets translated to English, we usually then take parts of that name and mash it together is what ends up happening. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, no. Do not call Arcanine a bad doggo. It is the... It, Arcanine is so powerful. Arcanine is so powerful. I did, Dark. Um, Arcanine... Oh, wait. Starter could be bone jaws. Look like skeleton human jaws. They stand on two legs running. What the heck is that? That's a... That's a... That, that's a... That's an abomination. That's a nightmare. Um... Uh, Arcanine is so powerful. Hold on. Arcanine is so powerful that it is the only Pokemon from China. A place that doesn't exist in Pokemon. Anywho. <clears throat> Anywho. It's a fossil Pokemon. Um, so, 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 okay. Um, rich history with nature, glaciers, um... Research your nature, glaciers, fossil focus. I'm also going to throw this out there. Beef? Um, beef actually would be a good one. I would like another. I mean, we might make another cow or bull type Pokemon. We'll see. Our guy is just too amazing to be comprehending. It's only one, simply one universe. I'll take a Carpink over the dog. No. Well, let's consider Carpink is your favorite. That makes sense. Um, so... Well, what was I going to say? Um, have you had a sandcastle that eats people and you call it thinking abomination? Yes! Yes, the sandcastle looks like a sandcastle. You just described something that is just jaws and runs around. You just described a piranha without skin. That's what you just said. Um, our bank is good. To just for a start as well, to easier base the game names is start out with the legendaries. Uh, we might have to go that route when we get to the name of the game itself. That actually is a good idea, Plague. Um... Okay, fossil focus. Here's another thing. I think I think this is going to be something that's going to be very interesting um, to all of you as well. Um, I love cryptids. I I love cryptids. I love things like skinwalkers or uh, skinwalkers, Bigfoot, uh, the chupacabra, the uh, the Wendigo. Actually, the Wendigo is not a cryptid technically. Wendigo is not a. It's not. Hodag time. Yeah, Hodag. Hodag. The Hodag is gonna be in this. I'm putting the Hodag. If you don't know what the Hodag is, give me a second. I will show you what a Hodag is. Hodag. This thing's ugly. Thing is ugly. Look at. Oh my God. Pop pop pop. Pop 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 pop. Why is that so loud? Why is that like that? Open image, a new tab. Uh, look at. Look at this ugly thing. Look at this absolute... Look at that thing. Look, look at... Look at that. That's so... Look at that. That's a hodag. That's a Tommy Knuckers. Look at that. That's a hodag. That's... That's like Wisconsin's state cryptid. That's what that is. Straight up. <laughs> literally me. Uh, literally me. Slight land whale. Yo, let's go. So, yeah. So, to give you an idea, cryptids are... So, to... So, to give me an idea, that's what I look like when I get woken up. <laughs> just, just a smile. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hodag is me on Monday. <laughs> so, so, okay. 
Uh, where was I? Um, Wisconsin has a cryptid that are just our Thunderbirds. It can, if anyone could give ideas for that. Hmm. Um, so for those of you that don't know what a cryptid is, a cryptid is a creature that is, so is supposedly not supposed to exist. Like it's not supposed to be a real thing, but it is something that people swear up and down that they've seen. So Bigfoot, the abominable snowman, the mothman, people swear up and down that they have seen these things right um and as such um like there's been some quote-unquote evidence that they exist blah 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 mermaids are a cryptid um and sometimes cryptids end up being creatures that actually do end up existing like there are some fish or birds like the dodo the dodo was a freaking cryptid until we realized oh wait this is an actual thing we actually like like, like we saw it somebody saw it once like christopher columbus saw it once or some bs like that on an island and then sat here and went like, oh, that's that's a thing. And nobody believed them. And then years later, we're like, oh, dang, that is a real thing. Wow. Um, Wisconsin has a crap, blah, blah, blah. Baba Yaga named Thunderbird. Wisconsin isn't tied with Baba Yaga. It isn't. Although it is cool. Generally, you know nothing about Wisconsin except the, the weather is horrid. It can be all over the place. Whalemore and Whalor being a land whale. Mm -hmm. um, add a Pokemon. That's, that's a, literally a car. It's just a car. I'm going to add guns. Um, actually, you know what? Um, witches in Wisconsin. I shouldn't have searched that, actually. You know what? We're going to back away from that. <laughs> We're going to back away from that one. Um, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, the Baba Yaga is Slavic folklore. So, yeah, it had zero ties. There's no way we can even do that. But... But we could go with some northern stuff, nevertheless. Um, straight up Rev of Room and Vroom. Vroom. I love those Pokemon. They're so stupid. Um, all right. Let's let me let me close down my tab. Um. So, we know we want this to be a fossil focus. We're gonna have cryptids. We're gonna have. A lot of extra stuff in, in here, nature-based. Um, revival is going to be a big part of all this. Revival and uh, Fortnite upset you. Uh, Phantom Chicken. The Phantom Chickens! No, okay, okay, okay. Okay, hold on. Pokemon, Pokemon ideas. All right. Pokemon ideas, starters as fossils, question mark. We have the Hodag in here. We have the Ghost Chickens. Do you guys know the Phantom Chickens of Wisconsin? Um, uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to teach you guys about the Phantom Chickens of Wisconsin now. See, this is... I love this. I actually love this stream. I hope... I, I'm not going to lie to you. I wanted this stream to succeed because I'm, I'm, I knew that this is exactly how this would go. I knew this is exactly how this would go, and I'm already in love with this. This is exactly my kind of stream. Um, um... <clears throat> Sent you a link in the Discord of drawings of Crippish just as a starter. Oh boy, I can't wait to see. Great art piece that shows the cryptids. Oh, 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 this is actually yo, yo. Okay, hold on. We're gonna show this to y'all. Uh, let's show this to you guys. Let's show this to you guys. We're on Etsy, baby. Uh, open image, a new tab. Okay. So, let's do this. And we'll put our window capture back on. Okay. So, these are our cryptids of Wisconsin. Okay. So, it looks like we have the Beast of Bray Road. The Cumberland Beast, which is just a Bigfoot knockoff. Gotta go. Might be back later. See you, Eclipse. Thanks for being here. Those chickens would not be filling to eat for sure. Ghost normal type chicken? I could. What about making the cryptid as a pseudo legend? That's probably what the hodag is going to be because I don't think I want to make the hodag the legendary. Um, but it is tempting. Um, but I might make the cryptids. Oh, man. Actually, I might make. I might take two cryptids and make them legendary Pokemon. Like, Gnomes of Fifield, the Honkies, the Hodag, the Kettle Moraine Goatman. That's terrifying. There's the Hodag again. 
Kendrick Sma Swamp, what's it? That's an alligator possum, guys. That's a freaking alligator possum. What the heck is going on here? Um, the Lake Winnebago Water Monster, which is just basically a small story about a smaller Loch Ness Monster. Um, it is a little different, though, from my recollection. Man Face Pigs of Door County. That is terrifying. Um, that is that is genuinely terrifying. Um, Moss and Birdman, Mineral Point Vampire. The Phantom Chickens! We have Rocky, the Steinfall Beast, which, uh, interesting. That Thunderbird is ripped, though. That Thunderbird is jacked. That Thunderbird is jacked. Uh, the Unctahila Unc of Devil's Lake. I am afraid of that. That just looks like another Loch Ness Monster variant of sorts. Um, and then the Wendigo, which that one's basically due to the fact that Wisconsin has a high uh, and rich history of... Um, of, um, whatchamacallit, your eyes are so bad you can't read them. Uh, that might also just be, it could also just be a stream and resolution thing to be 100% fair. Like, I'm not super zoomed in on them or anything like that. Um, so, oh god. See, now, nah, man, do we just make, I, I know, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but do we just sit and make a cryptid into, do we sit, I think we sit and we make a cryptid into, into our legendaries. Isaac, the giant who makes stone towers being, towers being a pseudo-legend and a rock ground type. Isaac? Wait, hold on. We're... It's... We'll start with the legends for sure. Yeah. Okay. I think... This is difficult. Hmm... Let's see here. I don't think the name the name seems a little off. Um. Um. You know what? Even though I was against it at first, like the Thunderbird and the Hodag. I think that Buff Bird looks like a legendary. Ah, see, that's what I'm getting at. I I was against it at first. Also, the Eau Claire Beast is just a hellhound. Let's be real here. Um, God, I... Uh, a Thunder... The Thunderbird and the Hodag being the legendaries of... Of this, this region sound really kick-ass. I'm not gonna lie. I was against it at first, but I'm just getting ideas, and that sounds really freaking cool do you think you're going to uh gecko asks do you think you're going to include teenage mutant ninja sterile uh, ninja fish fry and i say sidine ansel uh, and and katuna i don't think i would but i do have so wisconsin has a fish that is a like a living fossil like it is old um I'm blanking on the name all of a sudden. Oh, gosh. I know the name. Uh, I'll talk about it at some point. Um, uh, yeah, there's the Sturgeon. Thank you, Plague. So, they are... They are they are damn good recommendations. I will say that, Gecko. I, it is hard to not... It is hard to say no. Um, but the Sturgeon is a living fossil, like, of a creature that, honest to God, um, deserves so much love. They're massive. They're six feet and longer it is they are so protected that if i catch a sturgeon which i you got to catch them with a spear you spear fish those things if i catch it and i give it to you to process it so i can have their 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 eggs for um for um what is it called eating 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 it's the eggs eggs when you eat eggs when you eat fish eggs when you eat fish eggs what is it called what's called what's called, what's called? caviar caviar there we go uh caviar uh i think pet one they're amazing as well they're so smooth Plague, we need to go back. We need to go. We need to go to the aquarium again. Anywho, anywho, that's me in my arm. Um, trainer class idea, the spearman. I'm writing that down. Yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm in the dis. I'm in the Discord, by the way. Uh, let's see here. Um, sorry, folks. A whole dag. Um, let me create a new folder for just trainers, for that matter. Train, oh god, oh god, 
All right, let me also do you guys a favor. I'm going to get this back off the screen because you don't need to see that anymore. There's no point. Uh, trainers, spearmen class. There we go. Instead of just calling them fishermen, honestly. Just, there could be fishermen and then like... You know, it would be kind of cool if we had like an elite trainer version of every single trainer. I think that would be more interesting. Um, so, let's see here. Um, I'm going to have to say... Open image in new tab save image as I'll just put it in my downloads it'll be fine I can should be able to view it from there back to ducks will there be shinies in your region I probably won't I mean the shinies are probably be one of the last things I do in this region I mean there probably would be I mean I, I think it'd be interesting um gonna do Tommy knockers and when you're in a cave there's a chance you hear knocking and then one minute later the cave wall caves in oh my god that's terrifying I don't think that's here in Wisconsin I mean, that actually would be really good because Wisconsin has a rich mining history, actually. Um, so we very, very, very well could do that. Um, give me a second. I'm going to, I'm going to like literally turn my back and, and now I have my tea going again. Um, the badger. Okay. So, so. Oh, wait, I also saw your message earlier saying how the Thunderbird feels like a third legendary. What do we think then? So, so out of all, you know what? Let me put it back on screen. Uh, not useful right now. Okay, Plague just sent me something. It's not useful right now, but it is funny. The 45, 45th degree north, 90th degree west geographic marker is in Marathon County. And is the exact center of the northwest hemisphere, where the 45th parallel of latitude intersects the 90th meridian of longitude. This is the only conveniently accessible marker in the world. There is a perceived significance that this geological location is responsible for the prevalence and the high quality of the ginseng grown in Marathon County. Anyone who visits the marker is encouraged to stop at Central Wisconsin Convention to sign the official 45th degree north, 90th degree west club registration book and receive a commemorative coin. The 45th, uh, this geographic marker is at this location in Athens. Interesting. What does Thunderbird do? Good question. The badger animal in the SS badger. Okay, so, beak under. That's actually not bad. So, so I'm going to say this. I wanted to make... Oh, hi. You're in here. You're, you're muted, though. Um, I... Yeah, I'm here. I'll, I'm, I'm just letting you do your thing there. I'll, I'll research things in the background for quick convenient okay um i'm gonna boost you for my sake for whenever you talk then um but 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 so uh seeing as there's zapdos and region of four i feel like another crypto would be better in its place that is fair but just because it's thunder does not mean that it has to be an electric type so i'm also going to throw out there that thunderbirds are pretty common in most native american cultures uh, I know that expands out all the way to, uh, like, the Pacific Coast there, all the way to Wisconsin, everything like that. So it's uh, it's pretty common in a lot of Native American cultures. So if you use it, you could use it as, a, like, a small deity sort of thing there, even if you wanted to move it as, like, a mythical Pokemon. Okay. Uh, quote, unquote, there. But you could probably stay away from that one being a yeah uh, the the quote-unquote trio or one of the main legendaries yeah i think hmm I'm trying to think then mm -hmm. like it's gonna put you to sleep um uh, let's see here so oh Alright, anywho. Um Alright, let me put the cryptids back on screen. Cause I, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of in love with the idea of even if we don't take the design off of these creatures, we can base it off of them. I think the Hodag is one. Um I think the Hodag is definitely one. I want I want something real freaking unique for these creatures. Um Honestly, honestly. So from what I'm seeing, the Beast of Bray Road is also one of the two most well-known cryptids. Really? Uh, creatures from Wisconsin there. Of course, the other one being the Hodag. 
Uh, the, elu the elusive aberration is said to roam the area of Bray Road, localed just outside of the town of Elkhorn. These werewolf cryptid have had several sightings in the 1990s, with local newspapers reporting on the topic and even eventually gaining some national news attention as the most popular werewolf sightings in the U.S. Many are skeptical of its existence, and others say that it has been confused as other folklore monsters, such as Wisconsin's Bigfoot or a Wendigo. If you are interested, you may find yourself, uh, let's see, take a trip over there, at night, and you can see one for yourself. So they usually just appear at night for their sightings. Interesting. Uh, screen is blurry, not chat, though. I am not... Your screen is blurry, but not chat, though. I have no idea. Uh, it's a cryptid in the bottom right called Cucky? No, it's Rocky. Uh, it looks like it's an iguana, which iguanas should not be around in in Wisconsin, so I can see why people would freak out about that. Breeze of Bray Road's pretty up. That's actually pretty interesting. Having it be a, just a regular old werewolf, though. Hmm. But here's the thing. It doesn't have to be a werewolf. The hodag might just be the freaking hodag, though. Like, let's be real, y'all. Like, heavy inspiration from hodag. But we could take bits and pieces from another cryptid for the second one. <clears throat> what about the Kendrick Swamp What's It? Let's look, I'm going to look into that a little bit. The names are just very blurry for you. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let me... That's off. I'm going to look into the Kidrick Swamp What's It. Let's see about that. Kidrick Swamp What's It. <clears throat> uh... What comes to mind when you think of a swamp? It's probably safe to assume. Imagine consistent of dark water filled with alligators and old, somewhat eerie-looking trees with their trunks almost entirely submerged. Blah, 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 blah. Running ahead. Uh, Wisconsin has location of swamp. Um, in towards the third answer. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, gosh. There's a lot here. Okay. Um... There's Kittrick Swamp itself. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, I missed a bunch of stuff. Hodag can be Hodag as no one's been seen the Flamigo Pokemon. They took a letter N away. We thought about combining two cryptids into one. That would be... That would be. Also, Flamigo's balling. I love Flamigo. I regret not keeping it on my team from beginning to end when I first played. Um, Kittrick Swamp, location, 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 near the forest, national forest, blah, blah, blah. Um, we have the location down. Flamingo goes naked when it's shiny. That's balling. That's kind of funny. That's even funnier. I like it even more now. Uh, that's funny. It's, uh, um, five recognized categories of wetland swamps in a state. Uh, created to help classify areas based on a vegetation found within a set border, the type of soil located, collected there, and the amount of water which covers the area. After collecting the required data, it is either classified as an aquatic bed, a marsh, a sedge, or me wet meadow, a scrub or shrub area, or a forested wetland. We at one point were debating on whether or not we should break each category down for further classification, but this is supposed to be some relatively quick information, so we will leave it to you to dive into these categories if you wish. Uh, just didn't eat enough shrimp. Actually, that's that's accurate. So, flamingos, the way that they get their color isn't just by eating the shrimp. What they do is when they eat the shrimp, it's like they kind of crush it a little bit. And so, the proteins and the that are left behind on their beak, they then preen their feathers with. And that's what makes a flamingo's feathers pink. Um, you can just unshiny a flamingo by feeding it. <laughs> Say what you want. You can never re-shiny your flamingo. <laughs> oh god um uh just on other notes there i sent you a list of 25 cryptids from wisconsin there uh including some interesting ones such as the wisconsin man bat and no that is not the you know villain from batman yeah yeah i know about the man bat that's, that's of, uh, yeah yeah and uh the plessy store Dial Lake Monster there. That one is actually on the sheet there, but uh, also Tentacled Lake Monster. Oh. <laughs> from Devil's Lake as well. So. Oh. Also, that's... yeah, there's a place called Devil's Lake, which if that's... you really want to. I was say, Devil's. Long for location. That might be an amazing location to keep, to have a relation to in this game. I mean, Devil's Lake is, is famous. Like, it's big. Uh. 
Wish you were on DC right now. You're watching your phone, so you can't. You can just unshine it. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, a lot of people allowed in the Discord or my Discord call are like uh, croissants, which are people that I know personally. So don't 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 worry, Chief. Don't worry, Chief. Uh, let's get through the swamp talk, and then I think we're gonna go through this list that you sent me because. This is actually a really good list. Sorry, I, I just saw the list. There's one for mini mastodons, which yeah, I think is such yeah. a good idea. It's such a good one. I, I There was no way I wasn't going to have like a mastodon or a mammoth in this. There was 0% chance I wasn't going to have it. Um, Let's see. It's very difficult cryptid to research. In fact, almost all the information surrounding it comes from only one source. A 1997 book written by Dennis Boyer entitled Giants and Land, Folk Tales and Legends of Wisconsin. I might have to buy that book. Because of the difficulty and scarceness of recording information regarding the what's its existence, it actually seems to almost slide away from being classified as a true cryptid and settles more within the realm of being a pure creature of folklore. But there is still a possibility that the what's it may travel between two classifications, and we will explain why in a minute. As many who read the articles written here at the PBI know, it goes without saying that Wisconsin residents have a long and storied history of seeing a strange creature, seeing strange creatures within the many wetland areas of the state. Sure, we have the classic Sasquatch-like encounters. Uh, what are the popular foods in Wisconsin? Maybe you can make it. <laughs> Cheese and beer. Cheese, Cheese and beer. And are very beer. common with it. Uh, corn is actually the state grain. Cranberries yep. are the state fruit. Oh, cranberries. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. There. I, I, I just got an idea. Wisconsin, I just got an idea. Mm, mm, mm. Wisconsin with a... I know there's a good part of Wisconsin, or a good chunk of Wisconsin, that has a lot of German ancestry. And to give you an idea of like German ancestry, I don't know how many people have heard of St. Nick Day. or Saint, Yeah, St. Nick Day, which is usually held in i can see you freaking out on your stream which is usually <laughs> held on um, in germany and in like one small part of wisconsin and another part of wisconsin so it's got a huge german heritage with it i want a cranberry worm pokemon i want a cranberry worm pokemon That's what I want. I want one of those. I am like, I am like highlighting that for myself. I want a cranberry worm Pokemon because worms and cranberries are freaking. It's also held in the Netherlands. Okay, that's what I knew it was held around there, but in the United States, is not held around very commonly. It's very rare actually throughout most of the states. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> oh, there you go. Um, cheese beer, cheese bear, cheese bear. Hmm. We'll probably have a bear Pokemon. Bears are. Well, I have a black bear Pokemon specifically, more specific, because those are black bears are pretty common here. Um, more that you go north. Is my tea done? Did my tea ever go? Hold on, guys. Bear with me. He's bear with Whoa, me. Oh, that's fucking hot! I'm gonna drop the up bomb. I don't care. That was hot. God, that hurt. I get one F-bomb a stream, it's fine. Don't worry. Everything's okay. Gotta make my tea. And now we let it steep. He said the naughtiest word of all. No, no, I didn't. There's worse words than the F-bomb. Uh, I'm not saying those on stream. <laughs> um, I'll take a sacrifice. Kill cussing is unsettling. Oh, I swear like a sailor. Right, Plague? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I've never heard you swear once. This is the first time. I'm actually freaked out. I almost died. I actually just died. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. What the heck? Okay, hold on. Hold on, we're, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep running this. We're gonna keep running this, right? Um. Uh. Da, 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 da. Sure, we have the classic Sasquatch-like encounters. They seem to have an overabundance of dogman sightings, but we also have locations said to be inhabited by lizardmen, pterosaurs, trolls, a giant man, bat, a yeti, and even creatures that are nearly indescribable, just to name a few. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that a creature would have been spotted a few times in Kendrick Swamp that was never fully investigated and just sort of got jumped or lumped together within the sightings and encounters of the more recognizable beasts above. And to tell you the truth, that happens a lot in this field. Um, 
<laughs> of all things, go cussing over, and it was tea. I, I burned my hand because I was being stupid. Um, a prime purely manufactured example of this would be as follows. Something weird starts happening in location A, and miles away in location B, something weird also starts happening. Rather than take the time to thoroughly investigate each occurrence within the same amount of time and energy, it's easier for the media and amateur researchers and investigators to jump on the bad wagon of A and claim the same thing is happening all over the state. Did you or someone in your city spot some weird hairy thing in the woods? Well, it's gotta be Bigfoot. Doesn't matter if you saw it walking around on all fours and looked nothing like Bigfoot. It's easier for the general public to accept the Bigfoot in the area than, say, a beaver eater or devil monkey. Okay, those are both ter terms I wasn't ready to read today. Uh, basically, what, what what slurs did you just say? <laughs> you beaver eater. <laughs> you beaver eater. Wait, we can't say that. That's actually a, that could be a really dirty thing. I just realized. Something, something about chewing wood. <laughs> Opposite. Um, my tea has been heating for five to ten minutes. Let's touch it. I touched my kettle, which was the mistake. It was it wasn't Bigfoot. That was someone's mom. Ooh. Um, all right, I'm going to scroll further. There's a lot of really good information here. It's called the Pine Barrens Institute, if anyone ever wants to look it up, because it looks like Pine Barren Institute looks at a lot of cryptids in general. So I mean, we might be here a lot. And they look like really good researchers, as far as it goes. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, we are supposed to take into call to call it the... Okay, hold on. Uh, basically what I'm trying to get that is even though there is not much of info on WhatsApp, what it doesn't matter, doesn't mean is it doesn't exist or didn't exist at one point. It may have just been a wrongly categorized and nobody ever addressed the error. Heck, even the name of the creature is not consistent. The witness in Boyer's book, uh, referred to it by a name he had made up, also states that others were more likely calling it something different each time. We ourselves have taken a calling it the WhatsApp because as soon as you'll see, nobody can agree on what it is. So it means that if someone in down the road possibly attempts to go looking for information on this supposed creature, they may come across absolutely nothing because they are unaware of what the name encounters or recorded or under. This may then lead to one believing that there is absolutely no basis in truth to this beast and cause them to write the entire thing off as either a hoax or wrongfully categorized for tea and event. Um, roasted someone by accident. What adds to this confusion, difficulty, and research in, is that in classic monster fashion, the Kidrick Swamp Monster What's It appears to look different to anyone and everyone who sees it within the swampy wetland. Some woodsmen have claimed to see the thing report that it looks somewhat like a llama or an alpaca, but with more of a reddish color fur and head that just looked odd. Congratulations. It moves around quickly on four... It's straight up a skinwalker, that's all that is. It's just a skinwalker. Just a skinwalker. Um... Uh-oh. Uh, it moves around quickly on four legs, stopping to stand tall in the spongy wet dirt below and long grass surrounding before taking off into the tall trees and make up the border of the swamp. That make up the border of the swamp. Other witnesses to the what's it claim it appears to resemble a creature that is a cross between a possum and an alligator. It moves around on four, on four small feet close to the ground and slings between the shrubbery and fallen trees dotting the swamp. It is yet again said to be covered in red fur, but this time it appears to possess some horns on its head. Finally, there is the most bizarre description of the Watsi yet, and that says a lot about creature that has already been described in two bizarre ways. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Imagine a full-sized hippo slowly lumbering along through a forest. Now imagine a large musk ox walking along in the opposite direction towards the hippo. When the two giants meet head-to-head -head in the middle of the swamp, merge them together into one large abomination. What you have just created in your mind is what one witness of the what's it claimed it looked like. I have nothing in my head right now. I have nothing in my head right now. What? Oh, sweet. Okay, hold on. Hearing uh, this makes me want to like go outside more because I've never seen anything like this. A hip. To, a hippo. I need to go find this. A hippo and a. Okay, hold on. Hippo. I'm gonna. Look, we all know what a hippo looks like, but I'm gonna look up a must ox. Okay, now I'm going to show chat a must ox for for er, for our everyone's sake here. I'm going to find a good picture of a must ox. Open image and new tab. This one's going to be a little blurry, but it's better than nothing. <clears throat> um, um, why is it so off to the side? Must ox. So that's a must ox. So, a must ox and a hippo. Take take the images and then take one of the layers. 
and just change the opacity on it. Yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. Yeah, I have I have sketchbook open. Give me a moment. I can do. I let me get a good picture of a mustox. Let me get a better picture. If chat wants to get the full effect of it, you must at least finish the twelve pack because I'm fairly certain that's what every person <laughs> saw an animal like this. Dude, what's wrong? This dude was flabbergasted. That was it. That's, all, dude, that's the way I'll put it. This dude was drunk as all get out. What the heck? Okay, let's 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 do this. This image for the hippo was just named R from whoever uploaded it. Uh, hey, sometimes it's it hard putting together a website, so I just <laughs> randomly throw. <laughs> I throw in <laughs> random things. That's all it is. Alright, let me add image. You guys can't see anything yet. Oh, I picked a perfect two images. I knew what I was doing here today. Um Let's see, and then let me add the hippo on top of that. I picked a perfect two images. Okay. Now, chat, I'm now going to change this so that you can see sketchbook. So we have our hippo. Now allow me to lower the opacity. And now you have ox. And now a we put it, call it a what to call it. Somewhere in between here is the what I hate that I can actually see it. I hate I I ha I have it. They I, actually kind of fit. It oh, is just a very hairy this. hippo. I hate this. It's a hairy Moto hippo Moto with Moto really does like you. Moto Moto likes you. I hate this my mom. <laughs> i don't i don't know what to say gecko you know your mother's probably a really <laughs> nice lady she's got a good personality <laughs> um, you know what the uglier they are the greater I the personality see. i never said my mom was I, ugly i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i can see the what's to call it i can see can we all see the what's to call it whistles in a romantic way we are not you are not I'm sipping the for the call. what's it Uh, what's full name? The what's it? Is it just the what's it? It's the something something yeah, swamp it's what's it. it. It's, it's the Kidrick wa swamp what's it. Yeah, Kidrick swamp what's it. What do I do with this? What what do I do with what do I like seriously like? What? <laughs> nice and cuddly though. Hippo with a mohawk. What it gonna do? This, lo this <laughs> looks like this may not even be like a, a, a cryptid legend. This could be like your <laughs> your regional Toro slash Buffalot. I honestly could. We might. Okay, we're gonna. A single stage evolution of something like normal. You might want to make it, give it a second typing, but. Like yeah. Just a single stage, and it's really bulky. It has a high attack, and it will go through. And. We're gonna put game capture back on, and I think we're writing down the what's it as a Pokemon, but we're not writing it down as one of our legendaries. I think I think that's the I think that's our consensus on this one. Yeah, it could, it could be drawn as bipedal, I guess. Uh, drawn as <laughs> will it stand? It's gotta <laughs> you be say. It's gotta be bipedal. Uh, Kidrick, Swamp, what's it? Pokemon. There we go. I'm just gonna type. I'm just gonna well, type like, that. You just threw every word you you could think of basically right there, and that is the <laughs> actual thing that it's called. Like it sounds like. A, <laughs> Vom it sounds like word vomit. That's what it is. We just call it kids it. We can't call it kids it. That sounds bad. That sounds really bad. We're not calling it kids it. I take it all back. How many dots can you put in a message? Oh dear God. Here he goes. Um. Sorry, I'm in a little bit of shock right now. Okay. <clears throat> we have yet to. We haven't even done our first goal. We've been jumping all over the place, but that's okay. We're okay. We we we're working it. We're working it. Um. Let's 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 let our, let's let our brains let's let our brains digest some some of those cryptids in the background. All right, let's let our brains digest that. I I want to go back to the region name. Rich history of nature, glaciers, fossil focus, revival, cryptids. Like we're having a pretty strong focus with cryptids. I mean, heck, we are going to be naming our read our our game after cryptids i think is our idea here so i think we're gonna call this i think our region is gonna be based off of it was too long probably got modded the krillian region no 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 no. i want this i want this to be 
I want this to be like as if it was a real Pokemon game. There's no way they just name it after somebody. I mean, technically. Um, what is revive? Is there revive in, revive in Japanese? I feel like if I say that wrong, I'll be swearing twice on stream today. Uh, <laughs> um. Revival Fukatsu. Okay. Fukatsu Suru. Yeah. If I just do Revival, it's Fukatsu. If I do Revive, it's Fukatsu Suru. Um, I think Revival or Restoration is Fukatsu. Um, Reborn? Which is right, Saisei. That doesn't sound bad either. And that's a start. This is just a start. Uh, okay. Reborn is also Umara Kawata. That's, that's, that, are you kidding me? Are you, you're joking, right? Oh, Rebirth is Saisei. <clears throat> Pokemon Revival sounds good. That does sound kind of good, though. Might What's... Be around here already called Pokemon Revival. There might be. What's West in Japanese? Because West... Beanster. Oh, gotcha. I see what you mean. I have no idea, actually. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, do you want to look that up while I'm trying to see? Let's see. What is fossil? Uh, so there, there's Pokemon Rebirth and Pokemon Revival, both of which are okay. Take two. That's okay. Um, fossil in Japanese is Kasuki. Is it really though? So I also, um, I'm just gonna lay this thought process out here, and I, it's not like a, a set thing that you have to follow. Hmm. So regions one through four all take oh, place in Japan, oh, okay, and they okay. were all named after Japanese, like after Japanese like districts and sections. Kanto is a legitimate place in Japan you can go visit, and yep. Unova was based off the United States, so it sounds so it sounds like that. Kalos is. Yep, French or is French? So we uh, we so we they, did, we went their, through uh, we went through a bunch of those yep. earlier. I don't know yep. if you were here. So for a that. lot of their mm -hmm. their regions are, they sound like the home place that they're based off of there. So okay. I would say just look at keeping that in mind there, because even with uh, Gen Eight and Gen Nine, even uh, Kosen. even uh, Gen Seven specifically, like Alola, being. I don't know why, why, but but Kosen comes to mind. The Kosen region. Like Kosen. I don't... Hmm. What do you think? What do, how do people feel? How do people feel about this? Kosen region. K-O-C-E-N. I just broke the... Thing off of my tea, I just realized. What a shame. <clears throat> Monkey. Sounds cool. Kosen region. Write it out. Do a. Uh, put some text from uh, OBS and put it up there. Yeah. Let, let me do that. Let, let it be seen. You write. You write. Uh. Let me add. Text. Kosen. Uh, let's not have it be. Let's have it be my nice Cooper font, please. Um, I know you guys can't see it yet. I don't want it to be seen until. Until it's actually like a proper. Things I don't. Because I don't want it to look weird. Because if it looks weird, it's gonna change how you guys feel. The Kosen region. How did we? How do we? How do we feel? Mind telling what the goals are? Oh, the goals are blurry for you. Um, name the region. Create the basic map outline. Create alphas of the starter Pokemon. That's probably not happening. Establish a basic idea of enemy faction, which I could very easily go over. Sort out Pokemon types to balance coverage, which that one might be a little bit harder, but nevertheless, these we don't even have to do all of these today. It's the idea. But how do we feel about that? The Kosen region. Like it looks. It feel, sounds official as well. Um, you're going, you're going slightly crazy. 
Done one. <laughs> Done one. I'm. I kind of like it though, because then it's as easy as. Because Wisconsin, Kosen, it could just be as simple as that. It doesn't have to be complicated. I think. I think. I think Plague. You know, through it, gonna have to grow on you, TBH. Hey, that's fair. That's fair. Sultan Kosen is a Turkish farmer who holds the Guinness World Record for tallest living male at 251 centimeters, 8 foot, 2.82 <laughs> 2 inches tall. Interesting, interesting. Doing this again. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the epic thumbnail. I drew that in two hours. <laughs> I took it. I slapped that. I slapped that out in two hours. Um, doing it again tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably do the stream next week. I'm thinking probably when I click Wednesday, to be honest, is when I think I'm going to do it. Um, because I, I can't stream next week, Saturday. And I got to stream Wednesday, Friday, if, it's, if that's the case. Uh, something replaced your favorite from Lucario. Oh, what what you got? What you got? Um, it's Numo. It's got to be Numo. It's got to be Numo. I think Coast. I. Nian Chow. Wow. Uh, yeah, so from what I'm seeing with uh, Kosen, a lot of things, it's looking pretty good. It's just a hotel in Tampa. <laughs> it <laughs> is, okay. there's a place called Kosen Toys, which apparently makes high quality plush animals. So it's looking, oh my God. Oh my God, those animals look adorable. <laughs> they, have a, they have a baby elephant that's 40 centimeters tall. Ooh. They have a badger for by Kosen. It's official. Badger. It's, it's all right. We're going with Kosen. Yeah. I think I think that's fate telling us. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that that separate text. Uh, that way, if I ever wanted to throw something on screen for like names or anything like that, I could just do that. We have the region. It's called the Kosen region. I think that's I sick. I'm I'm happy. The stuffed animals are actually adorable. They have a babe. They have an alpaca. Uh, I have two messages. What's that all about? Oh, you sent. Oh. My God, non-spawn. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Non-spawn. Give me a moment. Uh, I'm gonna sh chat. You're about to see some adorable animals. Look at that! They're not even real. They're just fake. But they're fake animals. Real fake animals. They're adding Goku to Smash. Can't wait for the Kame Kameha. Okay, Goten, sit down. Um. Saw Goku confirmed, but I didn't understand. Mind filling you in? It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Go one down, four to go. Goku's gonna be in the in the region. That's what it is. Goku in the region. All right. Uh, Goku's gonna be the enemy team. That's actually the I... enemy faction all established. The goal is to is to beat Goku. He the keeps goal. spirit bombing, causing all these fossils to appear. Oh, I can't because believe it. Because he keeps drawing out a little too much power. Do a trilobite? Yeah, anything that's like the state animal, a blah, 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 we're making into, or I'm making into one without a doubt. Um, uh, for the enemy team, the ideas are based team midnight. Void be fitting based on the nightmare and bad omens running. Nope. I already have it set. All right. I think this is the perfect time for me to reveal this. Also, look at that armadillo! <laughs> that armadillo is so cute. Ah! Okay. It was an armadillo worth dying for, just so you all know. <laughs> an armadillo worth dying for. <laughs> a plush worth dying for. There it is. Um. Okay. I think now is the perfect time for me to reveal um what I want for the enemy faction. Um. And actually, let me update the text file because I'm not using. I'm actually using a. Uh, whatchamacallit, I'm not, oh god, where, where's my text file that I kept for this? SSD. You're just straight up using Notepad. Congratulations. And I'm, I'm using, I'm making the thing read it from the, from the text file. I'm making OBS read it. Goku is the protagonist. Uh, welcome back. Uh, oh, did I just call it Pokemon blank blank blank? Because that's what I've been calling it. No, I just call it Pokemon region. Today's goals, okay. Name the region, <clears throat> which can I do a strike through? Is that something I can do? Uh, I don't think you can do it in Notepad. I think you have it in Notepad. I don't think so either, which is a shame. You learn to code special characters, left to right mark. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, no, you can't. Um, okay, we just call it... Then we're just gonna... Uh, Kosen region. There we go. We have it named. All right, I can close that, and it should update now. Uh, fantastic. So, let me make sure I'm not missing a bunch of stuff in chat. Let me organize myself, because there's a lot of stuff that I... A lot of tabs that I have open right now, and I need to organize myself a little better. Uh, it's not blurry. Hey! Um, okay. So, and it is again. Oops. I, I mean, it's small text. Don't worry about it. Um, all right. So, now is a great... This is a great opportunity for me to talk about what I plan to do for the region itself, okay? So, <clears throat> or not for the region, so I'm sorry, the enemy faction. Because I've been set on basing this region off of fossils and cryptids since I decided I wanted to open this up and actually do this on streams, right? Okay, can I can I throw a guess at it real quick? Did I not tell you? Okay, here's the guess. It is going to be, because this, this is a a spot based in Wisconsin, of course, fossils. Fossils are known for their bones, right? You know, that's that's what. Uh, okay. It's a bunch of angry milkmen trying to revive these fossils by giving them milk to strengthen the bones of these fossils. It does have to do with the revival of Pokemon, so you're you're at least got. To... <laughs> you said the revival of Pokemon, so that's why I'm basing that off. <clears throat> So, so, this is going to become the hard part of this. <clears throat> because I I think it needs to be established that there are already a bunch of revived Pokemon. Team Milkman. That there are a bunch of revived Pokemon that exist already. Right? And have been spread around and exist within these cities. So on and so forth. Um, and so... Following that line, I think it's important that our enemy faction follow into that theme. And in real life, and in, in, in as far as all of this goes, when Pokemon or sorry, when Pokemon, oh my goodness. When <laughs> when animals are brought back, you can do your best. Like you can do your best. That you can you can try to introduce them into our world or whatever. But their genetic code is gonna just make them freak out at something, and they are going to rampage. They are going to lose their freaking minds. Um, make a false Pokemon kind of like Magikarp, useless, and give it a different variant of milk. Kind of like Moo Moo Milk. Then when you give it to said Pokemon, okay, you know what? You know what? I'm in on that. That's yeah, dumb. That's, that's very good that's idea. Genuinely very so good. good. Gecko, Gecko, that's that's going in red. That's going in red. I'm absolutely doing that. Uh, you guys Taking don't... the line from Blue's Gecko and putting it in red. Thank you very much, Gecko. Useless fossil. Give milk. Uh, evolves. Useless, useless fossil, give milk. <laughs> and said that... Useless fossil, give milk. <laughs> is my favorite stream. I don't care anymore. These are my favorite streams officially. Oh my god. I I just I just I'm in oh my god. Um What was I saying at that point? Okay, useless fossil gift milk. <laughs> so, let's see here. Um Uh we have the Kosen region. Okay, okay. So, what I want the enemy faction to do Casually evolves plague with bad milk. <laughs> I want the enemy faction to be of the volition where they are going to sit here and they're going to say, "All right, listen." Uh, wait. What is this music? I need to make sure like non-copyright music doesn't pop on. Oh, we are fine. This is five hours. Um. Anywho, as I was saying, uh, there'll be one hundred percent one of those things like in K where it's like, yeah, hold your device upside down. People spend ages trying to find out how to evolve it, only to realize it's the silliest method. <laughs> Plague does not evolve with bad milk. All right, focus, focus, focus. Oh, where's my keys? Where's my keys? Uh, if, if, if anybody wants to know what's the worst one, it is one hundred percent still Galarian Yamask. So, 
Galarian Yam? Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Like, jingly case, jingly case, jingly case, focus. Everybody focus, jingly case, jingly case, focus, focus for me. Shiny. Uh, shiny, shiny, focus. Look, look at the jingly case, look at the jingly case, focus, focus for me, focus for me. I hear shiny. You hear shiny, you hear shiny. So, so if I have to jingle these the whole time, I will jingle these the whole time. Anywho, um, I'm gonna put these on this. Um, so, I just realized something. Yeah, never mind. Um, <clears> two <throat> jingly keys. So, enemy faction. Their whole thing is they're actually not even going to start out as a proper enemy faction whatsoever. I don't want it. To, I want it to be very... I actually want to take some inspiration. You're going to like this arc. I want to take some inspiration from Alola. I want this faction to actually be fairly normal, but then have a, a couple of bad apples that ruin the bunch. I want it so that these this organization are... I just threw it because I love the jiggling place. Yeah, jiggling it! Um, and... I want this faction to, uh, again, a couple bad apples ruin the bunch kind of situation. And they're going to be reviving Pokemon, and they're going to be sending them out, and they're going to have, we're going to have these towns of, of Pokemon that are now here because of these revivals. But, like, that's where the rare Pokemon would more likely come in. Like, you'd have all your normal Pokemon, but then you'd have, like, one fossil Pokemon that has been reestablished into the route or area at least one <clears throat> that will then that that they have thrown in now the enemy faction or not enemy faction this group of people these bad apples will then be the type to go you know we're enough with the fact of humans throughout all of history we hunted mammoths to extinction we almost hunted bice no wait we did hunt a lot of bison almost to extinction and, and buffalo especially too. Um, if if we, you know, all these different creatures, all these different like animals, Pokemon that would still exist were not for humanity throughout all the years. You can even be like, oh, but cats. Honestly, cats wouldn't have had the opportunity as much if we didn't like take them in the way that they do. Cats have caused what, like some 11... 11 or 13 different species to go extinct so like this group this faction this dude is gonna sit here and go what if we just gave them another chance like not just a regular no what if we really gave them a chance <clears throat> and they're see ya gecko thanks for being here and they're gonna hit the button that says mass produce and Maybe throughout the game, some of the Pokemon, there might be some wild rampages from the from the fossil Pokemon. But it'll be this moment where everything kind of hits the fan of, there's way too many of them. They're not used to this world. And they're now going to cause rampages. So, like, and then that kind of leads into the, the, the wormholes of Sun and Moon as well a little bit. Where, oh god, here is a new fossil. And now it is... Full rampaging, destroying, whatever. It doesn't have a concept for what we're doing, what this world is. It has a focus. It has a purpose. It doesn't care. It is a it is a living, breathing creature that has its own needs and wants, and it is going to achieve them. Okay. And I'm just, I'm just going to throw this out at you. <clears throat> yes. In the 90s, they created this movie called Jurassic Park. I know. It's kind of leading that way. Okay. Yeah. No. I... I I knew that's I, when I started saying this, and I had a couple of people because I, I I talked about it at work to, to people because I'm like I'm like they're they're not gonna be able to they like Pokemon but they're not gonna be able to spread the word at all which is good I'll be I don't I could say whatever I want it won't matter. Um, <clears throat> Sun and Moon didn't reveal a new fossil. Neither did uh, Scarlet and Violet. Or the last fossil was shown in Generation Six with Tyrant and Amor. Yep, Amor. it has been a bit. No, no, that no. That was also in the last evolution. No. Was also no, 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 no. No. Excuse me. That's right. There's the the mess ups in Generation Eight with the, mm -hmm. the things, the abominations, which are great references. It's a fantastic reference. Um. So. Yeah. No. I I was told. So Jurassic Park, and I go, yeah, kind of, kind of Jurassic Park, but less, less. Hey, we have them in a space where they're enclosed, and more of a. We are able to release these because we know that these are safe. And then you have where the massive new... You, you And then you have the massive difference or the massive shift of... Here's a new one and a bunch of... Or, and a mass release of these other fossils. 
and that's where the chaos comes in and that's where we have like you know our near finale type situation of course our big our big peak of our story um so that's our that's the idea of our enemy faction i don't have a name for the enemy faction is the problem um i mean have tried to forget jack of fish the competitive scene cowers in fear <laughs> um i would not mind what was the, the aether foundation is what they were called in sun and moon what the heck does aether mean isn't that um what does that even mean The ancient Greek personification of the clear upper air of the sky. Oh. You know what? <clears throat> you know what? Why do I kind of... Will there be secret bosses within the region to fight? Heck yeah, of course. That's. I mean, that'd be kind of fun, I think. <clears throat> uh, so what worked well with Aether is that it really juxtaposed... Juxtaposed... Juxtaposed? Juxtaposed. There was, a, here is, there was a good juxtaposition between the Aether Foundation and Team Skull with Aether meaning like the sky and you know, mm -hmm. upper air. And skulls being usually with the dead, usually very well known with them. So uh, that was very that was actually, good. I never thought of that. Yeah, very good uh, juxtaposition there between those two. Can we have an NPC named Ark the Artist as a secret villain boss that starts a mini quest series called Ark's Villain Arc? All puns intended. That's up to Ark. That's up to Ark. We have such a long way before we even get into that. Uh, Aether is also the spirit element, the fifth element. Oh, shut up, because you think about this too much. No, that's fine, Ark. Like, this is, like, your number one opportunity to just, bleh, you know? Hmm. Like, also, like, Ark, you, you also have access to the, to the voice channel as well, if you ever want to jump in as well. Um. What is, I've done so much. Uh, you try to be a good person. You don't have to try. You are a good person. Um, I could grab my geology book right now. Because I kind of want... Where is my geology book? Where is my geology book? I'm looking over right now. Like I shouldn't have to get up. It's a big book. It's a really big book. Back for three minutes. There are DC you can join. Is your geology book just full of rocks? It's full of rocks. If I open it up, I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt my foot. Um, it's so big. Uh, there isn't a VC that you're able to join because it is it is. I mean, you could join your whatever VCs are available to just the fans, but recording VCs are strictly only for like myself and uh, any of the um, approved croissants, uh, which are people that I personally know. I apologize. Any idea what the region will look like? We will get to that. That is a very fun one. That is very fun that I'm excited for. Um, turns to evil once mad you're convinced. Uh, justified in pants. Yeah, I could see it. Um, you know what? I'm just going to look up rare rock terms. Because why not? Because I was thinking Team Obsidian. But that seems way too long. Um, let's see. Let's see. Or you could see you some guy. Have a good night. Something with is there like a process name in the revival? Is there like a Petrif hold on? Like the actual revival process of it? Um, true. Uh, for or they could just be called like Team Revival. Could, I mean, could. <clears throat> What we could do, because, okay, here, hold on, hold on, I have an idea, back, what have we discussed? Uh, we have a region name, um, okay, but you know what, you know what, it, that, that's a good idea, you know what, I could do a little, I could do a little recap. We have named it the Kosin region, it is based in Wisconsin with a rich history of nature, glaciers, a focus on fossils, revival of these fossils, cryptids, we also have focused on, um, starters might be fossils, fossil Pokemon have been established into the world, so it's not that we are reviving them throughout the game. Instead, they are just generally revived and have been reintroduced into the world. I'll, um, although we will have our enemy faction, which are we are naming right now, that have that are not enemies in the initial, but as the idea that they are introducing these creatures into our world to give them a second chance. But a, a couple of bad apples in the bunch will end up causing a mass production of them and the revival of ancient fossils that are far more dangerous. 
um, causing way more issues due to their belief that we as humans are the reason that false that these creatures have gone extinct, and as such, we should give them another chance. And if these fossils end up wiping us out, then that is as nature intended. Um, Pokemon ideas that we've gotten along the way. Hodag, Phantom Chickens, the Cranberry Worm Pokemon, the Kidrick Swamp What's-It Pokemon, a useless fossil that you give milk, which then evolves, and then we also have a Spearman class for a trainer. Um, so that's kind of what we have all in all. <clears throat> um, let's see. So that's that's your catch-up to what, what's been going on. Um, now, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, um, the, uh, so, okay, so there's a thing called petrification. Now, petrification typically occurs when it comes to wood. Pseudo-Wudo is a perfect example of this. Uh, Jordan doesn't know coding, but could you make it where after defeating each gym, the fossil has a higher chance of appearing in every route? Um, I mean, there, I, you would just make the fossil have it. I mean, you could, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely possible. You just have to set like a switch. It's basically checking if you have that gym badge or not. Oh, see, there we go. See, see, I just realized something. You, Sam, and Poke have all been wanting to make a game. Not that you guys, but that, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Anyway, um, stoned immediately out of Reducer. Oh, hmm. But, um, but no, pseudo wudo is petrified wood. That's why the whole thing about it, it looks like a tree, you water it, it freaks out, it's a rock type, it looks like a tree. The whole idea is that over the course of thousands, hundreds, two thousands of years, um, the bits and particles of wood get replaced by leaching of minerals into the body of the wood. As such, by the time it's all done, every fragment and molecule of wood is now replaced by a form of stone or gem. As, or well, stone or crystal, more, 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 uh, scientifically speaking. So, you could have, like, a, a, like, log that has been completely replaced by quartz. Now, that's not common, but nevertheless, these things are so incredibly rare that even one that's, like, like, I don't know, the size of your fist weighs so heavy and they are so incredibly valuable that they're worth like tens of thousands of dollars. I think, I think basing the team name off of the, off of petrification would be really fun. This is a perfect example, actually, of when I would say if anybody could come up with a name based off of petrification like just a play on the name itself as i'm gonna try and think of it too this is a perfect opportunity to give your suggestions so it's not a team name but the team leader could easily be called petra yeah petra yeah that's a good one i think we slap that down leader of team blank i'll put the i'll put a little parentheses in here parentheses there's Team Petra. There's. It'd be fun to actually have someone named Medusa. Or just Dusa. If you don't have starters yet, a leech based Mon would be great to see. A leech based Pokemon in general actually would be pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to do a starter, but actually, a leech would be actually amazing. Um, Other idea. Other idea, actually. Not since. Just, just as, as we're like. Um. As we're kind of sitting here. Oh, also, high heels. You'll appreciate this. Um. Uh, uh, Gecko, Blue, Bluest Gecko gave the suggestion, because we're, we're doing a lot of, we're basing all this on fossils, is that we should have a useless fossil. Like, it has no use, it's really bad, so on and so forth, and the, and the only way to evolve it is to give it milk. And I'm like, heck yeah. Uh, fish, fish, le uh, fishing heaven leeches for the win, heck yeah. Dusa used, Dusa used me first, but I'm just, oh, Dusa used me first. I see kind of like Deusa, though. Deusa is going to be under Petra, that's for sure. Um, What does... Okay, petrification. The process by which organic matter exposed to minerals over a long period of time is turned into a stony substance. Um, state of extreme fear, making someone unable to move. Organic object that has been turned into stone. Um, do you like that? Heck yeah. Um... 
Hmm. Ambergris is a really good for sap and ambergris. Is it ambergris? It's not ambergris, is it? Amber ambergris. Ambergris is a solid waxy material produced in this in the sperm whale. And also in the pygmy sperm whale. It is, however, only found in about one to five percent of these whales, so it is not a common substance. Petrification name Triff? Wait, why Triff? Oh, Triff. Actually, you know what? Triff sounds. You know, we'll throw Triff in there. We have our. We have a couple of characters now. That's really fun. Um, yeah, that's like a that's a head council right there, like your maxi. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Out of this sort of situation. We have our like Jupiter, Mars, you know, Saturn situation going on. And then, like, well, we need one more. And then we have that. And then we'd have our leader also. What type of sap? Is it any sap? What type of sap preserves at creatures? Because we've seen a lot of things preserved in sap. Amber. So it's just amber. Okay, hold on. Let's look into this. University of California Mu Museum of Paleontology. Um, what is amber? It's another type of fossilization where the organism... Organism is entrapped in a biologically inert environment and is preserved wholly. For the insects which frequently occur in this type of fossilization, chitinous skeletons are a little altered, but the soft inner tissues are missing. Many physical and chemical agents of abiotic environments, such as the oxidative air and temperature and biotic factors, such as bacteria and scavengers, accelerate the composition of an organism or whatever these factors, what they did preserving the organism and eventually amber formation. Amber is basically fossilized resin of a coniferous tree of early tertiary, about seven, or of early tertiary, according you to call it team resin because it kind of sounds like risen as well. That does sound really freaking good. Are you planning to make this an actual game or an idea of one? I am only planning on making this an idea of one, so that if it ever does, if anyone ever wants to make it into a game, I, I mean, people would have my full permission as long as it's free, mainly because. You kind of have to have it free, otherwise Pokemon's going to come after you. Rightfully so. Mm. So, yeah. I mean, hey, this is going to be like a long, long project. So if someone decides to make it into a game, I'm, you know, hey, well, you know. You know. Um, Let's see. I think Team Resin. Team Resin's pretty good. Because I was thinking about it myself, and you said it out loud. I'm just like, oh... That's pretty. That's you could easily. You could have. Now you could have like all fairly serious members, and then you could have that one really, like, jokey member, the comedic relief of it, that will just keep saying is like, Team Resin has risen to the occasion. I think. I think their name. I I like that as a. I, I like that as a saying. Oddly enough. Um, I don't think they're going to have this. It's like, the it's like the team star. Sort of I kind of, exactly. I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. I kind of liked team star. I, team school is my favorite through and through, but. Oh man. You know what? I think, I think, yeah. Team resin. It's team resin. I'm sorry. All I, all I see is just the grunts doing like a pose. It's like almost an A pose, but they have like the finger pointing up and then they immediately point the finger straight at the person that they're battling. As so, they're saying it, it's like they have, we have risen to the occasion. So they kind of like up to, and out. Are they like like like, like up and then up out? and then? So as they go, they're they're standing there. They'll do like their superhero pose, their okay. A pose, and everything like that. Yep. Where they're pointing to the sky, saying "Team Resin has risen," and then they'll point straight to oh, okay, like the the trainer, and then they'll go to the occasion, pointing at what the occasion is. Okay, okay. I, I this is just goofy enough to make me like it, so I have a big old smile on my face. Uh, like the Jesse and James of Team Resin. <laughs> don't don't put flack on Jesse and James, okay? They try their hardest to do everything. They're awful henchmen, but amazing trainers. They're some of the best people in all, the entire Pokemon. They're better than Ash Ketchum. Fight me on it. Um, uh, let me see here. Okay, let's do that. Sorry, I'm just seeing other messages here and there. It's been a bit. I should hit you guys with a hydration check, I realize. Oh, man. Oh, Hannah. Oh, no. Hi. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Are you here? Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't see your messages somehow. When did that happen? Oh, no. Oopsie poopsies. Messages aren't showing up in chat. 
Those don't show up in chat. Okay. Uh, I'm. Oh god, it's it's been a bit. Let's see. Hold on. It's been a bit. Because <clears throat> I I'm using. Uh, I must have looked away just enough. I must have looked away just long enough. Or oh, is that on Twitch as well? Uh, That's on Twitch. Yeah. Okay. Got a I'll, scam I'll, casino at you. Keep an eye on. That's because you guys kept talking about casinos. That's your fault. Keep doing it. I get more money from those. We can keep, we can keep talking about the casinos. Keep doing um, that. I get more money so, from those. So, who here has a gambling addiction? Raise <laughs> your hand. Okay. That was the entire, so almost the entire topic of the last it. stream, by the way, because in Amori, I spent, I think, like 20 minutes on slot machines. <laughs> almost 30 minutes. Okay. So, if you raise your hand saying that you have casinos. a gambling addiction, you're fine. It's never an addiction. Okay, you will win eventually. Yeah, you yeah. just have to keep going. Ow! That's all you have to do. Ah, there it is. There it is. Ooh. There it is. Had to pop my jaw. Jawsome. You know what? I'll put this onto. Jawsome. Yeah. <laughs> is that gonna be the name? Of, is that gonna be the name of one of the, <laughs> one of the fossils? Jawsome. <laughs> <laughs> got a big jaw. You know what? That might be that might be interesting to think and look, look into like what fossils have existed like in. I want you to know there's nothing that's been cool within the state of Wisconsin. It's just like always been really small because, <laughs> because most things have most things had to survive to the cold climate with the ice age and stuff. So that was a hundred percent of like the most recent things that have stuck around that has been found. True. True. Um. Okay. So. Let's see. Let's look at our list again, because I, I mean, our today's goals. We have establish a basic idea of the enemy faction. We have. I'm just gonna completely erase that and call that enemy faction team resin. Um. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm just gonna do complete. That's gonna make it nicer. Complete. <laughs> I love the hey YouTube casinos, casinos. <laughs> hey YouTube casinos. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I will ask you guys, what do we think we want to do next? We have completed naming the region, getting our enemy faction base ready. Which honestly, we did more than just a base. We did we did a really nice base. We like we like set it up. You know, maybe it's a stage on the base. You know, um. We have creating our alphas of the starter Pokemon. Also, it's really funny that I talked to you and and wait, no, never mind. They're not alphas, are they? They're betas. Are they betas? <laughs> what? I, yeah, alphas. Okay, they are. I'm alphas. Sorry, I, I heard betas in my head immediately. So <laughs> beta man. Completely different. <laughs> I'm not beta. I'm not beta. I'm not beta. Heck. I'm not beta. <laughs> or I'm Team Twitch now. <clears throat> Um, uh, it's funny because we had that conversation about alphas versus beta designs and stuff. And I, I actually, I didn't fix it. It just, I just had alphas already written down. So apparently I, you know, rep that purple bird. Um, I'll give you guys an option. We can either work on the starter Pokemon. Uh, we can, or we can work on creating the basic map outline, which I will open up a map maker at that point. But there's something special I have to do in order to help us make this outline. And it might be a little messy. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how this plays out. Okay. So I will, you know what, what are we, what are we feeling? What are we feeling? Map or starter Pokemon? We'll have time, I think for both. Yeah, we'll easily have time for both today still. So <clears throat> you vote the starters, but you don't care. You're just here for the fun. You're, you're here. You're hearing in on it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put out a post saying not on not on, uh, not on the I'm Discord. Um, do? No, I'm just gonna create a post on YouTube. To I should pull it. I should pull it while this is while I'm doing this. Uh, yeah, Arc even says yeah. pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Uh, Come on, Wisconsin fishing pull. What? How much better does it get? What is next? Beach Boy gonna be a, a Pokemon? Pokemon starters, <laughs> or the Pokemon base map <clears throat> uh actually you know what pokemon region map is what it should be called <clears throat> start the poll those are what i'm feeling next i don't feel like doing the balancing thing that just sounds tedious right now 
Uh, I'll let you guys uh, vote. Balancing is going to be much, much more difficult. To yeah. Do. It, it, so it, yeah, it was a last later. second. I was just like, you know what? Whatever. Um, I'm going to let you guys take all the time in the world because I'm going to... Mm -hmm. I wonder if the stream is going to uh, uh, bite me for this one. <clears throat> Currently live now making the new pokemon region we've already uh made so much progress and come up with so many ideas together but we have so much more to do so join along all right uh yeah there we go post also, I love that the post straight up shows the the acrylic, the, the freaking insane acrylic with a new Pokemon right there. Also, <laughs> yeah. it's it's actually it's ah, uh, I'm really happy with that thumbnail. Thank you for giving me some ideas. You're just here for the chaos bundle, heck yeah! All right, uh, we're talking about that ditto. Yeah. oh, everyone's in on Pokemon starters. Oh my gosh! Everybody loves starters. Hey, hey, you know what? I'm hey, Everybody's so be it. Huge fan of starters. So, I welcome back, Dark. So. I will tell you right here, right now, then. I already have one of the starters in mind. And it's actually funny because that you mentioned it earlier, Plague. Because the starter I have in mind is going to be based off of Badgers and the SS Badger. So, I want... I think I have an idea of where this is going. I'm, I'm thinking we might have another... I'm, I don't want to... I don't want to make it, but I think I'm going to. We're going to sit with another water steel type. If there's, Interesting. if not water steel. So the SS Badger is coal powered. Did you know that? Oh yeah, it's one of the last coal powered things. Oh man, now we're making. Now we're now now we're sitting here. How would? So I thought of water. So there's water steel, water rock. I was, there was, if we're going coal, there's always the chance of, now here's where it gets really crazy. Just make it, just make it what, water, fire. That's you where my brain was going. Grass, water, and then you just do fire, grass. That's where my brain was going, because if we go fire, grass, hit, if we go fire, grass, everyone. I would base it off of the fir tree, actually, even though it's not the state X, Y, or Z, I would name it off of the fir tree, because those are abundance in Wisconsin, and the only way that those spread seeds is is if temperatures get hot enough and then their shells for their seeds burst open and then they spread but i want to see what other grass i i sorry i just looked at duck, plastic plastic duck for the first time in like two hours and i just saw the funk master leech please for the water poison We got that won't be a starter. I, I don't like, want to... I like a giant leech like water poison as a single stage. Yeah, actually that would be pretty good. Like something that's just like obscenely it... large and comical because it's a Pokemon thing. Pokemon it... just takes animals and adds cartoony features. You, you know it. what? Make it a one stage Pokemon. And I want something similar to Wishy Washy. I don't want it so that there's a bunch of them, but I want it so that if like its ability or something makes it change how it looks. Or you could go even one step further and you do something along the lines of Tatsugiri from this most recent one and it leeches off of the partner Pokemon and double battles. A defensively thick, life sapping Pokemon. <clears throat> oh no, you just made Pukumuku too. <laughs> Pukumuku too! <laughs> Gyarados style and model like a purple worm? Jesus! Okay, for those of you that don't know what a purple worm is, give, I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you what a purple worm looks like here. Uh, let me pull that up on screen. Purple worm D and D. That's pretty sick though. Heels has got a solid freaking idea. Um, mind you, this is one of the most terrifying creatures in D and D that nobody talks about. Uh, window capture that. That is a purple worm. Those things are, are, like, its head would swallow your house. 
if you it will swallow a singular one story house easily. I, that, I see that in I think the movie Tremors. Yeah, pretty much. I think that's what it's based off of. Start that as a little leech, level up to a big boy. That is really tempting, actually. That is really. T you know what? No, no. You know what? You know what? That's yeah. the one that you give milk to. That's the one you give milk to. What is what does a leech skeleton look like? Did you really just ask that? You know, what's a leech skeleton look like? Let's take a look. This thing has a skeleton. Because I think as long as you're making Australia science worm, it might as well be. <laughs> this thing eats diamonds for breakfast. It's not even an exaggeration. It straight up eats diamonds. It has no issue digesting them. Just does it. Anywho, um, yeah, uh, oh gosh, yeah, I think. What is the world leech? Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to send you an image. The of world leech? That I saw because I looked up a leech skeleton. That's the wrong person. I got the leech. This is the sculpture that I saw. Uh, what is that? What is that? It is a quick creature uh, sketched in ZBrush by a random person. Uh-uh. No, chat gets to suffer, too. What is that? What is that? Suffered. Also, I've been know, facing wrong the whole... Well, actually, I haven't been facing wrong the whole time. Like, what is that? I, I, if I do that, if I do that, what is that? What is that? Oh, Why? God, this looks cute. Can I adopt one? <laughs> for four. Uh, oh, crap. It's so hard to see all the chats, I realize. Actually, that's genuinely kind of sick. I really like that. As a pseudomon, too, that would be kind of fun. What? This thing that you sent me? Uh, just like as the third stage, you get Cthulhu. You just get Cthulhu. You get a single leech that has to leech off can of other things one? in order to survive, and then it can evolve into something that, like that. Oh, God. Honestly, honestly, okay. So another idea that I had was, so Wisconsin has a major issue with, like, zebra mussels, and I really wanted to make that into a horror Pokemon and have that be, like, honestly, leech, do the leech. And do the zebra mussels. And have those be two, like, terrifying creatures. You can switch back if it's easier. I just need to do a better job, real talk. I just need to do a better job. <laughs> That's real. It's just... It's just... No matter what, this is generally difficult. Um, so, I don't have a ton of time, but I wanted to flesh out what I suggested there. Okay. So, when you do the whole Magikarp to Gyarados thing with this leech idea yes if you try and perform the main attack it, it's kind of like boogie woogie style where his main attack he's just millions of leeches that turn into one massive creature and his main attack is just like swarms you with little baby leeches everywhere the bug swarm is an attack that's an existing pokemon is it yeah i don't know these are, i do not know these things so that's how i did, had it envisioned just this big beefy thick boy that turns into millions of little leeches and swarms you and then turns into a big big guy we have a wish we have that, a wishy-washy like that's what i got yeah similar uh bundle box similar to wishy-washy that's basically what it's looking like uh teals do you know what wishy-washy is it is it a pokemon mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna i'll i'll yeah, send no. you i'll send <laughs> you any of this Discord. I'll send you oh an my image gosh. of it all. That's fair. So, so we have this is a little this is a little baby wishy washy. That's I see and then we have go. that's the school form. That's what all those will combine into one there, and I'll make that when it's at a full health. And then when it hits below twenty five percent health, it goes into the solo form, which is the small one that I sent you, which has the weakest base stats in all the game. That makes more sense. I'm sorry, heels. It's been done. Also, actually, though, I might still, I might still do something similar. I might do something, something eh, similar to that with the zebra muscle one, because I feel like I, I am, I am 
I'm slowly falling into the uh, terrifying creature that we can make a leech into. Although, it could all... The leeches could also... It's hard, because the muscles and the leeches could work. These leeches could also be a reference to Resident Evil, because they have the worm monster. Ugh, that haunts my nightmares. I literally have had nightmares of that thing. Um... We have come up with some, like, awful creatures for Pokemon. Cranberry Worm Pokemon. The, the, we still haven't come up with the legendary. You know what? We said we'd let things, like, digest. And we never came back to what our legendaries and what our Pokemon game name would, <laughs> would be. Pokemon Amber already exists. Yeah. So, let's see. The, the beginning... I don't have a lot of time. I just wanted to throw it out there and let you know what my, my full thought was and, and wish you guys the best for the rest of the stream. Thank you, thank you. See ya, heels. Bye, guys. Weaker is Arcan line because of defeatist halving defenses and attacks at half health. <clears throat> but it still doesn't. It has a higher base stat, what it is. Uh, even, like, if you take all that out there. Because uh, the ability can be swapped off, but the base stats can't be changed regardless. Uh. Um, all right, let me close some more stuff here because I have way too much stuff open still. <clears throat> uh, thought the worst was Sunkern. I thought so too, but then I was told that I was wrong with that, and it's actually base form wishy washy. Uh, let me double check here real that quick. That sounds about right, actually. Yeah, so uh, base form wishy washy is 175 in total, Sunkern is 180 in total. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Mega Tyranitar has one of the highest overall across the board. It's scary. Mega Tyranitar splits his entire back. R.I.P. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that, they, they, hey, that went out today. <laughs> what do you um, mean? The Tyranitar short was released today? What? Whoa. Wacky. You watch that? It's a good one. It's a good one. I'm pretty happy with it. I I tried to do the uh the wrestler announcer at the be beginning of it, where it's <laughs> the the uh the half ton terror standing on six feet tall, like old old style. Um, let's see where where were we? You know what? You know what? Let's do the. We're gonna work on the starters. I I okay. Hold on. Hold on. Terms relating to. Fossils. Fossil dinosaur skeleton fossilized impression. Index. Prehistoric Pokemon ammonite. Dinosaur. Pokemon, Pokemon dinosaur. <laughs> prehistoric specimen geology decomposer. Microfossil relic. Reconstruction organism rock trace vertebrate compression. Carbon dating. Oh, I hope they have a good date. Uh, benthic. Mm. Okay. Come on, Cambrian. <laughs> 400 plus words related to fossil. Okay, here we go. Coal, paleontology, Jurassic species, ancient index fossil geology, carbon, oil, fossils, essence, mineral, bone, limestone, fossilized, animal, coprolite, evolution, sediment, fogey, brachiopod, Cambrian, amber, nuclear, sedimentary, rock skeleton, ammonite, ocean, Dev Devonian, hey. Gas, fossil, microorganism, calcite, archaeological, T Rex, reptile, mammal, geolog geologically, snail, radiometric dating, dino, cenozoic, diagenesis, geologic, skull, natural mass extinction, ice age, ice, dinosaurs, geological, sedimentary, ordovician, ordovician, sorry, stratigraphy, uh, carbon, carbon infinite, ulcer, basalt, reptiles, extinctions. Archaeologists, hominid, radiocarbon dating, biomass, skeletons, modified plants, animals, minerals, fuels, old DNA, chemical, uh, base, solnhofen, limestone. Is Pokemon Obsidian a thing? I don't know why. I keep going back to Obsidian. Pokemon Obsidian, I believe, is a thing. I think I've even... Pokemon Obsidian Flames is apparently a thing. It's actually a TCG set. Pokemon Obsidian Flames. Oh. Oh, wait. That was just released very recently as well, actually. Wow. Maybe I don't go on. Scar it's Scarlet and Violet, so... That might be a really bad idea to touch that one. Hey, I'm I'm just saying. Card art is phenomenal for these. Uh, 
that would be really fun. If I ever just end up making like really good money off of all this stuff, I would, it would be fun just to open up pat more packs on do, stream. You're gonna do hard pack openings. That'd be fun, just like in the middle of a stream. Oh, so you're gonna be one of those streamers, huh? No. Be one of those guys. Um. Okay, it looks like Pokemon Obsidian, Obsidian was something that somebody made with some original yeah, yeah, Pokemon. There's... 2011 it was released. Yeah, that's old. They have right. in there. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. Okay, so Pokemon Obsidian's already a thing. Um Uh the rocks that have the most Fossils in them are boring because they're usually calcium based. They have like calcite, shale, blah, blah, so, blah. What is it? We also, so Wisconsin does have a state mineral that I forgot the name of. So granite. the state rock is granite. The state mineral itself is Galena. Galena. <laughs> Pokemon like milk. Pokemon Galena is a thing. Uh, Pokemon or naming a person Galena also in the game sounds very interesting. Yeah, I think I'm doing that. Galena's a really nice name. That, you know what? Do you want a our very nice mineral. I've I want the rival. I it. want our rival to be named Galena. Screw it. I'm in. That's it. There we go. Sedimentary rock. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't you know what full list of sediment full list of sedimentary rocks. I feel like I should know it, but I just can't off the top of my head. Shale, sandstone, conglomerate, claystone, chertz, breccia, limestone, diatom diatomaceous earth. Woo! Evaporate. Arcos. Pokemon Arcos. Sounds... Well, I mean, okay. No, no, I can't. I can't because then people are going to shorten it to Arc. And uh, no. Pokemon Arcos, aka Pokemon Narcos, where we just follow the <laughs> theme. <laughs> <laughs> Gray, wacky, around, salt, coquina. We thought it was about fossils the entire time. We're talking about different completely. <laughs> Dolomite, Dolostone, uh, Mudstone, Ironstone, the, uh, and Rock Boxite. The state soil is Antigo as well, if you really want to go. If you like that one as well, which is. City. I'll just change my name. It's fine. <laughs> uh, oh, we'll start. We'll have to start using your like your legal YouTube name. So instead of just Ark, it's Ark and Reflows. Yeah, we'd have to actually say. I should have let you struggle. I should have let you struggle. I please no don't. I would have been so much that. funnier. I should have just let you struggle. It's not, it's not absolutely funny. <laughs> you could just straight up call it Pokemon Milk, Pokemon Dairy, Pokemon Dairy. Um. Our coast does sound cool is the hard thing. Uh, let's see, but it's, uh, it's definitely not good. There is a flower in the state flower is wood violet. <laughs> you could just hit yeah. Pokemon yeah, Pokemon that'll go well. <laughs> Pokemon cranberry. Pokemon corn. Pokemon corn. <laughs> Pokemon corn. <laughs> I gotta take a look. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm it just... is not a thing. There's a lot of fake Pokemon, but I don't see anything about Pokemon <laughs> corn, corn the game. <laughs> see, the reason why you don't know about it is clearly because it's going to be in one of those little Game Boy cartridges that are sold <laughs> in a garage sold sale. Sold in garage sales that will... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mew 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 <laughs> Bigfoot is real. You tried to eat <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You knew exactly where I was going with that. Um, God, this is... I Oh, I wait. Idea. Pokemon milk. We can't wait until Pokemon corn. <laughs> <laughs> like, there was a really cool one that I'm taking, like... Like, I, I'm taking some level inspiration from in terms of, like, how to make... How to fall through like i i like a lost in an noggin i also look at it's some it's called pokemon eclipse that's it's freaking amazing it's gravity falls and pokemon mixed together and it's it's genuinely really cool um and i definitely want to do more regarding so 
the like a good name. I want a good origin name. name of Wisconsin is from an Indian name meaning whose meaning is uncertain. Named for its prince or named after its principal river and said to mean wild rushing canal. Also refers to holes in the banks of a stream in which birds nest. Spelled Wisconsin and Miskunsing in early chronicles. Mm. Owisco. Pokemon Owisco. It's it's so difficult. It's actually kind of difficult because all the Pokemon, like all the names of Pokemon games, have always been wow, colors. It's, it's almost as if this is a pretty popular game series, and a lot of people make fan games for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. If I can establish a name, I could I could have the thumbnail for next time. I could just update the thumbnail, make the logo. Because I got to think of a logo too. You know, that's the other thing for this. You're back and full of soup. 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 Ah, oh, soup. Um. Ah, oh God. What do I even do? Um. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna look up some state stuff too. You know what? I want to look up some state stuff too. I have such a Wisconsin state facts. Let's just look at these. Pokemon uh, Legends of Old. <laughs> Legends of Old. Legends of Old. I don't want to know about that. Let's see. Oh, I'm on the Wisconsin authentic Wisconsin.com slash facts dot html. Okay, interesting. <laughs> slash HTML. Ah, I see. That kind of a website. Uh, why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Um, I don't know. Purple eyes, man. Purple eyes. Oh, we're gonna have. Ha I might have to star this one. I might have to star this one. The jump rope capital of the world is Bloomer in Wisconsin. <laughs> that is true. I've heard of that. I That's... have. I actually have a full sheet of like fun facts of Wisconsin written out somewhere. That's that I would have to find. That's genuinely <laughs> wacky. I'm sorry. I saw Gaze Mills and I. I'm a child. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's the Apple How Capital. Dare you? It's the Cap Apple Capital. Look, you the can't Apple tell Cap me that when everybody in chat and I'm and I have proof of it was any time I had there was a Pokemon that had a G E Y because it was mixed with Pidgey. My chat was my chat was going gay question mark and doing the pride flag. Ark was a part of that one. I support them. Uh, as you should. Uh, I mean, another starter Pokemon. Uh, it's a fossil. It's named Crunch Cruncher. They eat rocks and Pokemon feed. They're like deer. They have deer-like parts, but they stand on two legs. That is a horror story in Japan. Not even remotely kidding. Uh, a jump rope Pokemon, like a little guy with a rope. It's actually kind of tempting. I could do it out of like make it a mixture of stuff. <laughs> Look. I don't know why when Ark says look, my face immediately goes to like the, the Wojak with the arm point of my Look. Look. <laughs> Just the flag question mark. What's that is wrong all. With that? What's wrong with the flag? That's that's There's what nothing wrong with that flag. That's a that's a trick question. Shines flashlight, who said it? Alright, animals, badger, ballad, oh Wisconsin, land of my dreams, beverage, milk! Bird is the Robin. Coat of Arms, the Wisconsin State Coat of Arms. Dairy product, cheese. Pokemon Dance is Polka. Batman, Pokemon Robin. <laughs> uh, American Water Spaniel is the dog. The dairy cow is the domestic a domestic animal. Is the dairy cow? Okay, interesting. That's true. The fish it's is the, the dairy musky. state. Flag. <laughs> what do you want me to say it? Uh, flower, wood, violet, fossil, trilobite, fruit is a cranberry, grain is corn, insect is the honeybee. Guess we're getting a honeybee Pokemon. Specifically honeybee. Yes. Specialized in horrifying creatures and a deer fossil Pokemon is a dark type, by the way. Oh, if you want horror, I will bring horror to this. You do not want to know. I go to sleep to the worst things. I have listened to disturbing stories and just like, 
Yeah. And just fallen dead asleep. It does not bother okay. me. Alrighty, do you guys want to hear the scariest horror story ever? We're going to just take a quick uh, thing here. Yeah, so give yeah. us this detour. Here it is. <clears throat> now pretend that you're home alone and you've been home alone for a couple hours, okay? And you go to use the bathroom and you sit down and the toilet seat is warm. No. You're welcome. <laughs> it's such a good one, though. I, be, I hope you all can sleep at night. That is such a good one. You acquire the horror food. Go watch Wendigo, Wen or Wendigoon, Wendigang, or Nexpo. And once you've watched all of their videos, then you can come talk to me and tell me what horror. A horror spam? Spam would be considered a horror food. I don't know. I don't think so. I've, I, I, I feel like I, I almost made you throw up when I put mayo on that sriracha mayo peanut butter and jelly sandwich. No, that wouldn't make me throw up. No? You said you mm. almost threw up. No, no, no. It was the sriracha that would have probably done it. Oh, I mean, just from the look of it. You think I don't? I don't know. I don't think anything. I've received nightmares from that story. <laughs> I've received nightmares. I fell asleep in an instant. Not that bad if you have a heated toilet. Have a heated toilet. Life goals, no, heated toilet, good. and a bidet. Hey, Zaza, how you doing? Motto is... The motto of Wisconsin is forward yes because it, we are sharks we don't look back we only move forward <laughs> that is all how do you <laughs> how do you make it's, milk well, like let's just let's pokemon just pasteurize pokemon pasteurize <laughs> <laughs> pokemon pasture read uh why is the name so difficult okay it's fine whoa well, okay, I'm starring this. This has so much Wisconsin facts in it. Holy crap, this is going to be our this goal. This has so life. many Wisconsin facts. So many Wisconsin facts. There's the morning dove. I love morning doves so much. Oh, my God. I love the sounds that they make when they fly. It makes me so happy. What was the first person to milk a cow trying to do? Just trying to get their kink going. I don't regret what I say out loud sometimes. Hey, listen, we were all kids at one point. <laughs> That's completely separate from what I just said. Um, Let's see here. Oh, God. Honestly, when their cows started, like, dying, they probably realized. <laughs> they're probably, yeah, they're probably like, what's going there's on something here? something that they needed to do. Uh, don't worry about hey, it. Hey, look, I've just domesticated this large beast here, and they keep dying randomly. <laughs> Facts and symbols. We already have that. Events? Sputnik happened here. Yeah, if you got an alien Pokemon, you could easily do as an alien Pokemon. Really could. Could have another, what is it who called? Who knows what Sputnik is? Just to show of hands in chat, who knows what Sputnik yeah, is? Yeah, who knows what Sputnik is? That's a good question. <clears throat> because honestly, unless you were like... 40 years old or a near place where Sputnik happened, you might not know what Sputnik is. Yeah, because I think just about everyone in Wisconsin knows Sputnik. Everybody here. Is that the space rocket? You are correct. It is a space yeah. rocket. Yes. It's a piece of it. No, it, show it was a full thing. It was a full thing. Was it the. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't a rocket, though. It, was, was it? it, was it a, is a, not a rocket, though. It is an Earth satellite launched by the Soviet Union in 1957. <clears throat> there we go. Uh. Oh. I was gonna say I was gonna I was gonna start delving into like caves, like the idea of caves, like stalagmite, stalactite. You know what cave terms? Wisconsin cave. Let's just look up Wisconsin caves. Caves in Wisconsin. Stalactite, stalagmite, soda straws, columns, shields, water droplets evaporating. Come on, stalagmite and stalactite. Yeah. The nerd in me says yes. The entertainer and the everything else in me says no. <laughs> Spelunker. You have another dark type Pokemon? Oh. oh, hold on. Go for it. Go for it. I hear you. I'm not seeing... So, there's some pretty interesting caves in... 
Wisconsin called the Maribel Caves, and I don't see a Pokemon Marvel game, which is also a type of. Hmm. Marble is interesting. <clears throat> Pokemon Marble. Hmm. My only, huh? Uh, although Pokemon did make marbles, they actually made legitimate marbles. Uh, yeah, they did. They had the little Pokemon in them, even. I ate so many. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, it took a bit to pop them, but you know, you get those gushers out eventually. Delish. Ticks are just the gushers these, of nature. These are just straight up real. What? <laughs> we'll walk through the woods. Oh, there is a Pokemon marble. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to walk through the woods real quick. <laughs> just, just the, the what? Uh, it's called Lurker. All tall, dark type of have glowing eyes that are meant to soothe the insomniacs of a mental... For that allows for sleep and they hum as soon. Okay, so here's an interesting thing about dark types on Pokemon. Dark types are not necessarily not necessarily bad guy. They are just bad guy. Yeah, like your dark types are gonna be. They do kind of represent so evil, and fighting types are strong against them because dark, evil fighting hero it's just the way they, they couldn't just call it hero and villain type but at the same time you're more creepy although dark types dark types have delved into like you like i like cat turn so so dark will go into it's not just the idea of evil it's the idea of underhanded tactics it's the idea of not normal to a society or something like that it is underhanded ways as well yep. uh so if you actually if you look at some of the gym trainers one of the earliest examples is the i forget what the name of the dark type elite four in gen 2 is um I, but I almost it. every every single one of her pokemon on her team have a move that either raises her evasion or lowers your accuracy because it's considered an underhanded tactic in a fight to do that and that's why they are the dark elite four and that's what it is and that's why also in like gen 8 pierce is a dark gym leader and is in this underground and area thing because they're a delinquent. That's what they yep. are. Yep. That's where the dark typing comes from. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. There's your there's your back on that. I'm happy you found your juice. Um, let's pick up marbles. Uh, Pokemon. Pokemon Karst. Eh. Pokemon. Another starter. If you have another starter, or should it be like that's on you? Again, that is entirely on you. We are making. I I have to. I have to specify this. I am making things completely separate. Like whatever Pokemon ideas you're Harley throwing out. Pokemon Davidson. What did you say, Davidson? Pokemon Harley and Pokemon Davidson. Oh my god. Actually, one that threw into my brain, but I hate, like, it, it just, it's just not good. Like, you can't make a good symbol with it. It's Pokemon Terrace. It doesn't, it rolls off the tongue, but it's just not good. It's just not good. Uh, Boneyard, Boulder Choke, Belly Crawl, Buffoon, Cave Conservancy, Cave Digging, Caver, Caving, Pupola, Karst. Pokemon Boneyard. Boneyard. That's got to be a thing. That's got to be a thing already, you know? Boneyard, that kill. Hey, Bone Daddy. Uh, Boneyard's actually a place in Pokemon. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Speliogenesis, Speliotherm. Wait, hold on. Blunker. It is in a... Fa this is on Pokemon Fantasy Wiki, which is a ROM hack game, that's why. I just thought of something. I just thought of something. Um, make it related to bones. I have a D and D character that I have already kind of named, <clears throat> and his name is Oss, but it's short for Oss Sign. The Oss, what is it? Is Oss Sign? Is Oss Sign? 
the which is the collagen of bones used for glues and gelatin. <clears throat> but we can find other bits and pieces. Pokemon Marrow. Is there a purple duck? It sounds very no. similar to Marowak, which is probably yeah. something to stick away from. Yeah. Smoothie. Pokemon is a ghost type. It stalks other Pokemon to puppet them. Once it starts to puppet, it will possess them. They will try to eat a trainer or other Pokemon. <clears throat> interesting, interesting. Pokemon Oss. Doesn't sound bad. Or Oss sign. But I wonder if there's something better still. There has to be something better still. I love the random splash in my left ear every once in a while that attracts my attention back to Placid Plastic Duck. All right, let's see. Any synonyms for it? Um, let's see if there are any synonyms for it. I doubt, because Osseus is the Latin form. Ossin, if you're with English, Ossine. Sorry, you bring it together and you get all sign. Uh, let's see if there's anything related to it. Chief organic substance, bone tissue, remains residue after removal of the mineral meters, blah, 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 collagen of bones. Okay. Uh. Uh. What have we come up in the last 50 minutes? Uh, we've completed the naming the region, the coastal region. We have the enemy faction. We're coming up with the name of the game itself. Then we'll jump into starters. But we've done we've done a couple of bits and bobbles here and there along the way as all. Well. You finished your toast. Um, bone related terms. Let's look at that. Osteoclast, flat bones, condylite. Ossification, Bursa, Sesamoid, Bone, Osteoblast. Osteoblast? I mean, technically, okay, fine. Clavicle, Coccyx, uh, Diaphysis, diaph diaphysis Foramen, Ligament, Fossa. Fossa? What's a Fossa? Fossa and Fovea. Fossa is a depression of the bone surface, which is often broad and shallow. May support bone sh brain structures or receive, okay, Graveyard of the Lost Land. No, no, no. That is way too long. I hate to break it to you. <clears throat> it's a solid name, but it's a long name. That is, that is. There's no way Pokemon would ever do that. Um, Sinus. Yeah, sure. Let's call it Pokemon Sinus. That sounds... Metacarpal. What's up? I'm sorry. I just left a Pokemon Sinus. <laughs> well, Pokemon Kokaku. It's bones in Japanese. That does, it's a little long, but I like where you're going with that. I actually like where you're going with that. Maybe if we find certain, bo oh, wait, no, we won't, um, Graveland. Eh. I feel like that makes it edgy, and we're not trying, I'm not trying to make an edgy game. You catch what I mean? Also, Metus. Metus is a, is a term for a bone. It is a short tube-like channel extending into the bone, technically. Interesting. Pokemon fan game? Never heard of it. Never heard of it before. I like where Bunnel's going, though. Bunnel's Kokaku. So we could go... You could go a Latin route. That's so, that's where the Os comes in. Yeah, Os. There's also Spina. There's also Osum. Exoso. Let's see. Let's type Skeleton. Skeleton of fun. Haha. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. No, monogramos. Okay. Anatomical terms of bone. Uh, condyle. Pointed say? special cavities. Blah, blah, blah. Joints. Okay. This F. So, wait. What are, the, what are the legends that you've set up with? now what are what are the two legends that you have for it? i think we're setting i so think the hodag the hodag yeah we never and really the, we never there's not another one so yeah because we stepped away now, from thunderbird gonna, even though i kind of like the thunderbird anyway now are you doing this let's say as one game or is this going to be like a, are you 
do like a quote unquote split game sort of thing. I think it'd just be the one game. It's a one game thing? Yeah. Okay. So we could go look into so the Hodak. What about Pokemon Anbe? It's Amber. That's a really good. Ooh. Pokemon Amber's been done. That's the hard part. Amber, yeah. Pokemon Amber already exists. Shall it be Lightland? Might have another legendary name. We are we are not even we are nowhere near coming up with names from legendaries yet. We are nowhere near. We have not done any of the necessary yeah. research. Hodek, Pokemon Dog Hog. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, check out my dog hog. Look at the dog hog. <laughs> Look at the do what's the dog hog doing? What's the dog hog oh, doing? It's just break dancing down in the <laughs> Oh my god. Poke said that he's gonna make a uh, 3D model of my little pumpkin kid, and I told him if he does it, I'll have it. I'm gonna have it T post spinning on my streams and uh, like stuff like this. Oh my gosh. Uh, stream it, starting, it's just T post spinning around oh my, in a circle. Yeah, that, that's like a loading screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of where my brain went. Uh, you're gonna play The Sims. E, enjoy The Sims. Uh, Bathanada. That is not Sims. That was Hollow Knight speak. I apologize. Uh, I need to work on my Simlish. 3D chat kid. He, he just wants to do it. I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, fine. Have fun. I'm like, I'm not going to, like, whatever you make is whatever you make. I'm not telling you to make it, so have fun. I will appreciate it when it is when it is done. So he's, he's made, he tossed a couple things my way here and there. Sounds good, Zaza. Sounds good. Uh, gosh, this is hard. There's so many, sh there's like fun shorts I can make from just this stream alone. Just like naming a Pokemon, sh <laughs> make a, naming a Pokemon game is hard, and just, <laughs> just Dog Hog being one of the entries for that. Dog Hog. Reconstrue. Too complicated though. Long though. Yeah. 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 You know what? Let's look at the like whole deck. The idea of going with reconstruction, actually. That does actually no. That does that does fly. That does fly. I like that. Let's see. eighteen things wish listed. Dang son. What's the hodag? Let's look into the hodag. Hodag was on Scooby Doo. I forgot about that. Hodag tears make the world's best lemonade. Unfortunately, the hodag never cries. <laughs> like, it's like Chuck Norris. Right? <laughs> That's gold. Any new types? I probably am not actually making a new Pokemon type. That was just that you can't trust anything that's in the in the in the psychopathic like notes that are on that on that on that thumbnail. Oh my god. Uh. Also, the the new types was the star related to terrestrialization. Uh. The late summer sunset stole its color from the Hodag's eyes. If he tilts his head just right, the Hodak can pick up every Milwaukee Brewers radio broadcast on its horns. But the reception <laughs> is fuzzy. <laughs> Wait, one second right now, but this is just Chuck Norris fast. Just switched out with the Hodak. <laughs> I love it. New type Goku. I'm, I'm in love with this. I love the Hodak. Oh, my God. The spikes on a Hodak's tail serve as perfect marshmallow roasting sticks. The Hodak is a scratch golfer, and he never needs to buy golf balls either. He just collects the ones that are hit into the woods. The Hodak smells exactly like a pine-scented car air freshener. Boom Lake was formed after the Hodak did a cannonball in a puddle. Uh, the Hodak will eat fish fresh out of the lake, but he prefers a traditional Wisconsin fish fry with potato pancake. Oh. I want a potato pancake now. Uh, when you when the wind blows through the Hodag's fur, it plays a perfect version of Beer Barrel Polka. Yes, I've heard that song. What is a skeleton's favorite snack? It ain't ribs, because that's not a snack. If you say ribs, I'm on the exact you're banned. Thing that you're on. I've, se I've just seen it. I've just you're seen banned. It. Just if you say it. that, you're banned. You're banned. I will mod you, and then I will ban you. <laughs> <laughs> ribs are not a snack you better not say ribs muscles muscles aren't a snack either <laughs> okay let's see 
Deep in the woods near Rhinelander, Wisconsin, lurks a mysterious, ferocious, and mischievous beast called the Hodag. The Hodag is rarely seen, but often blamed for missing sunglasses, lost keys, and helping the big one get away from anglers. But what do we really know about this legendary Northwoods beast? Here's some of the information that has been pieced together over the years. I can't believe that you just skipped over some more fun facts about the Hodag. In 1959, President John F. Kennedy received a replica Hodag during his trip to Rhinelander. Oh my god. It is said that it, it is said that he used the beast for inspiration while writing his inaugural address. The Hodag, okay. Third string center for the Green Bay Packers the during Green the Bay ice Packers bowl in, in 1967. Bowl. He won him that game. He won him that game. I believe you when you say that, by the way. I believe you. You're Mr. Football, man. I want you to know, I just looked up, so I've just Googled Hodag Fun Facts. Uh, there, of the first, like, seven sites, three of them have an image that are just a paw print. I don't think the Hodag should be, like, a paw print sort of an animal. Yeah, I was going to say, that doesn't really seem like a paw print type friend. If a monster in Undertale, <laughs> they would give dust. Jordan! God dang it. That's it. That's all it is. Oh, Should have just had more determination. Oh, my God. Um, uh, might want to be careful. It's fine. Just, just be careful. Just because some, you know, you know. I don't think that. I don't think we have anybody in here, of course. But I've had one. Yeah, <laughs> I was an accidental one. Met a sniper who named his strange sniper JFK. Oh my god. Oppenheimer is a pretty good one for the name of the op. In that is pretty CSGO. solid. That is pretty solid. Not gonna lie. Um, shoddy Kurt Cobain's microphone. I thought about that. I genuinely thought about saying that. Um, <sighs> Starring Megan Mark. All right, I'm gonna look up. We're looking up Hodag. Fa or you know what? Hold on. Recon. So Hodag is also a hoax, by the way. Like, there's people who say that it's a huge hoax. Okay. I was from Ryan Lander. <clears throat> uh. Oh, hail the Hodag! <clears throat> a small cult that just screams, all hail Hodag. Uh, Pokemon tweak. Just, 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 tw just you know, just, just, just tweaking a little bit. Pokemon tweak. I was looking at reconstruction. Think... The fact you made me laugh at it twice, it's funny. It's, I, I will admit it's funny, but... <laughs> uh, definitely a sensitive topic. I won't ever deny it, though. I have dark jokes. Uh, Hodag was figured prominently in early Paul Bunyan stories. Oh, yeah. I got to have a Paul Bunyan-based one. There's no way I don't. Can we have a spam phrase? Hail the Hodag? Uh, probably. I don't know. I'd rather not have the absolute spam in the chat. I usually, let, I, I usually say when you guys can spam certain things. <clears throat> um, just to be mindful of other people in chat, make sure they're they're you know, if two vegans fight, is it called beef? Tell your boyfriend that if he's got beef, I'm an effing vegetarian, and I oh sorry, I'm a vegetarian, I ain't effing scared of him. There we go. <clears throat> you spent a hundred dollar reduce out here. It's called tofu. <laughs> That's actually actually you know what? Bundle out here with the answers. Bundle out here with the answers. Must be some tough tofu. God, this is actually incredibly difficult. Pokemon Wisconsin. Just call it Pokemon Wisconsin. I'm just gonna Google Pokemon Wisconsin. Let's see. Oh, that's right. The oh my god, the regionals were here in 2023. Uh oh. No, I can't Shoot, do I that. Gotta sign up for my, I gotta sign up for VGC. That this looks like. I can't do that. I was gonna say Pokemon Green Fire. That's a great name, but like first off, green. Second off, Green Fire's name of a of amazing book. Two orphans get a scroll called an orphanage. That's not how that works. Bottle's got no comic for that one. Uh, let's see. I'm struggling. Uh.
what is a unique enough name that just ha that hasn't been used before and it was related to Wisconsin? It's hard. Well, it doesn't even have to be related to Wisconsin. It's related, related to reconstruction, or, fossils. Reconstruction, fossils, something like, like that. Like, I go back to Aus sign, like Pokemon Aus, but like that doesn't. Eh. A Pokemon Aus sign. So, okay, how do you spell Aus sign? O S S E I N. <clears throat> what do you get when you cross a crazy person and an orphan? I don't know how I feel about the Batman movie. Okay, you know what? You got a point there. You know what? You're not wrong. Is it called homeschooling? I don't think I don't think that's how that works. You don't regret it. I sorry, I just saw your other message there, Zaza. Okay. Okay. I think oh. It's okay. How do people feel about Pokemon Ossine? I, like, I feel like if you don't call it Ossine, but Ossian. That makes it so much harder to pronounce. But it reads as Ossian. How do you pronounce Worcestershire? The three hardest things to say is, <laughs> I was wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> Worcestershire. 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 Oh my god. You like it, Art? I think... You're excited for this game. Whatever gets made. Plague and Acrylic should play Helldiver too. Plague doesn't play games and I don't I'm not interested in Helldiver. <laughs> I don't play games. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know how many games he's played in the last year? Three. A lot of Pokemon games have code names that are used while in development, so maybe you could be at, at least that and expand on it later. If you want true. That is true. That is true. Have two, always have two names with creating a game. One just to get it out of the way. Two for the release. Yeah, yeah. We're calling. I think we're. I, we're, I think we're gonna land on Pokemon Offside, which is really funny, because oh, Pokemon Offside. Offside. Who? Um, I'm gonna put that in the, uh, in the region document. Pokemon sure. Offside, which is funny because that's my D and D character name. Uh, if Ward you are Chester. Are you come back? I will hop back in, but I'm going to take my leave for now. So Sounds good. Thanks for being here, Chief. Yeah, no problem. Uh, have fun, everybody. Enjoy. I'm going to hit everyone Come with some good stuff. Uh, we so. will. We will. We've got plenty to go okay. here. See ya. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, you know what? It's been a bit. Uh, hydration check. Take this ad, y'all. <clears throat> take this ad. Hydration check. Do your stuff. All that good thing. One of your sims gave birth yesterday. They did that woohoo. Okay, so let's see here. We have Pokemon Ossine in the Cosine region. Or the Cosine region, I'm sorry. Um, Now let's see what we have next. Sorry, let's go back to starters. Y'all voted for starters. Let's start working on starters. Okay, so this means that we're going to be looking up some stuff about, like... What? Okay, you know what? I kind of am interested in doing... How do we feel? I want to see some opinions. Pokemon Costco. Uh, you got to have a membership to play this game. Uh, so, here's here's my idea then. Here's my idea then. Um, how... Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. The Funk Master's going there. Um, how do we feel about a Pokemon... How do you feel about a Pokemon that, that our starter being a water fire? What, what was it? Water fire, fire grass, grass water. No, that doesn't make sense. No, sorry. Water. Oh, oh God. I got to type this out. Hold on. Water, fire, fire, grass, grass, water. Or... Because I, I am dead set on a Badger starter Pokemon. I'm dead set on it. And we could go Water Fire, Water Steel, Water Rock. Those are our three options. If we do that, then Water Fire needs Fire Grass and Grass Water. If it's Water Steel, we're gonna we're just going to have... 
Uh, wait, I don't want to do another firefighting type. Get out of here. What's better? What else is good against steel? Fighting. Ground. Is, wa is ground good against water? Is, wa is water resistant to ground? I always forget. I don't think it actually does. <clears throat> Uh oh, never mind. Uh hello, love from the French community. Oh hi there, Augusta. Or August. How do I pronounce your name properly? I want to make sure I pronounce your name. Dodged. Uh should have shared the ad through Twitch. You went hey or dodged the ad through Twitch. Hey. Also, wow. You're the first person from 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 like from the French like area. Hi. Like the month. Oh, so August. Gotcha. Fantastic. Well, welcome to the acrylic streams. Uh, to give you a nice little warm welcome, then. Uh, I'm going to turn on this light. This is... <clears throat> so, uh, I'm... Oh, gosh. Ah, that's bright. Um, so, I'm acrylic. Uh, Pokemon is a staple here. This is the first stream where I'm starting to make my own Pokemon region. Basically, I'm making a Pokemon game without making the game itself. I like to, I like to have something on screen for you guys um, while I'm doing all this and I show stuff. Along the way, um, as I'm doing research, we've done plenty of that, so that's been plenty of fun. Um, I'm chill with high energy, as a lot of people have stately said. Um, you got a meme for me, Dark. I like high interaction, um, and I play some other games on the channel, but ultimately, like this is this is gonna be like a new staple, and I'm super excited to keep doing this. A lot of this. So, welcome to the channel, <clears throat> Hollow Knight. Oh, the Hollow Knight meme. Uh, let's see here. Da 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 da. -da. So you're kind of like the script writer of the games? Uh, not of the official games, but kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I plan on, like, 151 new. Uh, also feels weird to be recognized by a streamer. Really? I mean, my streams have small audiences. I, I would like to, you know, have more. But I also do a lot of other stuff on this, on this channel, like the Supercuts. So whenever I'm not live, there's always Supercuts to watch. And those have mwah, great quality, if I do say so myself. And also, I rate people say your Pokemon in my shorts. Um... So, yeah. It's as simple as that. And I feel like that's the best part about streaming is when you get to talk to people. Um, that's my ver that's my personal opinion. So, I don't understand streamers who stream and don't interact. I recommend a friend. Yeah! Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I am trying to make a living off of YouTube. Almost 3,000 subscribers strong. Booyah. Uh, we're getting there. It's happening. It's, it's actually almost been a year since I've gotten serious about YouTube. And Acrylic has existed. It's actually on the 18th is... Oh my gosh. Oh, oh man. Whew, it'll have been a year. <clears throat> I feel like I've been saying this every stream and it's it's, it's going crazy. Um, so let's see here. Let's see here. Um, why don't we keep looking at what I was looking at here? So this isn't in the right place, I realized. It needs to be here. So if we have water... F oh, that's what I was looking at. Uh, what is... What is a water steel type weak to? Electric. <clears throat> really? I thought steel resisted electric. Interesting. Interesting. So, you have returned from Twitch. Welcome back on from Twitch funnel. So, another option then for our water steel is to do... Could we do a grass electric or a fire electric? Is there a fire electric Pokemon? I don't think there's one of either. Oh, Rotom, duh. Uh, what about grass? Okay, Rotom for both of them. Rotom for both of them, it looks like. Rotom, yeah. yeah. Rotom Heat, you had it, Ark. You had it right on the right on the money. I don't there's none there's no more for either of them though. Well, okay, I'm, you know what? This is hard. Okay, this is hard. I kind of, it's kind of sick. Uh, will there be a full video of this stream? This stream will stay up on the channel. This stream will stay up on the channel. Um, I will probably do monthly updates, I think, of how, of the progress that's been made while doing this um and that's about what i'll do um i'll do like little monthly updates i think because i have documents that i'm going through right now that you guys can't see 
Um, but they're here. I could go through what we've done so far, just as a refresher for everybody. I want to get these... I kind of want to get these starters, like, set up here. Because that's this is going to be the next hard part. I think... What sounds more interesting? A grass electric? Sorry, you have to go. I've already recommended you. Thank you, August. Thank you for being here. And have a great rest of your day. I don't know. Or night. I don't know if it's late where you are. I think it's late where you are. Have a good rest of your night. Sleep well. Do that good stuff. Get your eight hours. But no reason to apologize. I appreciate you. Um, Let's see. Um, Water steel. Is steel seriously not just steel resist electric? I could have sworn it did. Steel is resisted by four types. Oh. What would a grass electric type be weak to? Uh... What would a grass... What is growth... Wait, what is... Wait, I can just literally look up. What is Rotom Mower weak to? Uh... Oh, God. Poison, bug, fire, ice. And Polyana's water steel. That is true. Which I uh, it's it's dependent on what we really want. I'm okay with having another water steel type. Um Poison Bug, Fire, Ice. But it is resistant to steel, water, grass, electric. What would a what is Rotom? What is Rotom heat? Ground rock water so ultimately it kind of just doesn't matter i think a i think a i think a i think an electric i think an electric oh no, okay let's do let's do uh grass it'd be grass electric i think is what i would want to go with <clears throat> but what would okay so what would be weak to steel but strong against electric then as a fire something Steel is strong against ice and rock. Just rock? But. Interesting. How about a tree that gives off energy? That would be pretty freaking cool. We can, we can, we can. Oh my gosh. There's so much that we can do with that one. There is so much that we can do with that one. Do you want a fire rock type? I don't know if we actually want that. Found a way to get the Blissey Line of Legends without using the Ride Mons? Really? No, you don't have to go up high. Isn't that really similar to Xerneas, though? Wait. Oh, that is true. But there's, like, solar energy giving off heat type stuff or anything. We can figure that out. We can figure that out. Because I'm thinking, like... Because there's a whole thing about... Remember, it's, like... So, okay, all right, l l I'm about to nerd out. I'm about to learn, l nerd out. I'm about to flex my, my uh, education on you. So, solar energy works in two ways. There's your traditional, sorry, there's your traditional solar energy, which it takes solar, it, the sun's rays come down, it hits a surface, it heats up the surface, and that heat is turned into energy. Alternatively, there is photovoltaic energy, uh, energy, which is when the sun's rays, their ultraviolet rays, more specifically, you can do other rays, are turned from directly their photo waves to energy directly. Uh, you can do a solar panel tree fake them on. That does sound kind of cool. Oh, that's hitting me right in a soft spot. Um, and as such, because it's grass electric, yeah. Like, that's where my brain's going right now. That sounds sick. Um, the only issue... Like, so, like, that's, that's where my brain is going. My only thing now is, do we do a... A fire... Because steel is only strong against ice. And... Ice and rock. 
Do we want a fire ice type or a fire rock type? A fire ice type sounds god awful. Genuinely god awful. Like, what is. There's not even a fire ice type. A fire ice type Pokemon. Oh, Galarian Darmanitan? Zen mode! What? Hey, Mo, how you doing? And fairy, no. Yeah, yeah, it's fairy. Is it? Is it? Is Xerneas? Is Xerneas fairy rock? I actually don't know Xerneas. <clears throat> actually, X and Y, I just don't know. Funny enough, it's only Gen, only Gen. So, what is Galarian? Thank you, thank you, Mo. Darmanitan week two. Or rather, what is a... Xerneas is just fairy? Really? Oh, wow. What is a fire ice type Pokemon week two? Uh... <clears throat> or, you know what? Uh, Pokemon resistance calculator. There we go. That's what I need. Pokemon type calculator. Perfect. 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 Fire and ice. It would be weak to it'd be very weak to rock. It'd be weak to fighting ground and water. But then it would be res it would resist bug grass fairy. Heavily resist ice. Better than rock and fire. Okay. Uh it takes normal damage from everything else. Interesting. I kind of like that. I kind of really like this. Like, I always... Oh, my gosh. Fire ice. That's... That's... Water steel isn't unique. Fire ice is. And grass electric is. But also, there's not that many water steel types anyway. Um... Alternatively, what would even a rock water even look like? Just for the other partition. Uh, rock. Not so bad. Okay. Weak to grass. Weak to fighting ground electric. Resist normal flying poison ice. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Uh, but then... Uh, it'd be really weak to the grass starters. I don't know how I feel about that. I think... Okay, how do we feel... I, I think we're... La I think I'm landing on something that I'm really excited for. And it's hard for me not to choose it. Water Ghost, maybe? If I were to do Water Ghost... Water Ghost... Because then we'd have to do Ghost, Dark, Psychic. I think for the trio, uh, the Frillish line that have that type. Yeah, yeah. Which, again, I don't mind. I think I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real with you guys. I think a Water Steel, Fire Ice, Grass Electric trio sounds pretty cool. Like, I, th I think that sounds pretty cool. <clears throat> because I would base... So, we would have our water... Like, it would start off as a Badger Pokemon. It would be a water type. It'd be based off of the Badger and the SS Badger, which is the most, like, the ship of Wisconsin, as it is a... Then becomes a Water Steel type. We have to figure out Fire Ice. However, we're going to figure that out. And then Grass Electric. That's going to be another interesting one to try and figure out. But I'm like, that's why I want water, fire, water, steel, water, rock, because it makes sense for the SS Badger, which is a coal-fired, powered ship, um, to be fire, steel, or rock, but then have the water makings as a part of it. I see Ark is agreeing. I see Ark is in on this. Ooh. I think, I, I think that's the way. I think that's the way. Oh, um, <laughs> a little water badger. 
A little water badger. That's, I like it so much. I'm happy. All right. So let's see here. Uh, so our water steel is going to be a badger. Our fire ice, we don't know yet. And our grass electric, we do not know yet. Okay. Um, why did that have so much space in between it? Let's do some... It's research time, y'all. It's research time. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's look into... I'm going to make sure I'm not messaging, missing any other messages anywhere at all. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Um... Let's look up what plants... Sorry, no. Because it's a fire type. It's a fire type. Oh, God. Um, it's a fire ice type. It'll become a... It'll, it'll gain the ice typing. So, what starts... What can we do that starts off... We have a badger. You know what? We could just look up state animals. Let's look up Wisconsin state animals. Why don't we do that? Uh, I have it in my bookmarks. Wisconsin facts. Let's look at some animals. Um, the robin. Nope, we're not having a robin starter. A cow starter. <laughs> this, yo, my cow shoots lava. Um, trilobites. Nah. Uh, nah. Cranberries, though. But that. Wait, could do cranberries grow in winter? But then you would expect it to be a grass type then. Right? You'd expect that to be a grass type, so I can't touch that. Um, That's not an animal. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, you're right. It's not an animal. Fine. Um, How about a melting snowman? Hold on. Hold on. You might be onto something. Hold on. Bunnel, you are absolutely onto something. I want to look up... Uh... Um, winter animals, winter animals in Wis Wis Wisconsin. Uh, I'm gonna look up state animals. Oh, cranberry is a uh, fight me art. Chipmunk, badger, skunk, bear, a possum. Yo, do we want a possum? Do we want a possum or a raccoon? Guys, who want? I'm putting a vote. We're 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 putting a vote. I'm putting a vote. I'm putting a vote. We need a vote. We need a vote. We need a vote. We need a vote. Where? Where? How do I do this? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, start a poll. Uh, uh, fire, ice, starter, uh, possum or a raccoon. Start poll. Start poll. Start poll. Start poll. Start poll. Uh. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put an at in. I'm gonna put an at. I'm gonna put an at. I'm gonna put an at. Uh, I'm gonna share the stream again. I'm gonna share the stream. Oh my god! I I I'm just I'm actually I just I just got so excited. I genuinely just got so excited. Uh, at at everyone still going strong, making the Pokemon region. Uh, we got two starters, and it's. Time to vote right now between a raccoon or possum starter. I, I, I just, I just, I, <laughs> I just saw my thumbnail again. I'm so proud of that thumbnail. Oh my god. I just, oh my, yes, I paused my sim for this. Oh my gosh. It can't evolve because of, paint, of fainting. Remember, it's going to be a fire and ice type. It'll be a fire ice type is what it'll end up being. I I am I am overly excited for this. I'm overly excited. I'm going to give this just a little bit more time because I want to see if people start like filing their way in. I'm I'm actually so excited. I I just got I got giddy. I just got so giddy. I got giddy, guys. I've like I have all this freaking energy inside of my soul. Uh, uh I'm not placing my vote. So one of those votes aren't going to get thrown in. Woo! Uh, I 
don't think anyone from the Discord has their notifications on, which makes me sad. That's okay. I think Possum's gonna win it, though. I don't think it's gonna change. Possum's full gimmick is pretending to be dead. That could be one of its abilities, though. Straight up. Like, I'm so tired of, oh, it's moves, blah, 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 in a pinch. It's like, bruh, bruh. I don't care. I, I don't I don't want it in a pinch. I just want I want different abilities, baby. I want I want those other abilities. Like sure you can have a classic. You know what? I, I think I think we're landing on possum. I don't think I don't think it's gonna change. Let's go. Let's go. We got we got possum. I can't alright, we have a possum. We have a fire and ice possum. Uh like Ooh, having it like a mimic you ability that would be interesting that might be a bit we'll have to think of some some hidden abilities that we'll put for them like of course you know as, as far as things go um i would love some like hidden abilities for every pokemon that might be different than what normal pokemon has now we have a grass electric type now we have a grass electric type and um a duck just set another duck on fire. Oh, yeah. They'll put each other out. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it too much. That's okay. It's okay. It happens. It happens. It's a circle of life. Um. God, I'm still... I'm recovering. I'm recovering mentally. I'm recovering mentally. We, we're going to have an opossum. A opossum. A At 50 HP, it dodges the next attack. <laughs> that is... That is... That is... That could be broken. That could be broken. We'll, we'll we'll play around with it. There's a lot of stuff we can research about possums. That would be really fun. The last thing we have is a grass electric. You know? What if its HP is really low, but its defenses are really high? That A, a, a tanky possum? I think we're going to have a tanky badger. Guys, is it bad that I kind of want the raccoon to be the grass electric type? Is that bad? Is that bad? It, it, like, I don't know how we're going to do it, but it sounds cool. It just sounds fun. I have so many tabs open. I have so many tabs. It's either a raccoon or a bear, but I think a raccoon. Chipmunk, badger, skunk, bear, possum, raccoon. I mean, that's like, but that's going into the winter species again. No, it's your region after all. <laughs> Kind of right. I'm like just, just, just the, just the trash trio. Even though badgers aren't like trash monsters. Oh my god. Oh, do a raccoon, do a raccoon. Oh my god. This just sounds so much fun. This just sounds so. I don't know how. We're, I don't know how this is gonna get managed, but I'm so excited for this. Um. Oh, see, here we go. The raccoon, like the black bear, accumulates plenty of fat and then goes into a sleeping period. They will occasionally venture out during warm winter days. So, in other words, it makes sense for the raccoon to be the grass type because it, it's weak to winter. The raccoons are weak to winter. I can't believe they made Pokemon typings real. Uh, <laughs> a lot of recent trios have some kind of theme to them, so it works. Yeah! Yeah, we're doing it. We're having a raccoon. We're having a raccoon. And uh, no base it into the water starter. I, I, we have a region where we have the legendary being a hodag, which is a cryptid. Cryptids are going to be in this. There's a focus on fossils. Our starters are a badger, a possum, and a raccoon. They are a water steel, fire ice, grass electric. I'm, I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy right now. We've made so much progress. We've made so much progress. Progress. How, I don't even... Okay, all right. Now, now comes, uh, now comes a different part of this. So, so now, now, like, like we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw now. We're gonna draw, and it's gonna be. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's gonna be bad. These are gonna. These are the alphas of the Pokemon. These are gonna look dog. Like they're gonna look bad. Um, I will find a way to hook up like my actual drawing tablet to this at some point because I don't think I can. I don't think I have the ability at all right now. Um, so I just have, like, my old tablet, which I do not like at, like, nearly as much. So, we'll still just see. We'll just see. I'll figure something out, and we'll have better over, over time. It was fun just to see the vision. Yeah. Uh, water, 
if the water type was better, people would. A project also sounds awesome so far. Thank you. I'm so excited over this. All right, I'm just trying to, okay. I'm just trying to situate everything because pretty soon I won't be able to see certain things. It'll be harder for me. Um, let me do this. I'll just lower that down. I'll lower that down. Uh, let's open this up. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the stupid thing that we were doing earlier with the with the hippo ox creature thing. The what's it that we were talking about? God awful creature. Um, nightmare fuel. Okay. Uh, what the heck? Uh, does it hook up to PC at all, or does it need a specific thing? I don't know, actually. Like, legitimately speaking, um, interesting. Uh, I could, the baby girl to an infant. Um, I don't, I guess, I guess, hold on. Just, just, uh, just stay here, chat. Stay here. Enjoy the ducks for a little bit longer. Oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go look. Looks like I I would need a USB C to a USB C to HDMI connection, which I don't have. I have a lot of connections, and that's not one of them. We love dirt cake, the wood duck. Which duck do you guys like? Duckware. There's a lot. There's there's a lot of fun ones in there. There's a lot of fun ones in there. Um, let's see. So, oh, I also need to remap this. So it's going to be harder for me to see chat for during this. So just bear with me if I don't see your messages immediately. Um, dirt cake is an icon. Actually, there's one that you guys probably haven't seen this whole time. Let me, let's see here. Uh, let's see. We have, we have graffiti. Oh, that one's not named. That's okay. Ooh, that one's also not named. Sag, Toddleson, Upsidaduck, Sam, Senpaiuwu. This one's also not named. That's basically me, I feel. Possibly would be like a Wimpod where it evolved to be brave. That would be really fun, actually. There's Duck Johnson. There we go. Uh, Jasmine, Donnie, the, cr the Crow, Duolingo, Goober. Don't know why you don't have a name. Dirt Cake. Fortune, Ludicrous, you also don't have a name, Okie Doke, Click Clack, Witch Clicks, High Real Knight, Subduction, uh, Post It, Marbleade, I like that name a lot, uh, Glucose Guardian, Skittles, that one's not named, Duckware, which makes beep sounds, Mallard, Clyde, Artemis, Donuck, or Donuck, The Funk Master, uh, Tech Support, Strawberry, questionable, skeleton, boo boo, rabbit, graffiti, pizza, so on and so forth. The Funk Master. I don't think Interior Crocodile Alligator is here yet. No, they're not here yet. Uh, Interior Crocodile Alligator should show up eventually. Also, uh, our Shark Duck isn't here either, which is like my favorite, I think. Um, so let me do this. You know what? Because I don't want you guys to miss out on any duck action. I will put the duck game smaller with a ton sketchbook. I'm going to put the duck game smaller, like, up here. Actually, that makes no sense. We're going to put it up here. How about that? Does that look good for you guys? I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to assume yes. Because then you guys can still see duck game. And then we can get some art going here for, for what we're working on. Um, nobody misses out on ducks today. Not on this day. Um, looks good. Looks good. Fantastic. Um, I'll just have to keep my eyes out. Okay, this is hard to keep an eye on on Twitch, but that's okay, at least. 
You don't care. You just like the duck. Heck yeah. Everyone loves the ducks. Everyone loves the ducks. That's why I put the ducks on screen. Like, I was just like, you know what? People love the ducks. We throw the ducks on. They're, they're there. It's stimulating to the brain. Blah, blah, blah. Where is my pen? Where is my pen? I put it there. It's safe. All right. So. So, ah, uh, man. What am I feeling right now? So, like, okay. All right. Actually, I need to change a couple of things. So, edit preferences. Canvas, hotkeys, lagoon, factory defaults, no. General, oh god, how do I? Window, default layout. Ah, uh, well, you guys didn't see any of that change, that's fine. Uh, you're gonna have to bear with me, this is why we have ducks. View, canvas size, preferences. Is it not in this? How do you map this thing? How to... Oh my gosh. How do I map this? I forgot how you map this whole thing. Image. Adjust. Edit. Stylus responsiveness. <clears throat> not quite. Page setup print. Okay, I have to look at something. All right. Uh. Uh. How to change response area. Sketch look pro. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. What am I trying to do here? No, none of that. None of that's what I'm trying to do. What, how do I, how do I make this work? Edit. I thought it would be, I thought it'd be in Canvas, which is actually kind of wacky that it's not. <clears throat> is it? It's not the Canvas. That's why it's, it's, I hate, I hate that I'm using it, but it's the only one I have right now. And I bought it a long time ago. So I'm not even going to say the name of the tablet I'm using. Uh, all right. Sketchbook pro. I don't want the keystroke. I want to know mapping <clears throat> and I want to put it on the monitor too. Bingo. And let's just make sure both are set to monitor two. Perfect. Or all three of them are set to monitor too. What the fudge? How many sketchbook pros? How many sketchbook pro? Okay, we're good. Why are these like this? Why? Why? Why is this like this? Okay, that's the only one that matters right now, assumedly. Now when I do this, perfect, it's where it needs to be. Awesome, awesome. Oh, this feels weird. So like, okay, let's, let's like, when you, when you, oh, I need to also change something else. This fountain pen is not the way I like it. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got to change like all of my settings because this isn't, you guys can't see everything that I'm doing. Don't worry about it. Brush light, wait, what? Hold on, brush library. Wait, I can't change my settings for this on here? Oh, I better figure out an, a USB-C to HDMI then in that case. Oh, that's, that's, oof. I am not a fan then. Um, I like the tablet version so much more. Oh my. Computer version's kind of poopy now. Now that I've kind of messed with it as much as I have. Unless there is... Oh, here it is. Uh, I don't want to change size with pressure... I want opacity to change with pressure. So heavy pressure, keep it at a hundred. Light pressure can go to 50. Flow stays the same. That's all I really need. Everything else can be fine. There we go. So now when I do it light and then I press harder, there we go. And I press really hard. It's darkened all the way. Perfect. That's the way I like it now. All right. So like, if you look at a possum, 
And like, let's 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 just let's just sit and let's just say, all right, uh, I use a three points on mine. That's fine. It's gonna be small. I don't care. Like what? We we think of a possum, and you're like, yeah, you've got you've got this thing here. That's yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. You've got you've got this thing here, right? You've got you've got possum. It's got a wiggly tail. It's got an eye. You're like, yeah. Yeah, that's that's vaguely a possum, right? I don't know. You got like a, a dark nose up here, so then it has like a like a proper snout. You know, you're just like, yeah, that's 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 supposedly that's supposedly a po you got a possum question mark. You know, that's what we're sitting with, right? Uh it's got it's got its head, it's got its ear, which goes like that. Got another ear. You know, everything usually has two ears. Maybe it has a foot back here. Maybe it doesn't, you know, maybe it has all, all four legs as it should. Um, its tail is kind of rat-like. It's got all the little boop, 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 boop parts in it, right? That's like, that's, that's your, that's your, that's your basic possum. Don't know why, don't know why it's exactly like that. You kind of cone-shaped face is what they have going on. So then you can make that darker. So on and so forth. Boom. You have your, you have your super basic possum. Yeah, every super basic possum, right? But like, we need we need to figure out how the heck you lost your notebook. No, well, notebook you can always grab more notebooks at least. Which type was the possum again? The possum was a uh, ice fire type. So like, we have to go from whatever of that into something like this into something more, right? Like we have fire. Do they gain their second typing? They don't gain their second typing until their third stage. We have fire, 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 ice, right? So, like, how do we get, how do we get from here to that to there? And, like, I'm going to, I'm going to have to, Curly Pop, where did you go? <laughs> where did it go? Um, like, you know what, actually, though? Hold on. Let's look up some possum facts. I'm going to let the possum stay on screen for you guys. You guys can enjoy that 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 badly drawn possum. Possum facts. Strange and surprising facts about the opossum. Uh, they play dead. Yes, yes, we know that. The nostril... Wait, what? It's probably unsurprising that an animal that transforms itself into a smelly corpse is going to be the subject of folktales. One of the wackiest myths is the once common view that female opossums give birth out through nostrils. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, that sounds awful! Looks like you're pointing to the opossum saying it's fine and it's making you giggle. <laughs> I see it. I see it. Handwriting is needed. It's tired. It's slightly crazy. You're fine. Found it on your laptop. That's that's ridiculous. That's that's fake and that's ridiculous. Um, but we might be able to work with that. Might be fun. Baby Virginia possums are born hairless and slight sightless and are about the size of a honeybee. There are essentially a nature writer notes walking embryos. Immediately upon birth, they have to use their small but strong legs to clamber into the pouch. The mother possum licks the pouch and other fur so they're like a kangaroo. To help the baby possums on their journey, many still do not make it. Once in the pouch, life gets no easier. Might be up to 25 young, but the female has only... Okay, that one's breathing fire. That's a dragon duck. Uh, 25 young, but the female only has 13 nips. Not all of which may provide milk. If the opossum doesn't fasten to a functioning nip, it dies. Interesting. So it's survival of fittest from beginning to end. Um, they stay survive 50 to 70 days, uh, after 120, they, they depart to live the life of a solitary possum. They ride around on, they stay in the mother's den or ride around on her back. The Virginia possum, tropical species, but during his blah, 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 frostbite entails, uh... Don't have furry protective tails. In fact, their tails and ears are hairless, making them particularly susceptible to frostbite and even hypothermia. Could make it getting a cold like a cub chew. Oh, that would be a good first form. Many possums bear physical evidence of surviving harsh winters, damaged ears and tails. 
Their tails often appear stumpy or as if something had bitten it off, but these are signs that their tails suffered frostbite. Um, will den for a few days to escape the cold, but they don't hibernate. They have to feed periodically. <sighs> periodically. Uh, sometimes they'll change their nocturnal habits and feed in daylight hours during the winter to take advantage of warmer temperatures. Hey, Grace. Uh, da, 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 da. Foraging doesn't help much during periods of frigid weather. After extending period codes, you can see a long, you can see a lot of tail-challenged possums. Um, they're all over the place. Ticks and snakes. Um, they do not fight Lyme disease. I already know that. They're just very resistant to it, and and they do eat a lot of ticks, but that's just a snack to them. That's not their main meal. Um, but they do reduce Lyme disease because of all of that. Um. They're resistant to most forms of snake venom, though. That's interesting. Um, wow, okay. Uh, including venom from rattlesnakes and copperheads. That's because the protein in their blood binds to the toxins and neutralizes. That's sick! That's sick! That's so cool! Uh, three hours of work didn't get paid because he wasn't called in, but you did more work than the guy supposed to be doing the job you normally do. Why didn't you get paid? That sounds dumb. What the heck? What? What? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, why not? Uh, go fight someone. I'll fight someone. Um, let's see. Possum, 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 possum. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's really cool. So that makes sense why we get... I'm very happy we landed on possum for the fire ice type, actually. Like... Like... I can see it. It's the fine. <laughs> um, you know what? Actually, though. So, why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? Because that... The, oh, my God. It's perfect. Wasn't called in and Big Boss Man wasn't there to approve it. That... That still doesn't make sense. Um, here's the idea. We have our fire type. Yeah, it stays a fire type, but it starts getting, like, the like the ice around it, but it's still not an ice type yet. Like, it looks like, you know, something's dimming out. And then it has, like, not frostbite on it, but those bits of frost and fire on its body. Um, I think that we could keep the tail and then have, like, its coat be... Oh, God, like, its coat be made of ice. Um, or even, like, have it have gloves or or other extremities made of ice, but then it still has, like the internal heat of its body so that that way it has like a shielding of ice as as oh it's armor and but then has the fire that it can expel from tail or mouth as it might want um chipped ear we might oh that's tempting that's tempting oh man we can put a dolphin um the chip is filled with ice. Ooh. Cold fire oxymoron. I know. I, I'm so excited. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. That would be really cool. Hold on. No, 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 no. Jordan's on to something. Perhaps it's always cold, but it has a fire tail to try to warm it up. But hold on. Hold on. I fire that actually like gives you that frostbite, like give you that frost. They just, just, just it goes from this fire that burns you with heat to the to a mystical fire that that burns you with like just the frostbite and everything like that. And its signature move could still be an ice type move, but it's specially it's super effective against fire types. Similar to how... Yes, Freezer Burn. Exactly like Freezer Burn. Similar to how... Um, what's the move that's uh, an ice-type move that's good against water types? Or no. It's a water-type move It's a water type move that's good against water types. It's the only one that's strong against water types. It's something along those lines. It's not Brine. I forget what it is. But, I, but, but to have an ice-type move that's strong against fire types. It's a shark. Think about it. Got it. Understood. Got it. Understood. Figured it out. Um, 
freeze dry. Yeah, yeah. A oh, freeze dry. There it is. Free. Oh, freeze dry is is an ice type move against good against water types. Frostbite was a condition to Legends. Perhaps you could bring it back. I would want to. I would love to have that into this. Um, <clears throat> is ice to water? Okay. Yes, you are correct. Okay. So I was I was thinking wrong about that. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So so so. Okay. So so so. Oh my God. I'm actually. I'm actually super. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this. We're gonna create a new layer, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write this out for myself. I'll write this out for myself. So first form, we have. So first form, we're gonna have. It's it's Babby. We have a baby. It is. Um. It's it's a fire type. Um. I want it very round. I want it a rotund. A ro. I want this baby to be ro freaking tund. I want it to almost roll around. Um, actually, what do baby possums look like? Uh, uh -huh. oh. I'm showing you guys. I'm showing you guys a baby possum. I'm showing you guys a baby possum. They're so freaking cute. Oh my god. I'm showing you a baby possum. Uh, uh, hey, Gecko, welcome back. Aren't they naked? Like, they're not. They're actually not. These aren't. Oh my god, oh my god, they're so cute, they scream! They scream! Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'll show you guys, hold on. It scream! Look at it! Look at it! Gecko, we're working on the starters. We have a possum, a raccoon, and a badger for our starters. Oh my gosh, the, the possum is going to be a, 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 a fire ice type. We have fire ice, grass electric for the raccoon, and then a... Uh, water steel for, uh, for our badger. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I think it's adorable. I think it's so cute. Like, like, just, just, just look, look at them. Look at them scream. Look at them scream. Look at them scream. Uh, uh, look at that. Look at how they carry them, too. I want an armored, I want an ice armored possum. Similar to how that goes. Hey, Joe. Those babies don't like to be hugged. Trust me on this. <laughs> hey, Grace. What's up? Uh, forgot to say hi. Okay, you got everyone there. Focusing on Bottlebox saying, aren't they naked? Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's set you guys back so you can see ducks in the corner and all that good stuff. Can I sing it with you? Cause you're okay. Got it. All right. Uh, oh my God. So, okay. 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 Okay, okay. First form, baby, fire, round. Um, uh, what did you just walk into? We are, we are making, I'm making a Pokemon region, Chief. Uh, baby, fire, round. Okay. I don't think, I, I don't think there needs to be anything crazy about it. I don't think, I think it can have its tail wrapped around it. Like, it's being very protective of its tail. Uh, tail wrapped. Um... Which is the fire ice? The rac the possum is the fire ice type because raccoons, uh, we end up blocking out because rac sorry not raccoons possums will often also face frostbite over winter, um, and they don't hibernate. Raccoons hibernate, so they can be the grass type and be weak to ice and all that good stuff. And then our water steel is based off of the badger, which is the state animal, and the SS badger, which is a ship. That is in Wisconsin. The Wisconsin ship. So, lots of lots of good stuff there. Um, tail wrapped around. Like, it's protective of its tail in its early days, right? In its second form, I want it to have, uh, like, longer tail. Um, some frostbite. This is really hard to write this here. Some frostbite. Is it fire first or ice? Fire. It has to be fire first. Um, longer tail, some frostbite. Um, maybe maybe it has some icicles on it. Like some some ice question mark. Or frostbite. Or oh wait, I already said frostbite. Oh, okay. Uh, imagine when you're all famous, Pokemon find this video and use some of your ideas. Hey, I'd be I, I Pokemon can hire me. Pokemon can hire me. I take I take it. Um um, let's see. Longer tail, some frostbite, some ice. Um, 
Then, let's see. Todoroki possum. You know what? That went through my head. I'm not going to lie. So, baby fire. It's brown. Tail wrapped around it. Uh, longer tail. Some frostbite. Some ice. Um, I'm keeping... You know what? What else? Do I want it with, like, a snaggly tooth? Do I want it with a snaggly tooth? Do we want, like, sharper teeth? Do we want that? You know what, though? Yes. I take it back. The answer is yes. Um, it could have, like... It could, its teeth could be, like, have, like, flames jut jutting out. Like, fiery teeth. Question mark. I'll put a question mark on that one also. We're just, we're just going to let it be. Then for the third form. The third form, it has gone through winter. Um, sounds good, Gecko. I might, I mean, again, I'm, 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 like, I'm in the zone. I might end up coming up with a name before we even realize it. Um, the third form is when we're going to get into, like, it's gone through winter. It's gotten frostbite. It's gotten through everything else that it's gone through. It is, it is, it's, and now it's fire isn't heat. It's fire is ice. It is, so, icy flames. Icy cold flames. I want a, like, a armor of ice. Uh, icy cold flames. It can have an armor of ice. Um, what do I do with a tail? Maybe you can call it Mr. McNugget. Horse Pokemon. Yeah, I could, I could throw that in there. Toto Cossum. Um, uh, you know what? Armor of ice. Armor of ice. Or it could be... Um, you know, I don't have to put or I'll just, I'll just, I'll just do a comma. Um, ice ears slash tail would be pretty freaking cool. Um, trying to think, all right, I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything on the Twitch side. Cause I feel like I always am going to, I didn't. Okay. So owl Pokemon too. The snowy owl is a big animal in Wisconsin, actually. So I probably could, realistically speaking. I'd have to look into it. Um, not just snowy owls, horned owls, barn owls. Uh, those are all very big in Wisconsin. So those are those are very much possible. Um, I know I'm going to do a robin. Literally so tempted to walk to it at McDonald's so I can say it took a whole day to make my chicken nuggets. Huh? You love snowy owls. Okay. Um, all right. I think this is our basis. I think this is our basis, our idea. I'm going to grab a picture. You had an idea, but it's a bit dark, so you're not sure. Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. Like cold little children on his back? I don't know. A fox for Absol? I mean, I'm not, I'm not making this for anybody. I'm not making this for anybody. This is, this is like, I am making it based off of Wisconsin. So like, it's not, this isn't for anybody. A sandwich that eats humans. Uh, welcome back, Gecko. All right, so I'm gonna grab a picture of a baby possum, and we're gonna start drawing a fat baby possum that has some quality of fire and everything to it. Okay, so frostbite. It has no tail from frostbite in second stage, so it can conjure one out of fire instead. In the third stage, it develops that. Ooh, are there foxes in Wisconsin? There are. There are red foxes in Wisconsin, and I've encountered plenty of them before. Um, the hard part is red foxes have already existed in Pokemon, so I'd have to figure out something related to that. There are, like, 151 that we're going to be end up making, so, like, you know, Possumite. <sighs> See, it doesn't explode, though. It's close. It, like, it's, it, we're, we're, it doesn't explode. It has to be, like, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Like, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Don't you worry. Because I want to figure it out in Japanese and then translate that into English. Um... We love Vulpix and Ninetales. Yeah, them too. They're also fire too. Like, it's like, eh. But they also have their ice forms. So, like, we are we are falling on some interesting parts here. Um, I just need a good reference for a baby possum right now. That's what I need to do. That's it. That's a chonker. That's a chonker right there. Save image. Downloads. Uh baby possum file don't worry you guys will see it soon there it is look at that look at that chunk look at that chunk there we go. i'm gonna move this over here for my own sake um i think they're continuous yeah yeah uh it works it works um you don't understand continuous there it's japanese lore is basically what it boils into all right there's our chonker all right i need a new layer 
Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, let's put this above here. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going with our basic. We're going, this is just basic concepts. We're just doing basic concepts. So cute and fat. And did I did, <laughs> did I mention fat? It's a chunk. Look at that chunk. So let's 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 like I want it. I want it where like position wise, like we're I am literally going to make a ball. I'm going to make it so that it's a ball, right? So let's let's do that. Oh god. And then I want this ball so that that way we're gonna we're gonna kind of like pull it in right here. Because if we pull right here, we're gonna be able to take it. Oh gosh, no. How do you do? How do you art? How do you art? Uh, does a new tail automatically appear at the hundred year mark, or does the hundred or the tail split into, or does it grow with them? Uh, it depends on the lore. I think I don't. I, I think it depends on which Kitsune, honestly. Um, I should just learn how to draw its face first, but at the same time, like you know, because uh, these aren't going to be like I don't know. I mean, somebody makes three D models, and that's freaking schnutz. But like, I want it to be a ball. I want it to be a ball so freaking bad, but I want it to like sit. I want it to sit. How do you draw sitting? How do you draw this thing sitting? Because then, like, I'm imagining... I'm imagining... Oh, God. Okay. Shapes. It's shapes. I've never drawn on stream before. I've never drawn on stream before. So now, now, we're, now we're struggling. Now we're struggling. Because if I had my way... You know what? No, because I want it to be protective of its tail. So if it's... I think if you remember right, the tails can indicate the power of a Kitsune. More power, more tails, more power. Yes. Point the bottom of its feet at us. I don't know why my brain immediately went to... True, we are looking at like front sprites, back sprites kind of situation. How would I do a front sprite? Because then I would have the tail here. And the tail... Would, if I would have it sitting like this, but would it let itself be like that? I don't think so. I think if you're protective, you're probably not going to curl yourself into a ball. You're going to run to McDonald's just for a dad joke. <laughs> um, might be back in 20 minutes. Aye, aye, Captain. Um... You know what? Yeah, I realize I don't like it sitting like this. So let's ditch that idea. And let's say. Oh, you know what? You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've got it. I've got it. You ever see a pangolin? You ever see a pangolin, y'all? Hold on. You ever see a pangolin? Hold on. I'm mixing these two together. I'm mixing these two together. This is what I want. This, like, I'm mixing these two together. And by final form, it's going to have, like, an armor to it. That's it. That's the plan. That's the plan. We're going to... And then it could... That's the, that's the plan. That is actually the plan. So... Zoop, 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 zoop. Uh, take that. So then... So then, let's see. It has its... So it's got its little roundy face. It's got a little roundy face. I don't know what... I'd have possum stuff. So then, there we go. So it comes out like that. We have the little earsies, which... How do possum ears look? Kind of weirdly bend back, oddly enough. Uh. Uh. Pangolin is a power power. Gonna brainstorm some random possum Pokemon names. Not looking at the evolution because you don't know what they. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Then we'll curve it back just like that. Still, I don't want to give it horns. That's not what I'm trying to do. Um. 
they have front facing kind of front facing eyes also that needs to be thinner that needs to come to a thinner piece they have a very very like a stronger sense of smell that might be too long that is way too long of a snout i just need to make it thinner so let's do that i can think of it as possumite cute little chub chub doesn't go boom boom <laughs> that was a sentence There we go. So we have that. And then I want it to like, I want it to kind of have that, that, that where it's kind of, oh gosh, how do you, how do you do this then? You know what? I'm going to take a second. I can feel my throat. Uh, y'all are going to hydration check. Take this ad. I'm going to drink. There we go. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> um, back to where we were. Because <clears throat> how would you draw? Possums are really lithe. Another pizza ad? Really? Possums are really lithe, right? Like possum. How would you draw a possum? <clears throat> Actually, they're not as lithe as they kind of fluffy though. Kind of looking kind of fluffy though. So like, if I were to sit here, possum light is the best you have for possum lighting stuff on fire. You guys you got a Barbie's ad. Um, coin to scream. Uh oh, hiccups. Uh oh, stinky. Um. I kind of want this thing to be standing already. I want it to be just like the little. Like, let's, like, if you drag the, oh, God, how do you draw a body like this? <clears throat> how do you draw, like, a weird standing possum thing? Like, this is. Because then I want the arm to kind of be here. So, like, let's say that's the arm, right? Like, let's say, let's just put the arm there for now. The arm should not really be there. But, like. Like, let's just say this is, this is the little army and, uh, we bring it down. Oh God. Oh God. Look at it. Look at this rat. Look at this absolute freaking rat. Look at this fat rat. I want it to be rounder. I want it to be rounder. I want it to be rounder, but I don't want it to make it look like it's like dying from whatever it would be dying from, from absolute obesity. Um, just because of like angle. Look at that bean. That is a bean body, bro. What is this? What is this? It's fine. We're having fun. Cause then I'm like, cause I just, I just kind of see it doing this number right here. Right. I just kind of see it. Like then it's tail comes out. Cause then it'll have like little leggies. Little, little leggies that are, like, right here. And it's tail. <laughs> Look at these legs. It's flexing. It looks like it's flexing. Oh, my God. But it's, like, I want it to. So, okay. Let me put the tail. Their tails are long. And, like, let's say the tail kind of goes up here. And it's, like, holding its own tail. Okay. It doesn't need to go that long, I realize. I need to make this smaller. Where's my, where's my thing? There it is. So, like, I want it to be kind of holding its tail. Would it go? Yeah, it'd go past the leg. It'd go past the leg. Spend way too much time in a pizza shop taking orders. A pouch full of fiery berries. That actually sounds kind of killer. That do sound kind of killer, though. I need to zoom in. This is awful. I need to zoom in. This is this is genuinely awful. This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Could also do this, make it wrap around better. Makes more sense, like physically. Let's actually like I don't know, freaking clean this up a bit, because this is way too messy. 
Okay, I'm kind of liking this, though. What if the tail wrapped around its arm? <clears throat> I'll do it like a... You know what? I'll wrap it around the arm a little bit and do like a little cuddly blanket kind of situation. So, like, you know what? I'm in. I'm in. I like it. I like it. So then we would do... Maybe just my sizing is a little too large. So then... Would that work? Let's see. So then we do this. And then it would wrap like this. And then it would do this number right here. And then it would go back around. And then it would go. And then we could have it come off like this. If we did that. I think that's a sick idea. Yeah! Yeah, Mo! Yeah, Mo! I like, I like it. Oh my gosh. Postalite? Yeah, I read it. I read it out loud. You know what? That was a good idea. That's a good idea right there. Let me... I'm going to use my mouse to kind of help me erase some of this because this is... I just need this to be clear for my own eyes at this point. Otherwise, I'm going to go crazy. So... Oh, no, no, no. Stop that. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Looks amazing. Yay! Look at it. It's so cute! It's like a little wrapped around its arm, so then we have to do... Let's make this smaller, then. You can't see what I'm doing, I realize. So I'm just making sounds, and you have no idea what's happening. And then it wraps around, so it does that number. And it goes back around. And then it does this. So that means we see that. We get a little bit of arm there. It's completely wrapped around. Uh, Yours is a fossil and mill. <laughs> Did not see possible when you oh when you read it. Uh let's see. So then let's increase the size on this. And then We'll make all this more Pokemon like eventually. I'll have to I'm gonna probably do some like a little bit of learning on my own, just of how to draw Pokemon. So that way when the time comes, I can actually make their final ones way, 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 way better. But alright, let's see what uh let's see what their face looks like. We got these ears, right? And honestly, I feel like these ears... These ears aren't positioned right. Uh, you know what? Who cares? We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later, right? We'll deal with that later. Um, I kind of want to work on its face a little bit. Give it a little schnozy. A little, a little, give it a little schnoz, you know? Give it a little... Give it a little... One of these. A little, little... One of those right there. A little bit of bop, a little bit of bop right there. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at it! Look at that face! I need to move this eye a little bit, I think. But like, but like, look at this little dude! Look at this little dude! I need to make it more look like a Pokemon. Some like with by adding stuff and everything to like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've corrupted your mind. <laughs> um Let's see here. So we know You round it out. You round that out. And then we can get a little bit closer. Uh, here we go. Perfect. Give it a striped tail like those possums of Ice Age. You know what? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, let's see here. So let's do... Oh, wait, no. They don't have a striped tail because they are... They're not striped because that's... Oh, wait, no, is it? I don't think they're striped because of they're like that normally. I think they're striped because of the pain of it. Or from the frostbite. Not from the pain of it. That's that's horrible to say. Historical changes today. I think I'll give it the... You know what? I'll give it the... We'll color it at the end though. How about... No, because that's still frostbite. I want to leave it pink. I want to leave it pink. We'll, we're going to change it as time goes on though. We'll change it as time goes on, right? So then... How do we do this? Let's see. Let's see. How do I do this? Then we have that. 
And then... I'm gonna have to send this to my... I'm gonna have to figure out... Like I said, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do these drawings a little bit more. So then... This claw could kind of like go right over. We're just gonna have like three little claws. Three little itty bitty claws, you know. Uh, oh, da, 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 da. And then we'll just we'll just do that right off the bat. I know how to draw these claws. <laughs> Basically like that, where it's kind of holding its tail a little bit better rather than just what it was doing. Um, it's got coloration in the head and the chest, so for that matter, we'll kind of do, we'll kind of lead that down a little bit, and, uh, if it's belly, it would have it, like, right here, if it had a little pouchy. Female variants would have to have the pouch, male variants probably not. Um, I, I'd imagine... So, maybe I don't draw with the pouch. Oh, I like the... You know what? No. Both can have a pouch. I like the berries in the pouch thing. Because I like the idea of it, like, getting nervous and then, like, reading... Like, reaching into the pouch, not letting go of its tail, and still eating some of these berries. I think that's... I think that's fun. Um, let's see. It can't have, like, a ton of fire coming off of it. Like, you know what I mean? But I think it having some of the flames coming off right here... Um, having some of these flames coming off would be fitting. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, a little, little didgeridoos, a little, little boop, boop. But you just do that. It literally, you just do that. You don't have to make it complicated. There's no reason to. This is first. This is the very first art of it. I like it with little arms and legs, I think. Yeah, it's like a little Charmander. A little Possum Charmander. Um, look at that little dude. I think... I think that's a good basis. I feel like, you know what? I kind of want these ears to be a little bit better. These ears are still throwing me off, Chief. I'm not going to lie. There it is. There we go. You know what? While we're at it, I think I think all the I think all the little like bits could have a little bit of flame coming off them, you know? There we go. I feel yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, I'm happy with that. That's way better. That's way better than I had it. Let's do that. There we go. Uh, hi, Danny. As he evolves, the ear should turn into fiery horns. Uh, we, we're probably going to put armor on it, but you are, we are, this is a fire ice type, Chief. We got a fire ice type on our hands. Uh, read the names wrong. So, what, what is going on? Charmander. Send. Suffer. Uh... It dim you what you thought it was. Oh yeah, that's way off. Wow, that's wow, that's another that's a new one. That that's a that's a whole new one for me. Let's see here. Uh let's see. It is gecko. <laughs> it is like a little gecko. Uh, you know what? I think the last thing we can add for our beta or our alpha of this of this little guy and or gal is we're just going to add like, you know what? No, I, I think that works. Because it said they get frostbite on their ears and tail. So we'll put the fire on the ears and tail. Postalite's really cute. You like the flame on the ear? It's going to be muck, but water. What? Fire ice chief. When was muck ever ice? What? Uh, magic ice that doesn't melt. Uh, it is actually. 
Uh, here it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. Hold on. Uh, the first form is a baby fire type. It's round. It has its tail wrapped around it. In the second form, it loses. It is a longer tail. It has some frostbite on it. There is some ice question mark. Maybe some fiery teeth potentially. I don't think I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna actually get rid of that because I don't like that already. Now that we've established what this thing is gonna look like. Um, and then the third form, it's going to have icy cold flames, armor of ice, kind of like an icy ears and tail because possums get, um, possums end up getting, uh, frostbite over the winter on those extremities. And our typings are for our starters are fire, ice, grass, electric, water, steel. Um, so yeah. Uh, see ya daddy. Also, did I get a haircut? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Thank you. Um, and there we go. Let's see. Let's look up some interesting names. Uh, uh, let's see. We have possum, which is just possum in Japanese. Let's throw in Abracadabra Alakazam. Grace will be sent to ask a bag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what are you doing? What is going on? What am I missing, guys? You like to cut? Thank you. Um, possum. What is the idea for frostbite? Frostbite. Possum, frostbite. You know what? No, I want it to be chill. Cold frostbite. All right, I gotta type these down, or I gotta write these down. So, so let's see. Let's do. Uh, why didn't that? Oh, it's in eraser mode. Oh, babies. Chill. That's not how you spell chill. DM saying what you thought. Yeah, I read it. I read it already. Chill. Cold. Frost bites. Frostbite. So chill cold frostbite. What is a baby possum called? It's called a Joey? Just like just, just like just like kangaroos. Hey, shiny chat Lapras, nice. Uh, sorry, hang on. So then we have a, a Joey, a full on possum, possum again, I guess. Uh, but then we could have, what would we do? What would we do? We know it's a baby or it's small. We know it's scared. Like it's 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 protective, defensive. So it's defensive. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Big brain, big brain, big brain. Uh, scared. Oh, no, no. We'll write out defensive, defensive. Shield. Armor. Okay. They are called joints because they hang the mug like a kangaroo. Oh, okay. Also, welcome back, Plague. I uh, just realized it happened. You said you could see how I read it wrong. Possum is a kangaroo, but less energetic as it's not always jumping around. <laughs> it's got it's got a lot less coffee in its system. Chill, Joey, defensive, cold possum shield, frostbite possum armor. I think that's our, like, how we're going to go through it. But now it's just a matter of actually what we do with it. Chill Joey defensive. Let's see. So we have. We have. Chill. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Chill. Joey. Defensive. Uh, middle age adds slightly more ice, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It gets, it gets like a little bit of frostbite. 
maybe the flames are petering out on one of the ears. We'll have to figure that out. Um, so I got to pokeify this a little bit more at some point. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. See you, Gray. Sleep well. Um, damn. Okay. Um, we don't have to come up with a name right now. We can let it. We can let it. We can let it just melt in the back of our head, right? We can just let that chill. <laughs> um, like, I don't want to go frost. That's too much. You know, you get, get kind of dig into frost last. Um. Smooch and Pichu. I don't know. I really don't. Litten. Fire kitten. Sprigatito. Sprig. Gato. That's why it's Sprigatito. What have you missed? Uh, we have landed on our Pokemon typings. And we have... Okay, you know what? Let's do a little recap. It's been a bit. Um... We have decided that our typings for our three Pokemon are Water, Steel, Fire, Ice, Grass, Electric. Our Water, Steel type is a Badger. Our Fire, Ice type is a Possum. And a Grass, Electric is going to be our Raccoon. Um, then, I mean, that's kind of the really the big thing that you missed. I feel like there's some other stuff that we went over, but a lot of it was... A lot of it was just trying to get to this point as we were doing some level of research um let's see <laughs> i've always been a mod um so that's i like that little guy i love that i love that also i love the gaslighting that's happening um yeah we i mean we did some research and, and everything we did some research digging into stuff is really more than what the most the majority of what we ended up doing along the way so i don't i can't think of a name right now i don't think we need to spend more time on a name like we'll figure names out later we know we have the basis for that and i'm gonna make a folder I'm going to make a folder. Oh, oopsie poopsies. Uh, I'm make a fo folder called Possum. And I'm just going to throw everything into that folder. That had our Possum as a part of it. Even that weird one. Yeah, why not? Um... There we go. So we have our possum. Which, why can't I collapse this? Why can't I collapse this? Let me collapse this. For love of God, let me collapse this. Why can't I collapse it? Possolite. Possolite's really tempting. Plague deception. Uh, Possolite is tempting. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write down po- I'm going to write down Posolite. Oh god, what layer is that even going on? Because if- if- well- Posolite? Question mark? It's tempting. It's tempting. I like the Posu part of it a lot. I think that's the part that's getting me here. I think that's the part that's really getting me to, like, what I'm seeing here. Um, so, Posolite. But, let's... Oh, that's why I couldn't do it. Okay. So, we have Raccoon. Pasaroki for last stage. <laughs> um, so, we have our Badger. And then we have... A raccoon. Those are our last. Those are our, our other ones that we'll, we'll be punching through. So, I kind of want to work on a raccoon. I'm not going to lie to y'all. 
I know the badger is really cool, but kind of working on wrecking our raccoon. We were so excited about that. Uh, while I get some reference images, uh, y'all enjoy a wonderful little ad break. Uh, oh my god. We're gonna look up some raccoon. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Oh my gosh, Gecko. Gecko, that's so old. Let's listen to some facts about some raccoons. Um, you know what? While I'm doing facts about raccoons, I'm gonna make this big again. Nintendo. The Trash Panda. So, they're opportunistic eaters, omnivores, they eat whatever is convenient, okay. They wash their food before eating it, that's because that's how they identify their food, because they, just like how we use sight as our primary, um, and so as such, it allows us to, uh, or allows us to identify our food, them touching their food after it's wet, they have more receptors in their hands, which allows them to understand it more, um, you're t listening to the Twitch stream, but typing through YouTube. Ooh. What types of raccoon? Grass electric. Yep. Live nearly everywhere. Their masks are anti-glare devices. Wait a sec. Oh, I don't want to do another masquerade, though. But anti uh, Raccoons are known for the bandit like dark masks. <sighs> One theory is that the distinctive dark markings help reflect the sun's glare and also may enhance night vision. Some researchers have theorized dark masks work in animals to hide their... Eyes from predators, but a study established in biological journal concluded that dark patterns are most likely anti-glare devices. Guys, guys, it's a grass electric type. It absorbs light from the sun through its mask in its final form in order to release electric energy. Yo, that's tight. Um, uh, raccoon with sunglasses because they're so shocking. But I might do that. <laughs> Um, they're incredibly intelligent, which makes sense. We have a specially effect. We have a special mon right here. Not a physical. Okay, but does it stand? Oh, it's. Uh, I think. I. I mean, we have the possum standing. I think the possum is gonna be on all fours to be more protective. I think the raccoon's gonna stand. See you, some guys. Sleep well. Thanks for being here. They're very handy. They have five toes on their front paws and back paws. Um, nimble like fingers. Fun fact about raccoons, you have to have a two lock system in order to make sure that they don't get in. Um, they're solitary animals. They face few threats. Uh. Huh. Nothing actively. They're not like a primary. Interesting. Uh, urban settings. They have a lot of babies. Carry diseases and parasites. Okay, who would have guessed, right? Shrek, shrakoon, bipedal grass type, shrub, shrink as plants, small, not obvious. That does. I, ooh. Mm, okay. Okay. I think I might base it off of the wood violet, though. I might put the wood violet as a part of this. So then. Oh my gosh, look at this photo. Oh my god, look at this. Hold on. Hold on. I know what my reference photo is going to be for the first one, at least. Oh, no. That's... No. I need to screenshot it, because otherwise I can't do it. I need to screenshot it, otherwise I can't do it. For a raccoon? Like a forage raccoon? Uh, let's see here. I might use... Like, Ursa. Ursa for bear. Raccoon's Latin name. Like... Raccoon Latin name. Latour. Oh, the Latour! Latour's such a good name. Ah! Wood Violet. Oh, what do we do? Welcome back, Clips. Uh, oh, God. What do we do for this one? That's actually way more difficult. Uh, Procyon Latour is what it is. Also, let me show you this. Uh... Let me show you this raccoon photo, y'all. Let me just, let me just, that we're going to use as a reference. Uh, pictures. Screenshots. Raccoon. And I'll turn the game capture. Look at that. 
Look at that funny looking dog. Make a duck Pokemon? I probably will, to be honest. I probably will. Um, at some point. Uh, I don't have a Robin. I think there's going to be an owl. There might be a duck. There might be a duck. Because ducks are pretty big in Wisconsin, to be fair. Uh, lots of lots of duck hunting. Um, but, like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that right there. Like, I kind of like that. Forkoon, Forest, Forage. Forkoon. The Forkoon sounds, sounds solid. I want to fit Latour in there. I want to fit Latour in there, honestly. That sounds sick. I'm not going to lie. I, I made a DD and d race called the Latour, which were raccoon people before. And, like, I'm going to tell some of my friend that got to play that. And she's going to be all over the place. I'm also going to tell one of my other friends. Latour Raccoon. That sounds so close. That sounds... What's the, what's the wood violet? Because that's, that's the wood violet. That's the... Brigatito. Then there's Masquerade for Masquerade. Odor Viola, Viola Odorata. How about the state bird is region bird? Unless you already thought about that. I'm being you're not being dumb. You're not being dumb. I already thought about that. But it is gonna be a Robin. So you're not you're not dumb. Don't call yourself dumb. Um But also be wary that the last four letters in the word raccoon. Yes, that's, yeah, that's the scariest part. That's a scary one. Um, that's why I kind of want to lean towards Latour more. Lore. You know what? It's okay, Gecko. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's for me to worry about. Um... Violesse, Latore. No, that's way too direct. Raccoons bark. That's their whole thing. That's their whole thing. Like the raccoons bark. That's actually what they do. They they kind of. I don't think they yip, but I think they bark. Um. You know what? I'm thinking of the name when we shouldn't be thinking of the name so quickly. But I definitely want it to be. Definitely want it to have a wood violet esque feel to it. Nature raccoon, not quite. Hi, Spenny. You're new here. Probably not gonna use that one. Probably not gonna use that one. Cause I wanna, I wanna dig way deeper. I wanna dig way deeper. Um. But, but hey, you're new here. I, I want to give you the warm welcome. Have you seen a lot of other stuff, or, or what brought you in? Is it just the uh, creating the new region? Have you seen any of the shorts? What's up? I like to give a warm welcome. Just joined, so hi. Hey, well, hi there. My name is Acrylic. Um, Pokemon's a staple on this channel. I just started doing this Pokemon region making today. We've made a lot of progress and I'm really happy with. Um, I will recap at the end uh, when the stream is ending. Um, I do have a bunch of super cuts on this channel. I do live streams of other games as well or here and there. Um, but I do high audience interaction and I rate people's favorite, favorite Pokemon shorts. So supporting the channel by watching the streams and watching the um, watching these super cuts makes a massive difference. So thank you guys. And thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for giving it a shot. So let's see here. So we have, we have our, we have this, right? Right. We have, we have our raccoon and we know it's going to like the sun. Also a nocturnal. So you can have something along the line of them glowing at night. You bet your sweet bippy. That's the idea. Because I want, I like the idea of having a raccoon. You know what? I kind of like the idea of having a raccoon, right? And let me go get some wood violets. They don't grow in a bush. Wood violets do not grow in a bush, but they do grow in clumps, right? So what I kind of want is we can start it out where it's like, it just has a bush on its back. And it could be it could be as simple as solid recommendations. Thought it seemed interesting. I'll be sure to check out your account later, though. Thank you, Spenny. I appreciate it. Then by pure chance, you found me. Not even by all this stuff that I've been doing to try and uh, really raise this up. But that's I am I am even happier by that then. Um, also, best you've seen so far is for raccoon and net coon. I don't they. I think I think there's definitely more, like. 
We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get to names. I don't... I'm not working on... I don't think we're going to touch names today. I think we're going to be crunching our designs today. Um, which we're probably not going to get through all the designs. So let's do this. Uh, you can't see what I'm doing, but that's okay. It won't make a difference. So... What does a baby raccoon look like? They're just raccoons, but smaller, aren't they? Right? Yeah, they're just the same, but smaller. They still have the same dark mask to them. So that's interesting. Their tail definitely seems longer also than once they're an adult. So then... When you make Pokemon, design it, think of its habitat and what's behavior before naming it. I don't know if that'll help you, though, different for everyone. That's kind of where I'm at with Spenny. Spenny's, Spenny's got my method. Like, I want... I just activated my freaking headphones by accident. Oops. I thought I, I, thought I just broke it somehow. Um, but no, Spenny, Spenny has it exactly how my brain is thinking about it right now. Come on. Deactivate. Deactivate. There it is. Um... Where I want to figure out design, habitat, so on and so forth. Um, cause like, let's, let's, I mean, let's go back and let's look at, oh god, open. Let's look at, why is it not doing it? Uh oh, SpaghettiOs, what's happening here? Are we missing something? What's happening? Uh, SSV, uh, Pokemon region, which we named. We have a name for the region, actually. Um, art. I'm just going to call it art. I don't care. It literally doesn't matter. Uh, why is it not showing? Why is none of this showing? Did we just, we didn't lose any of it, so why is it not... Oh, that's why. Oh, dear God. That's a mess. So, like, chill, Joey, defensive, cold, possum, shield, frostbite, blah, 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 as we run it through. And then we had our, we had our basic. Oh, God, please get that off of the screen. It's such a mess. So, like, there we go. So, like, there's, there's our basis. And, like, from there, it's a matter of figuring out from there. Have I seen Pokédance? Like, the, I don't think so. I don't, I, unless, unless it's the newest thing that came out where, like, all the regions were dancing, which was really freaking cool. A great animation. It rotoscoped, I think, a little bit, which is awesome. Its tail can be seen as a charged battery from absorbing the sunlight, something like it requires solar beam. Oh, yeah, something like this definitely requires solar beam. Agreed. I might not, might not do a tail because we're doing a high focus on the tail for the, for the possum. What I'll do, let's let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. Let's go let's go back to it. So like let's say let's say we have our possum, right? Let's say thinking it has trubbish mixed with zigzagoon. Reading book and there's a hundred and fifty chapters reading a chapter a day. Whoop, best of luck. Hundred and fifty days. Hundred and fifty days. Okay. So let's say Okay, I wanted that to thank you. So like let's say we have Let's say we have a raccoon, right? Let's 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 just let's just give it that let's just give it that body, right? It's boom. It's got its it's got its little army right there. It's doing its thing. I don't know. I'm not really focusing on this part of it. We're gonna make it fatter because Dear God, that's that is like Okay, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. I'm overthinking now. You have to trust the process. You have to trust the process. Instead of just jumping through things, acrylic. Like you can't. You can't just go jumping. I, I uh, ended up ordering my food at McDonald's recently, and um, I used used one of those machines where you can, uh, you know, just order your food through it. And I I used my email for acrylic, and of course it's just like, oh yeah, your name is acrylic, fantastic. And so it's like, do you want to change your name? And I'm like, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And, um, when my food got brought to me, the person, the, like, the dude flat out said, here you go, Krill. And my, like, my entire existence shattered. I'm not gonna lie. My entire existence just, just kind of shattered. Um, I don't like this. I like that reference, but I don't like this. Because <clears throat> I want to... I want the, like, I want, okay, like, let's, let's put it this way. Let's see. We have, we have our body, right? We have our body. 
I want it to kind of be like this. What am I trying to do? What am I trying to convey? We have a creature. It's not going to be skittish. This one's going to be more intelligent. It's going to have a bush on its back. Dear God, you've been doxxed. Um, let's see here. Um, because I want, it's almost gonna be like a hedgehog, you know, where it has like the bush on its back a little bit. Make it more uneven so that way it doesn't look like freaking fire on its back. That'd be cool, you know, round it out, round it out. Because then we have its back and then... This one's gonna we're gonna have it start on all fours. So you have your get the cylinders, get your cylinders. This one's harder for me. I have to do all my little bits and bobbles here. Otherwise I'm not gonna get it. Uh make its tail a plug and then stick that goes into the plug sockets are leaves. Whoa. We might get there. We might get there. We are jumping way ahead. We are jumping way ahead. I've gotta like I've got to, like, even get this thing off the ground here. Because it's not... It's just a grass type. Just remember, it is just a grass type right now. Like, we'll get there. It's just a grass type right now. I kind of like the idea of that it's kind of a... It's a smart but lazy Pokemon. Um, They're like little raccoon-looking things with bushes on them. But yeah, pretty much. That's kind of the idea on this one. So, like... I kind of like the idea of them being a little lazy. Really smart, really lazy. They don't like to do much, uh, but they'll work for their food when they have to. So then, you could just do that. You just do a little bit of this right here. Um, oh gosh, where was my brain going? I completely forgot. Raccoon Grodel. Raccoon Grodel! Um, why do I feel like just giving it a head? Like, why do I just feel like, you know, why do I feel like just, just, just give it the head right there? And it just looks like the stupid fat alligator. It just looks like the stupid fat alligator. Why does it look like a nose? Like, look at that. It's like a nose right there. I have figured out how to draw a nose. We're going to give it like an eye right there. An eye right here. Smile. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. We're going to get rid of all of that. Uh, Sonic the raccoon. Uh, I see it. I see the hedgehog. I see the hedgehog so bad. Um, do you want it to... Oh, I can't go back any further. Oops. Uh, this is why I want to draw it on my actual tablet, not on this. Ew. Uh, too many chili dogs. Um, I will give it a little tail, though. Which I think it could just kind of do that. And then... You know what? Better reference image I just thought of. Hold on. I'm gonna go grab it. I know the image I want. I'm thinking of. You know what? No. You know what? You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe for the head, you could do it similar to Cyndaquil. That seems like it would fit. It probably actually it might. I want. I want. Hold on. Ew. Oh god. Oh dear god. That was a risk. That was a bad idea. I looked up lay Slavs laying down. Raccoon laying down. Uh. No. No way. We found it. We f I found the reference image I'm absolutely using. Hold on. Again, this, is, this is trash. This is trash. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. I don't want it anymore. That's not what I was supposed to be. Get it out of here. Ready? You guys aren't ready for this. You guys aren't ready for this. Boom. Boom. Reference. Reference image right there. Perhaps a giraffe neck, if you ask. A Faragariff would work better. Headless raccoon. You guys aren't ready. You guys aren't ready. Look at that. Look at that cutie right there. Look at that absolutely cute little monster. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's so tempting just to draw over it, but that doesn't build skill. That doesn't build my skills at all. So, like, that's the only downside to doing that. So, I'm not going to do that. But, God, that's adorable. I'm going to do this. And so, that way I can see my reference image. Because I can't see my reference image. 
if I'm like zoomed in like I want to be. I don't like seeing all the extra space here and there. It bothers my brain for some stupid un un ununderstandable reason. Um, but like, just had a blush on its back and it's d a bush on its back. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much it. Back, did you miss a design? Uh, you didn't miss one. We're working on one right now, and I've I have found my inspiration. So like, like literally, I could just do like, cause what we have its we have its tail right there. Its body is right there. It's got the little pawsies, which we'll just do. We'll just do that, which actually comes out like this a little bit as well. It's it's so polite. Like look how polite. Like you guys can't see it right now, but it's so freaking polite. It brings its arms in like this. It has one little little footsie, one little footsie like out like this, and then that comes in. Uh, this comes in as a little arm. Uh, oh my gosh. Hey, Zone, how you doing? Uh, listen here. Welcome to the stream. Uh, like, we take that. It's got it. Okay, it's got its little tootsie. It's got a little tootsie, like, right there. And it's like, it's like, boom. It's kind of just... Boom. Boom. Uh. One, two, three, four, five. That's a big, that's a big extra digit right there. That's a, that's a big extra digit. There we go. Fantastic screaming in the distance. What is happening here? What is going on in my chat? Who's, who's dying over here? And then, just, just again, I, I could have just traced over it, but like. That doesn't that doesn't build that doesn't build that doesn't build character that doesn't build my skills in the slightest. Cause then we do this. Then it has a body. It has its body, right? It's so rotund. It's so rotund. It's so rotund. Look at that baby got back. It's a big, big, big girl and or boy. Youch. Dying. Oh my god. Uh, I want its tail kind of like curl a little bit, actually. Just, I don't know. Just my brain. Ah, you know what? No, short stubby tail. Short stubby tail cute. Short stubby tail cute. So we do that. Uh, I want to zoom in so I can get the face proper because I'm, cannot get this one wrong. Because what? It's got like. It's got triangle face syndrome, rhombus face syndrome, whatever you want to call it. It's got a big old face, you know. There we go. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh god, this is genuine. You know what? This is why this is this is typically, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. What is this face shape? What is this face shape? What the heck is going on here? Oh, that's why. That's why. Okay, hold on. That's why. It's because this needs to happen right here. Not where it is. Uh, nosies. Uh, nosies. I accept that I need to get better at art. And these are just concepts. I accept. I accept who I am. I accept why, why, did, I know, I'm going to stop right there. Walk around a room and spin a chair would spin around and chub store over here would be like, I've been expecting you. <laughs> I've been expecting you. Um, okay, I don't like the way that the head is going. Hold on. I need to redo it entirely. It's bothering me. Why does it sound like bees? I know it's not bees, but it sounds like bees to my brain. I can't see. What, oh, wait, I just, what are you guys able to see? Okay, you're seeing everything you need to see. Ducks and all. Just like... How do you draw a freaking raccoon's face? Look at that face! I mean, look at look at that face! Like, how do you... How do you draw... Like, it looks almost like a beaver. Like, a fat little beaver just sitting here, chilling, vibing. Just, you know, and ate all the snacks in the cupboard. I can see everything. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Let's do our shapes. We'll give it a big old freaking head. Let's do our shapes. Because then... 
it should be like this, and then it comes out like this. And its head kind of rounds out. It's got its ears, which kind of, you know, ooh, big old ears. See, this is why you do all your shapes. This is why you do your bases, guys, because then you you can actually make what you're trying to make, you know, not, not rush into it. Due process, man. Due process. For a reason. It all exists. Glitch Bear. Hi there, Glitch Bear. You're new here. What's up? We need a hydration check. You guys want to you want a hydration check? All right. Take the ad. Take the ad. Hydration check. You got your dinner? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh my gosh. Uh There we go. Fantastic. Welcome back. Welcome back from the ad. Monopoly ad? Oh my god. There we go. There's an eye. We put an eye there. Do that. Got a little nosy. Right there. You just... Oh god, that's way too large. How are you doing, Glitch? You're new here. Y'all got an ad? Half the people, whenever I hit for people to get ads, uh, half the people get an ad. I don't control that. That is a YouTube thing. If I could make everyone have an ad, I would, only because I control when the ads happen. I don't, I don't let them happen randomly because I don't want people to miss anything or have their experiences ruined by the fun of the stream. Um, oh my gosh, that face is actually kind of cute, though. Uh, but I need to work on... What would... See, I feel like I'm just drawing a raccoon is the problem. Like, I'm not pokefying it enough. We'll get there, though. Uh, Bye, Bunnel. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Gotta figure out what I want its mask to properly be based off of. You know what, actually? Hold on. Little flower mask. We'll see how that changes in the future, but I like it for now. It's not perfect, but it's there. Uh, make it have a little leaf mask around its eyes, please. Oh, well, hey, well, well we, we kind of got there. Change the eyes on it to be big, big and shiny. You want bigger and shinier? Okay. Uh. Which, then we take one of these. I don't have to soft erase it, but I just feel like that's easier for me right now. Oh my god, it's staring into my soul. Nope, nope, I do not like these eyes. 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 We'll fix these eyes at some point. We'll fix these eyes at some point. We'll fix these eyes at some point. And then, honestly, this this head is kind of small. Like, completely disproportionate. Like, I know, I know I shouldn't be super hyper-focused on it, considering these are just the freaking alpha designs. But, like, I am not dealing with tiny head creature that like th this early on no what what the fudge what is happening what's happening nope that wasn't supposed to happen uh big head big head mode activated there we go finish the chapter nice nice there we go uh why does that look like it was whatever anywho um Anywho, back to our beta design of this creature that we are making. Uh, we're going to bring this arm in. And then, you know what we need? We need, first off, I can't stand looking at this tail anymore. What do you think of the new Legends game? I'm excited as heck for it. I am absolutely excited. Give it electrical teeth poking out of the edge of his or her mouth. Uh, can't do electric yet. It has to be pure grass. It has to be pure grass. But, 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 watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I've got an idea. Because we are going to... I'm going to throw on an extra layer on top of this right now. 
and then do that do this and then let it lead up into the rest of the body Shouldn't make those so pointed, I realize, but that's okay. We'll fix that. And then we need to make this marker here, like a moss line leading here. And then it kind of goes up. And you know what? We'll have it because it's a big chonky. We'll do that. And then now we can go back to our base layer. <laughs> Now it looks like it kind of has the raccoon-esque fur and feel to it, while also still having the hedge and everything for it. Uh, Bulbasaur a joke to me or something? What? I like Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is behind me, bruh. You know what type it's going to evolve into? Oh, yes, Benny. So, Benny, you'd... Oh, gosh, I just realized the time. Okay. Um, It is going to be a grass electric type. So, I kind of like that, though. I'm going to put, like, little flowers on it. Like, you know, just a little, just do little flowers. Like, you just do... Like, you just have little little berries or flowers on it. I'm not going to do all the, little, all the little flowers and stuff. But I think little berries might be nice. Because it's, you know... Or maybe flowers. We'll see. We'll see. we we'll figure it out. I think flowers make sense because it's flowers, then fruit is how that works. Um, okay. Nearly midnight for you. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. It's fat, and it's cute, and I want it, and we're going to, I'll, gosh, I'm going to have to do my everything to not draw more of this, like, when I'm not streaming now. Grass Electric, maybe for this one, you can give it static since it's fuzzy. Thinking too far ahead. Ow! I think, I think that's where, like, this comes in a little bit. Although I could, you know what, you know what, I kind of, you know what, how about this, how about this? How about this? Little details, little details, little details, that'll... Kind of looks like a poop, though. Little details. Little details that add to it. Little details that add to it. Um, okay. So. It is about to be 7. I do have D&D &D later. Um, let's do our recap. I just put a turd on its head. <laughs> it kind of looks like it. Um, let's do our recap. So. I'm, I like this. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Um, little little hedge on the back. Nearly midnight for you also. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we don't have names for them, which we'll figure out eventually. But we've got... We've got them. Oh god, why is this like this? Oh, no. That's why it wasn't working. Uh, bro. What? Okay. So, we've got, we've got two designs. We've got our fire possum, which eventually... Uh, and then we have our... And then we have our... This guy right here. There we go. Fantastic. Um, give it the spikes for hair. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. You know what? Screw it. Let's... Boop, boop. I just want to make sure I'm looking at the right layer here. And just give it a little, little spikies. Little spikies up here. Just go for the full static on it. Little rocker raccoon. Little rocker. Look at that dude. Look at that guy. Look at that guy right there. I might. I'm gonna change that. That doesn't look. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I need to make it better. I need to make it spikies better. I need to make the spikies better. I don't like that enough. Again, it's beta. I can't. I not beta. It's alphas. But there we go. Fantastic. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Okay. So. Um, let's just go over, oh gosh, let's go over what we've done today. So, with everything that we've done, 
we've accomplished a lot actually we didn't get all three starters unfortunately we did not reach all three goals of hitting all three starters um but that is a-okay let me also adjust this because then i can talk while this is happening Oh yeah, we've done we've done a lot. We've done a lot. Uh, sketchbook. I'm gonna now get rid of because I don't need it to be visible anymore. Um. All right. So, oops. Where is it? Oh, it's on my left screen. That's why. Okay. So, starting with everything we've done. So, just the small things like trainers. Uh, we want a Spearman class, which I think would be cool to have. I'm going to actually type it up before I forget it. I I think it would be really cool to have a elite trainer of every class. Uh, elite trainer of every class. Um, our rival's name is Galena. The, team, the enemy team is Team Resin, which has Petra as a leader, Dusa and Triff, which we'll talk about in the future. Um, the region is called Pokemon Assign after the marrow or bone. Uh, this is the Kosen region because this is Wisconsin. Rich history of nature, glaciers, fossil, uh, focus on fossils and revival alongside cryptids. Um, we do not have the starters as fossils. We kind of tossed that. Uh, we know we want the Hodag, Phantom Chicken, Zebra Muscle, Cranberry Worm Pokemon, Kidrick Swamp, What's It Pokemon. Use we want to take a useless fossil, give it milk, and it evolves, possibly a leech into like a purple worm situation. Um, uh, resin is also a material, yes. Um, uh, but it's also a natural material made out of amber. Um, uh, our starters are a water steel, uh, what is it? A water steel badger, a fire ice possum, and a grass electric raccoon. Then, um, or at least those will be their final forms, um... In addition to that, even though I don't have it written down, it is memorized inside of my head because I've thought about it for a long time, which is the fact that um, our enemy faction, which isn't really an enemy faction, it's going to be very similar to the Aether Foundation, where it's a group of people who are actually trying to do some level of good, who have su who just end up having a bad bunch. Um, you know what? I should actually type that out, region, and I'm just going to have um, team resin which is um normal faction uh reviving past pokemon that are now living peacefully in our region uh this group aims to continue doing so but then a bad a uh, few bad apples. A few bad apples decide to change that, which allow the whole idea of, um, which they then take these fossils, revive them in mass, spread them out. So, revival in mass, um, mass release causes chaos. And then the idea here is, uh, we as humans, uh, caused many of them to go extinct uh this is their chance to come back and if we pass then then if then if we pass then that is nature's way uh water rock sounds good dang good times we're here yeah 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 um uh we'll work on that some more uh, revival in mass and rare we're gonna call it boss Pokemon basically uh what about four hours now it's been a long stream it's been a long stream we usually do these five hour streams um so yeah we have that basis we we completed like we did some good progress so um the last thing then is uh oh yeah and I can't forget uh team resin rise to the occasion rise into the occasion thank you plague um so, with that then, I am going to say keep your eyes out. Uh, I think on Wednesday, I'm going to do another one of these. Either I'm going to do another one of these streams on Wednesday, or I'll do it on... I think I have to do it on Friday, otherwise, which... Mm, not sure how I feel about doing it on Friday. I know um, 
I know Plague is going to be streaming on a Friday, and uh, I'd rather, like, have a completely... I'd, I'd rather be able to play, like, a, a game myself on a Friday as well. So we'll see. Keep your eyes out. Either way, we're going to be doing this again next week. Um, in addition to finishing up Amori, hopefully, is what I've been told that I should be in the final bout of Amori. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, go watch the Supercuts. Uh, I'm currently working on the Pokemon Infinite Fusion Supercut right now. Um, in addition to other Supercuts that do exist that you can watch in the future, including, um, Carl Weezer's Wild Ride, which is a random little one that wasn't from streams. That was really fun to make. Um, alongside so many other videos that are so much fun to watch. So, other than that, uh, allow me to go... Let me just stop the music here. Um, as we are reaching the end and... Uh, da, 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 da. I'll go full cam. So, with that then, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't do anything I want to do. Don't do anything I want to do. Please be nice to each other. I love you, and I'll see you next time. I almost hit the wrong thing. Bye! <laughs>